Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Hopefully everything's working. Looks like my light's not as bright as it usually is, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't care. Hi. <laughs> I like Nutsford. I think if if Calicundia, if I make Calicundia a custom a custom uh university, it needs to be called Nutsford. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it has to be. <laughs> How are we all doing? Hello, hello. I was here and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go live early, because why not? Also, I, yeah, last week I updated the um the herbie, the little herbie command to be the bolts. So it's anywhere from I think one to three, I think is the range it can be. I don't know if it's, it can be zero. It might be able to be zero. <laughs> Nutsford University. <gasps> one bolt. Oh my. Honestly, you're probably dodging a bullet there, Fizzy. <laughs> I think you're dodging a bullet <laughs> with only one bolt in chemistry. <laughs> okay, Comey. Have some fun cleaning. <laughs> I don't know how to even respond to that. <laughs> oh my goodness, Owly Pip. <laughs> I gotta pin that message. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for gifting a, a sub to Parakeet. Oh my gosh, the Daniel. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the gift sub and thank you for the resub, Daniel. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you get to continue using the, the Canut Wiggle. I think I said that before. It's one of the more popular emotes of, of all the emotes I have is the it tells me if other people are using it like in other chats and stuff. <laughs> and apparently that's one of the, that one and the the animated woohoo one are the two that get used. Turns out making friends is hard and nut consuming. Who would have thought? But spot. <laughs> Honestly, words to live by. <laughs> words to live by. But spot. <laughs> it's, it's just OK. <laughs> the, the chaos, the chaotic energy has begun. Also, I forgot to run a stupid ad. I forgot that's what I was supposed to do on the beginning part, and I didn't do that. <laughs> My brain is is it feels weird. Like we we only missed one stream, but it's been like so many days since I have streamed. It feels weird. Uh, I'm gonna run an ad very quickly while we're probably just gonna be talking and getting going here. I'm sorry for sorry for that. Um anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Yes, I did I redid my thing. I I my my streak here. <laughs> um I uh let me turn the music down just a little bit more. But yeah, um <laughs> what spot? <laughs> I am still injured, so nut spot, nut to chill. <laughs> Also, I'm sorry. I hope you're feeling at least a little bit better, Crystal Beth. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. It's it's frustrating being uh put out of commission <laughs> by by a health thing. <laughs> I can I can speak from experience. <laughs> uh, nut spot. I need. We need a nut spot. Anyway, yeah, I did. I up. I up. I almost just said I updated my streak. No, I I re bleached my streak up here. Um, I was afraid that I was gonna accidentally fry it because I decided to go over the bit of the green to try to get the green out because I was kind of over the green. Um, but I ended up. I, I I did it anyway, and it's not damaged real bad. I don't know. My hair seems to do okay with not being damaged by bleach. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I just am doing it the the right way or something but yeah so i don't know i might last year um on this time i did i actually put like an orange in my hair it was a uh, like more of like a gingery color on my streak for for the for the halloween season i might do that again i think i still have the same dye cuz it's like one of those just like bottles where it's just the dye you can just keep using it yeah I'm sure hair lasts better because you cut it a lot more. That's true. You have new hair more often. That's that's true. That's very true. Um, yeah. 
I definitely actually I was just looking. I'm like, I have a, a hair appoint a pre-scheduled hair appointment coming up, and I'm like, I don't need a trim. <laughs> why did I why is it why did we schedule it so soon? We, I'm like I don't. If anything, this time of year I let the sides grow out a little bit more. So I'm 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 letting it grow. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I liked the 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 thing about the orange was that it it was like a semi permanent or whatever, and it um nutty in the back. That's a good one. <laughs> nutty in the back's a pretty good one. I need a little screenshot of that. <laughs> I think a little screenshot of that. Um. <laughs> and uh what well, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh the but I, I liked the um I liked the also thank you for the daily dose of olive oil. I liked I liked the uh the way the orange faded and it by the time it kinda washed out it was like it left the hair kind of a golden blonde, which was fine. It didn't like look weird when it faded, which was nice. A little nutty nut in the back. <laughs> nutty in the back. Now I need to imagine what is Butt Spot's haircut if they if if they're describing party in the back as nutty in the back. We have a proper Butt Spot. Does Butt is Butt Spot have a mullet? I I don't know. Do, do you think I bet Butt Spot has that one? <laughs> Autobot held that. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm gonna let that one through. <laughs> Butt Spot. I mean Autobot didn't like that one. Parakeet. <laughs> that was funny. Mohawk mullet. I was gonna say I bet. I bet Buttspot would have the uh what is it? That that one that is in like the base game Sims 2 mullet where it's like a, it's got like the shaved part up top and then it's got that awful just like long hair in the back. I feel like that's what Buttspot's wearing. <laughs> I feel like that's Buttspot's thing. I imagine Buttspot look like a blonde frat boy. <laughs> I like the cut. Imagine if, imagine if Butt Spot is actually, like, imagine a universe where Butt Spot is actually secretly a person. Like, it's not a bot. It's just some guy <laughs> this whole time, <laughs> and it's just just some some weird dude that's just like quickly trying to just. <laughs> they're just a, a sub pretending, yeah. Butt Spot looks very like looks like Murphy to me. I could see that. Murphy, Murphy Lemon Bottom, the one and only. I could see that. Picture it to look like it sound like Joe Exotica. <laughs> Reminds me of the homeless people that live in people's walls. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. That's Butt Spot. Is Butt Spot a, a wall person? Butt Spot's an at. Butt, Butt Spot lives in someone's attic, and they don't know that Butt Spot is there. <laughs> that, that's all that Butt Spot can do. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I I set up my um captions to actually I figured out how to make my captions like generate from OBS so like I have a plugin on my OBS. So now like when I'm sitting here talking, I can see my captions come up and it's kind of trippy. <laughs> but I I ever it's the last couple of times I've said butt butt spot, it says butt spot. <laughs> like butt spot. <laughs> I was like, "Hmm. Hmm. Okay." <laughs> All right. He lives in Sam's attic. Also, hi, wizard. <laughs> yeah. I don't visualize butt spot at all. He's just butt spot. That's, that, you know, that's a good way to put it, honestly. He watches through the air vents. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, We could probably play some, some Avidja games. Jump on over in a sec here. Butt spot is auto-capitalized in my phone. Wow. <laughs> How respectful of your phone to see butt spot as a real human that worth capitalization. What is it? I hope it isn't inappropriate to ask, but who's the art art lady on your uh wall with the cool glasses? Yes, it is supposed to be this one here. That's supposed that was a it's Twiggy, yeah. <laughs> it was a painting I did of, of a Twiggy photograph. Yeah. Forever ago. I don't know how long ago I did that. It's, it's a digital painting that I printed out. Yeah. Um, I don't think the most of them are just actually. I think most of these are digital, except for this one's an ink, and then this one's like a watercolor and gouache. But yeah, would you ever do an art stream? I thought about it before. I don't know how I would go. I don't know what I'd do because I'm very erratic in art these days. Like I work on it for a little bit and then I walk away from it for a while. <laughs> So I don't know. I'd have to like have like a goal 
Thank you very much for the follow, Annie Shy. <laughs> Automod is Automod is is going going off right now. Hi, Alvar. How? Oh my God. I can't. I don't know why my my mouth just like smashed that word together. Alvarina. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome in. The phone tries to autocorrect butt spot to butthole. <laughs> I I like that the um I like the concept of like that coming up as like a commonly used autocorrect that you're <laughs> that you're constantly misspelling butthole. And I don't know if that's worse. <laughs> What's worse is that you're constantly misspelling it or that you're using it so much that it's become a constant <laughs> a constant thing on your phone. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Obviously it's not because it's butt's bot, but like the <laughs> Somebody else looking in from the outside might be confused. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll, let's do the game. Let's do the video game here. Let me pause the music. There we go. I think everything's picking up okay. There we go. I'm going to turn up my, my um, light. I'm going to turn my light up just a little. There we go. I just feel like I was like in the dark. I feel like I'm in the dark a little bit. Yeah, so when I loaded into the lot, this is what I saw. <laughs> uh, so I said, you know what? Of course. Na whoop, naked man. So, uh, yeah. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Vidkrim here. He... Um, for those... Is my game... Oh, my game's muted still. There we go. Mr. Vidkrim here is... Uh, he apparently left the tub going. He's just la letting it soak. 59 inch canut. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's see how big he is. Oh, okay. I see what you, I did. I missed that part. Yes. Well, he's got so many kids in town. So that's the thing is currently Vidkrim is the loner, uh, the loner, the father of three children. And there's another on the way. Lila Grunt is, or not Lila Grunt. Lila Vander Morgan is currently pregnant with his baby so like <laughs> that nuts for stretches all over town <laughs> oh no i like i like the the concept that maybe knuts like what if knuts full name was knutsford like that was his actual full name <laughs> he is a busy man and i think it's fascinating that he has become this 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 character he currently has this want to have 10 first dates I kind of want to lock that in. That's kind of fun. That's a little different than the usual, like, woohoo. Knutsford Futa. <laughs> um, but I'm also intrigued to see how little little AJ manages. Like, it's interesting that of all these, of all the kids in town, and I mean, of all the kids in town that belong to Vidkrim, he's got one that he has to take care of. <laughs> like, you'd think he'd almost want to send AJ off just like he ignores the rest of them. Pretends the rest of them don't exist, but so, for some reason AJ's the special one that gets to live here. Um, I don't really know. Do we have do we have traits for AJ? We do. So he's a never nude, he's eccentric, and he's absent-minded. I'm intrigued to get to play little AJ. That's true. He does have no one to give AJ to. I think that's a good point. Um, so brave, commitment issues, absent-minded, bookworm, and ambitious. Okay. Um, you guys are being noisy. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be playing these guys. We're, cause, so we're on Tuesday morning. We're going to play them till Friday. I feel like playing these guys is going to be a lot of, um, like, just him dating and going out on dates and stuff. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. He might have to bring his dates here for simplicity's sake, just to keep things easy. But also, I don't mind... What are you laughing at? Are you are you okay? You're gonna have to go to school, right? I'm surprised that the bus isn't here yet. Cause he's supposed to go to school at nine a.m. Can I have him walk to school? Oh, I can have him walk to school. I think the bus might have glitched. I'll have him walk. I think he can go. He'll be off to school. And then his his father works. He doesn't work today though. But his father usually works from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. as a party DJ. Um, 
He needs a mechanical skill. What is his lifetime wish, though? Okay, his lifetime wish is to have 50 first dates. Okay, so I guess it's good that I locked this in. How many, like, technical first dates has he had? We'll have to count. Yeah, he apparently likes these baths. I don't know what his deal is with the baths. So I had a dream date with Tammy, which I assume that counted as, like, a first date. Has he had a lot of first dates? There's another one. Oh, first... Okay, so it's gonna say first date. So, first date with Gundren. Okay, here we go. We got a few. Okay, first date with Tammy. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, because he had seven dates total, looks like. Okay. So we need a few more to make. We don't, we're not too far off from the ten that we need, he wants. This conversation reminds me that there is a, to give kids up for adoption, going to have to link it in the, di oh, like a mod, or um, to give, the, give kids up for adoption. Huh. Oh, I see, because is it, that's right, because you can't really do that, can you, in the, in like the vanilla game, you can't, the only way they go into this, the social, like the adoption pool is if you do a bad thing <laughs> and they get taken away. Yeah, no, it's okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I assume that's what it was. Um, I'm surprised Vidkrim let him live in the house with how he's treating his other kids. Yeah. Get AJ a dog out. Poor AJ. That's why AJ counts, get, is so obsessed with counting sand, because that's all he's ever had. That's terrible. You have uh, Saijon's debugger pizza box. You click to see lifetime wish information. It tells you how many... Oh, I do have that. I think somebody's told me that before, and I always forget to actually try it right here, right? Uh, not satisfy. Information. Lifetime wish report, I assume. Oh, okay. Oop. Um, oop. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Wait, I don't know if that was what I was looking for. Wait, let me try that again. What, why did it pop up? Was it because he's had... Wait, let me pause. Woohoo's nine. Lover's nine. Money earned. Best friends. I guess... Oh, dreamed first dates. There it is. Okay, I see. I was confused at what I was looking at. <laughs> I didn't know what I was... I saw grilled cheese, and I'm like, he's not a grilled cheese, Sim. That's why I got confused. It's just giving, like, everything. Like, all kinds of stats. Um, Woohoo's nine. Five public. <laughs> he's had five... This man has had five public woohoo's. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> is there any consequences for bad dates? They still get taken away, like, in The Sims 1. Oh, bad grades. I think so. I think at default, bad grades can, if your Sims are all, if your children are all failing, I think they can get taken away. I think. But I have something that disables the social worker altogether. So I actually don't have the ability for kids to get taken away. Just because I don't really think it's fair. I don't know. Seven, yeah, okay. Uh, it's for all vanilla lifetime one wish count things. Yeah, it just gives you the everything. He's got he's got forty two best friends because of friggin' story progression, which I did take out temporarily. I'll probably put it back eventually. I'm on a, a story progression break. I like taking breaks from it. So he's only had two dream dates, but seven dates. Interesting. Nine pet best friends. So like, who's who's next? Moon child. See, he wants to be best friends with this Moonchild chick, but she's currently being held captive in Olive Spectre's basement. So... There's that. I don't think we can do that. <laughs> I don't think he can go visit Moonchild. Uh... I don't know who else we could call. Je he's already had a date with Jesse. And Shadow. And Tammy. We have Jessica Ibody could be an option. Jessica's a playable sim, right? Yeah, she's she's a well, playable, so he could possibly get her pregnant, too. But I don't know. Actually, Jessica might be gay. I don't remember. I don't remember. Aldrich, we got Glarn, we got Mickey Doss here. What are the girlies does he know? Perpetua Shippen. I don't know who she is, but we could call her up. Daisy he went on a date with. We know he went on a date with Grania. 
Chloe's a kid. Uh, Lila, or that's Jacqueline. Ooh, wait, what if he got, what if he tried to get with Jacqueline? Could he be her knight in shining armor? <laughs> Could he, oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Because he already got with Lila. Now he's like, I want to get with Lila's mom. Lila's mom has got it going on. <laughs> Judging by his knight, his his finances, he's a knight in tin foil. Judging by his finances, he's a knight in tin nut. <laughs> butts butt. <laughs> butts butt what? Also, Joy Desperate could be fun. Jasmine Rye? I don't know who this is, but we have two bolts with her. I could call her up. <laughs> Being bullied. Yeah, Buttspot's chosen you today. <laughs> Apparently. See, the, think about the concept of Buttspot being an actual person who's just choosing somebody to bully. <laughs> like, oh my god. Tin Man has a tin nut. Apparently. Here, I need you to get rid of that. We're gonna call someone up, buddy old pal. I'm gonna call somebody up. Um, maybe I'll just organize by chemistry. We're just gonna invite someone over. So he, he's got he doesn't have to work today. Um Okay. So yeah, we gotta skip over Moonchild Hawkins. Look at all his little hearts. Look at all his lovers. This man is is going at it. Blossom Moonbeam. She looks like she's got a broken dress. Maybe I could try Blossom Moonbeam. I don't know who these are like college kids and stuff. Miss Miss Tell Nels Nielsen. Interesting. Yeah, well, how about we just go? Let's try Blossom. Okay, Blossom doesn't own a phone. Weird. Let's try somebody else. I think I have the mod where, like, townies can be called. Um, let's try Jasmine Rye. Uh, invite over. One over Jasmine. I don't know what, why she wouldn't have a phone. This one wouldn't. Okay, so she's going to come over. Hopefully we can do a date with her. Mr. Pollination Tech is hanging out here with a random dog. Can I help you, Mr. Pollination Tech? Why are you dinging my bell? Oh, why, oh my god, that scared me. I'm like, why is he moving so fast? <laughs> That's because he fell asleep. Everything went fast forward. Can you wake up so we can look at this cool looking chick? Wait, she's cool. Wait, look at her face. She has a cool face. Is it me or is it just her... Is something like slightly different with her face? It's not a straight template face. That's just great, Jasmine. <clears throat> Blossom is a uni bin sim. Oh, okay, maybe that's it. Hmm. Unless there's some kind of again, when I took out story progression, there might have been other like similar mods that it it you know it kind of had in it that I I forgot. To have to get standalone. I don't know if there's some kind of bin sim mod that, uh, like being able to call bin sims. I just I didn't realize that this this chest piece had a plumb bob in it. I never really realized that that this little tattoo had a plumb bob. Anyway, let's give her a goose. She the ladies like it when when Vidkrim grabs them unprovoked. <laughs> okay. Oh, they do. They actually do. <laughs> you know. Oh, Cersei, don't come, don't, don't look. Cersei, don't look. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, he, she, Cersei's stealing our newspaper, but I don't think she can reach it. Oh, she can. Okay, Cersei's just being evil. Okay, bye, Cersei. Hey, okay, bye. <laughs> not took Donald's advice, not this. Grabbed him by the nut. No. <laughs> Imagine that t making you fall in love with- yeah, I know, can you imagine? Oh my god. Okay. I do like her- her little buns, but I don't know why they're not defaulted. PD8. I was just hit fight. <laughs> Let's just attack the girl. What do they want to do? What is our date? We want to tell jokes. Let's tell her a dirty joke. We're already in a pretty good place with her, so I think she'll take our jokes and stuff. Dance. Be tickled by? We all know we need a good tickle. It doesn't look like she likes this. Oh no, she doesn't like. Uh oh, I spoke too soon. Uh oh, Ooh. that that tanked him. He had, he had a fear. It's okay. We'll we'll try here. What else do we have? Tell she. He still wants to tell her a dirty joke. She doesn't like dirty jokes. 
You just tell her a regular joke. <laughs> Tickles, <li> Tickles <laughs> looking in the background, not this. <laughs> not this. My dad's so pleasant. He had to help make dinner. Well, I hope it's a good dinner. We're just kind of just got started here. Um. Oh, you're home. Okay, AJ just came home. We've got a... Mr. Vidkram here has just uh, invited someone over to have a date with. his. He has a lifetime wish of having 50 first dates. So that's what we're kind of getting, working on here, is him having dates. Um, I don't, the dates don't really have to be good. They just have to, he just has to have a date. Also, I'm going to have him just pay all the bills while he's right here, I guess. Um, let's give her a kiss. That's what he wants. Kiss Jasmine, hug, flirt. She's trying to do stuff for us too here. I think we should do the thing where we randomize. Now, is she a, is she a dormy? I was going to say we should do the thing. Um, <laughs> oh, you're home. <laughs> yeah, he's, you know. Okay, we want to make out. Let's do a, we can do a make out. You don't need to use the bathroom. Actually, you kind of do. I'm going to bump your energy a little just so we can do this. He wants to woohoo in the car. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. I don't know if she's a... I didn't see how she walks. If she... You give me your sand pit. <laughs> Honestly, what if I made AJ a little sand box out here? AJ... Also, I forgot. AJ doesn't have a place to sleep right now because he aged up. I could sell this. We can sell all the baby stuff. I'm sure that Vidprim would not want all the baby crap around. But, like, where is AJ going to sleep? You know? <laughs> he doesn't have anywhere to sleep. Can I move this out here? I don't think he's going to sleep in the same room as his dad, though. I'll put this out here, I guess. But still. I don't really... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. He's just going to sleep on the couch? I feel like he might. He might. Um, here, we're gonna get, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna give him, like, a little... Hmm, maybe, do I want that one? What are the different... Here. Give him a little sand pit. Um, I thought I might do a little bit of this to make it. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what to put in it, though. Some kind of toy. What do the children like? What is AJ like? Probably just a toy box. Or like this thing. <laughs> he gets different sand. Yeah, he gets special different sand. I better just do the toy box. <laughs> I wish I could fit a bed, like, here. What if I did? Could I... T Maybe I could knock... Bring this wall out and just put a bed here. I just feel bad he doesn't technically have a bed. Like, it's... it's You know, it's like a storyline thing, but I also feel bad. <laughs> put this here. I mean, this is kind of a unnecessary little moment that's happening here. I could put... There must be conversions out there, I bet. I would think so, that there, there's conversions somewhere. But now the window's kind of goofing. What if I... Get a third window. We'll get rid of these, these silly little curtains. We'll find something else here. I don't know what... Do some blinds. I don't know if I want to spend that much money on it. I don't think it's a big deal. He can, he's, he's fine. No, but it doesn't matter if people are like staring through the walls at him at night through the windows. <laughs> like one of those window seats made into a bed. That's true. I could, oh, no, this is a, that's a big, I mean, that's like a high bed. Where did, I thought I had, hmm. There's a certain bed I was thinking of, and I don't see it. I got some broken beds, too. Like the blue... Oh, actually, this is one of them. <laughs> there we go. It's like, a, it's like a rusty metal. I think it's a conversion from The Sims um, uh, Castaway. The cast Sims 2 Castaway stories. 
You just have like this nasty, rusty, <laughs> this rusted metal. A little AJ. I give him like a little kid's bed. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, AJ. <laughs> hey, AJ. AJ is actually very sleepy. Come sleep in your bed, AJ. Come sleep in your wonderful bed. I hope he has his shots. He's gonna get tetanus in the middle of the night. This is terrible. Anyway, back to our date. Back to our wonderful date. Come here. I need you to follow me, lady. Yeah, you are you are a dormy. Okay, you're walking like a dormy. I should have probably known with the shirt. It's a dance. Because I was gonna say that um It'd be interesting if I do the thing where I roll whether a, a townie he sleeps with, like he woohoo's with, has a bed, has a baby, has a bed, <laughs> has a baby. But um, that's true. Cersei and Loki could adopt him one day. They they they're still they're still teens in this world. Loki and Cersei are still teenagers. Maybe one day, <laughs> I don't know. Probably by that time he'll be a teenager. But anyway, I don't know if I want to... Oh, I don't know if I want to uh, do the whole, like, roll if she gets pregnant thing if she's a dormy. Like, because I don't have the thing where dormies, like, give birth and stuff. Dur dormies can reproduce. Here, let's let's sit in the vehicle. Because she wants to woohoo now, too. Hi, uh, Fernando. I, we're a little busy here, bud. <laughs> you just, like, you just wave it at us. We're a little bit busy, friend. As you might be able to tell. I like I like Fernando's fit. We can we look at Fernando's outfit. Look at his look at his little boxers. Oh look at this pose. <laughs> look at what, look at the I I think I caught him like he's about to clap and then do the <laughs> do the, the finger guns, <laughs> but I just caught him. <laughs> okay, bud. I like I like Fernando. Wh where's Fernando's knight in shining armor? When does Fernando get his time? Okay, can we can we finish the makeout? Can we finish? And you just sit in the vehicle. I did hit just sit, right? Yes. I ask to join. Get in the car. Sometimes we end up playing like magical car seats, but hopefully we can. Uh... There we go. I'm just gonna go for it before somebody gets out. <laughs> Oh, oh, he didn't want to talk. He's like, we're not here to talk, honey. Autumn vibes with designer pants to show undies. <laughs> show his undies. What a weird noise. There we go. We did the woohoo. Did it not count? Okay, I was going to say, where did it... What are they doing? They're... Sometimes the car conversations can be very strange. I don't understand what those sounds were. Wait, why does it look like he has a sunroof from below? Oops, do not quit, please. Okay, they're just awkwardly sitting. Okay, you can get out of the car. Okay. Good job. We had a pretty good date. This is a pretty chill little date. We could speed run dates. What if he becomes a... Oh my god, it, it like lagged and he like super slow-mo walked. Look at his walk. Oh my god. Then Crumb. From you have too many children in town to be doing this. You have too many children in town to be doing this. Okay, you're still Mr. Mr. AJ is still sleeping. He hasn't got a chance to play in his sandbox yet, or do his homework, or, or do anything really. Does AJ have like friends? He's friends with a couple of random kids. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's BFFs with Kristen Lost. That's cute. He's BFFs with Laszlo. Um, hi, Jen. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Booty grab in the front garden. Car woohoo. The Vidcrum special. Exactly. Oh, gosh. I didn't think about the fact that anytime anybody sits to watch TV or play video games, AJ is simply not going to be allowed to sleep. He's going to ask for homework help, and his, his father's probably going to say no. Also, the, the phone will wake him up. AJ has a miserable little life. <laughs> It's Vidcrim. Some girlie's calling for Vidcrim. You know what? Yeah. He, Daddy says whenever a lady calls, I have to say, yes, he's here <laughs> and hand the phone over. <laughs> he knows the drill. Okay, can you... You gotta answer the phone, buddy. 
He wants to make a friend, though. He wants to make a new friend. He's got so many. I think he knows most of the kids in town. Are there any kids he's not friends with? This random one, Bra Brasheen Sierre. CR. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to stop on by. I can tell this is a very loving family. Yes, of course. Oh. Hi, I'm Thora. Since my friend Tammy had such a great time with you the other day, I thought I'd see if you wanted to go downtown. You know what? He's going to say yes. <laughs> He's going to say, yeah, I just I just finished a date with this other chick. Okay. <laughs> She's, he's like, hey, I gotta, I got another date, sweetie. I gotta run. I gotta run, darling. <laughs> Besties with the toddlers, I know. That is one of the things I don't love about the story progression is everybody just being BFFs with everybody. Not a fa big fan of that part. Do I have to drive? Do I have to worry about driving? Okay, he's tr she's trying to goose us. She's, she's gonna give us a taste of our own medicine. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there it is. She judging our bed. We say goodbye. Can you leave, ma'am? Am I supposed to, like, go? I don't know if it's going to pop up and have me choose. Probably pop up and have me cho choose a place. <laughs> I left a can of soup in the microwave. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> don't turn it on. It'll explode. But I left the, the can of soup in there. He's like, there's, there's some, there's probably some leftovers in the, there's some, there's some milk and eggs in the fridge, AJ. Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good night. Is that for, oh, I thought that was Fernando again for a second. Okay. Am I, am I supposed to be like getting in the car and going somewhere? Sometimes it's weird. How do I handle this? What do I, do I go? I'm worried I'm gonna get in trouble and the date's gonna get mad. Yeah, see, look, you better get started on moving to the date. I don't understand. It didn't give me a pop up. It does that sometimes to me. I'm, I'm confused sometimes. Oh my god, not this. <laughs> She's asking me for an outing. No. This Vidcrim is so popular. Vidcrim is so popular. All right, let's just go somewhere quick. <laughs> oh, I forgot the pizza box out there. There's <laughs> pizza. <laughs> If you were AJ, what canned soup would you be hoping for? I think chicken noodle is the best. Yeah, if you were nutty, <laughs> what canned soup would you be nut ping for? I think chicken nut is the best. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good. That was a well spaced nut. <laughs> that was a well placed nut. Butt spot. Um, <laughs> I think I need to screenshot that one too for for uh, our quotes. <laughs> We've got a lot of quotes built up. <laughs> Not even warm, yeah. Chicken nut. Yeah, I love a good. I like a good chicken noodle with veggies. Maybe AJ. Do you think AJ could be a tomato soup man? Maybe AJ likes a tomato soup, just like one thing. I don't know, cause like AJ's like the type that probably doesn't like his foods to mix, <laughs> right? Like he wants a specific. Maybe he just wants broth. Maybe AJ just drinks chicken broth, and that's it. <laughs> he doesn't want anything else. Here we go. Hopefully our date has arrived properly and everything. I get confused sometimes with the way the dates work. Hi, ma'am. This is an outfit. Speaking of outfits, look at this girly. she got the bucket hat, she's got a button up, and she's got some Bermuda shorts. She's doing good. Let me bring my camera down here. Here we go. Uh, Let's give her a good old charm. Maybe we'll give her a... He must have a... Oh. Oh, I thought we were on a... Oh, we're not on a date. We're on an outing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's here? John... Ch oh, oh, we got the clown car syndrome. Everybody's popping out of our car. I thought we were on a date, though. I thought they were talking about standing up our date. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so, so confused. Yeah, the lighting here is very nice. This is the... um, The uh, made-over downtown from... Um, from Mod the Sims, I think the the person who made it is their name is like it's kind of a long username, like the man with the dragon tattoo or something like that. 
<clears throat> Hello, Mr. Bog. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you for the dose of olive oil. How are you doing? Um, I guess we're just going to continue on and try and get this girlie to go on a date with us or something. Who is... She? Oh, we got three bolts. Her name is Thora Bartley, and she likes us. We got, like, the green... Does he, I was going to see, does he must have smooth talk? Yeah, he does. We'll throw down a smooth talk. Who is this man? Mickey Dosser. What is his hair? Excuse me, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Look at them. I'm doing a lot of good pausing today. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of good pausing. Look at this guy. He's, look at that sass. He's he's got a lot going on. And who is he? Who is he woohooing? Oh, he's ooh. He likes Vidkrim. He likes Vidkrim. Okay, buddy. Also, this is Tammy Jensen, who is very cute, but she's a a previous date of ours. Hopefully, she doesn't get mad. She might get mad at at age at um Vidkrim. You have fries. Very nice. Very nice. His his. Okay, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with that guy. There we go. This glorious date. Look at her. Look at this glamorous woman. Let's do a little hit on. Oh, oh she just smashed him in the face. Oh my god, I'm inside the light. Awkward. <laughs> I don't think Vidkram has ever been rejected. Look at his little face. I like, I look at this shot with him just like with the light, the the, the buildings behind him. He doesn't know how to handle rejection. Okay. <laughs> yeah, his sideburns were like disconnected. A single tear falls. Yes. Um. How about can we do like apologize or something? Uh, we'll do a charm. We'll do another smooth talk. Maybe a joke. The ladies like a dirty joke. My nose is itching. He said, "Gr." Yeah, he said, Ugh. "He said grimace." I can hear. I can hear like. I might. Why can I not see inside? Here we go. I can hear like video games. Oh, there's like little video games playing over here. Who's hanging out in here? Oh my god, the place is full. Who we got? Who we got? We got Ava O'Toole, Xanthos Salami. Burrich Hill, Glarn Curious with his mesh back shirt, Amarina Barber. Okay, Amarina's a uh, Buzz Grunt's wifey. Uh, John Chase, Mickey. They, these guys came with us. Uh, Marion, last name. I can't say her last name is super long. Fries and Buffalo sauce. Oh gosh, it's it's him. <laughs> it's him. He's here. Pink Hat Boy is here. Completely misread the situation. I'm sorry. Ten seconds later. Hey, baby, what's your sign? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at this little icon. I love these. Look at our, our Sims little outfits are doing well today. Sims little outfits. He's hiding a bald spot. Maybe he's hiding something more than that. Okay, he's taking a break while she does a little uh, little jump rope. Let's see if we can ask her. What did I hit? You like what you see? You know what? Yeah, let's click on that. He just a little cold. He's hiding his nut. <laughs> It, does the does the nut come out of the head? <laughs> okay, she's into us. I gotta ask on date. I assume that'll cancel our outing, but I don't care. Who are you? Oh, General Chip. Is that how Sims work? Yeah, <laughs> you can't prove it, does it? Honestly, <laughs> you know what? Maybe we need to maybe we need to fight him to see if we can pull his hat off. Maybe Vidkrim needs to fight him for us. He was not into that. I think this girl is going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, she has a fear of marrying Vidkram? Don't worry. That will never happen in a million years, honey. You don't have to worry about that at all. <laughs> Babies are birthed from plum bobs, so yeah, that's true. Or they're, or they're pulled from the ground. <laughs> if you're in The Sims 3. There we go. We got a little smooth talk. She wants to, she wants to talk. But the smooth talk technically counts as a talk. Hi, Glabe. Can I help you? Okay. He just wants to kiss the other girl that he was on a date with. No, you need to you need to pay attention to this one. Stop looking at me. <laughs> so she wants to go on the little dance sphere. 
Hey, let's go inside here and dance together. <laughs> no, you're all right. Buffalo sauce does to me what blondes do. Oh, <laughs> good to know. You're 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 a si you you like you like blondes and buffalo sauce. <laughs> you know what? It makes you feral. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we- there we go. Dance together. I want to dance to the music. We gotta dance to the music. He says, I like your- he, sa he says, I like your bucket hat. We gotta dance, baby. These two both swooning over Gl uh, Glarn? Awkward. Glarn's over here. They love Glarn's mullet. That's what it is. Who's crushing? Who's crushing? Two bees, that's true. Who's- I'm hearing crush. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh. This is kind of drama. Okay. We've got Glabe Curious, who is a married lady. And Tammy Jensen, who is a townie. Crushing over here, falling in love. Meanwhile, this girl is... She's going through it. Mar Marion is is trying real hard. She's... <laughs> she's trying real hard. Oh. <laughs> if you saw that... Uh, I, if you saw what I'm doing to this sauce, you'd say it does. Oh. Oh, if you saw what I'm nut to this sauce box, you'd say it nut. <laughs> okay. Butt spot, yeah, butt spot ratted you out. <laughs> okay, interesting. So this girl, Glabe is married, is a married lady. But she's flirting with Tammy Jensen. Interesting. Oh, he wants to woohoo in the have picture taken with Thor. Are you sure you really want a picture taken or do we want something more here? We could do that. Who are you looking at? What is this face he's making? Look at his little face. Look at his little face. One thing I will say is that all of these babies that are coming from Vidkrin, Vidkrin? <laughs> that was, I think that was a mixture of Vidkin and, and Vidkrim. But all of these babies coming from Vidkrim are going to probably be pretty cute. So that's, you know, that's a plus. He's good looking. Picture, picture taken mid nut, not this. <laughs> This is why I don't go on dates. I disgust even myself. No. Oh no. Where'd you go? Get back here, bucket hat. Where'd you go? Ma'am. Nope. Wrong button. Um. Ask Thora to join. Ask to join. I love, I love Ms. Ms. Amarina. I think she's cool. I can't wait to get back to playing her and Buzzy. Uh, sir? What, John? Can I- John, can I help you? <laughs> Did she get in? No, she didn't. Where's- where's- where's Bucket Hat? Wait, did Bucket Hat get in? Where's our date? Can I click on our date? Also, <laughs> what's happening over here? <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot going on. <laughs> John said, can I come in? <laughs> John said, you got games on your phone. <laughs> you got games on your phone? <laughs> Bella is a small penguin. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I don't know if this looks like the options for somebody who's it's, it's just a lone person. I don't see her here. Did she go in the bathroom or is she? Hmm. I guess she got in. I didn't see her get in. I guess we'll take normal photos. I don't know. We can't take romantic because we're not maybe not like crushing or in love yet. Time's running out. Oh, God. We're having a bad day. John, we need to leave. John, we gotta get out. John, oh, she was in there. John's just like sniffing them through the curtain. <laughs> Co coffee and buffalo sauce. Oof. Oof. My my stomach's barely holding- Oh, I don't know what I just hit. I think I just hit- There we go. My stomach's barely holding it to get- Oh. John's trying to mess with our lady. Anyway, my, my stomach's barely holding it together right now. That would absolutely send me to the ER. Buffalo sauce and coffee. That would that would not be good. Uh, slow dance. I don't want to slow dance. Let's play. We'll do a we'll do a tickle. <laughs> John said I nutted too. Can I can I join? <laughs> Wait, there was just like a multi crush happening. Okay, we've got two. God, everybody's falling in love here, man. <laughs> sniffing through the car. He was smelling them. He was sniffing them. I'm enjoying that mud spot again. I'm enjoying myself, but the heat is only worsened by hot drink. Ew. Yeah, is it is it hot? 
Is it hot where you are? Right now we're getting some really nice fall weather, thankfully. I'm, I'm really happy with the weather. I'm enjoying myself, but the nut is only worsened by hot nut. <laughs> That's a really good one. God, we got a lot of really good quotes today. I gotta screenshot that one too. Holy crap. <laughs> I I I don't know what to say. I think I think his face is stuck like this. He's got a stuck face. <laughs> He's got a stuck face. It's amazing how often the stuck face glitch happens. Um, we'll do a back rub. I'm just trying to get some good scoring here. It's not really a big deal. All he needs, he doesn't need great dates, he just needs first dates. Um <laughs> is a hot knutsford worse than a cold one? That's a good question. Oh, she's getting in. Okay. Are we gonna join John? Uh, wait, I think her and John are in here together. Can I see them in here or do they just disappear? Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I didn't I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> It's, why is it kind of a little look, though? <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> um. Interesting. Oh. Oh, they're woohooing. Oh, no. She's woohooing with another man on our date. We're on a date with her, and she's woohooing <laughs> with another man. In the... Okay. I guess date's over, then. Oh, now we're hugging Glarn. <laughs> now who's- oh god, Comey. Then I was like, now who's crushing? And then I looked over and saw Crush, I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> John said he nutted to John's like, y'all, y'all, I needed the nut. Okay. <laughs> Good for- honestly. <laughs> what is gappening? I think- you're right, I think there might be a gappening. He bet his badge. He did. In John. John's now our enemy. We've got to fight John. We've got to attack John now. John's now our arch enemy. Look at all these men trying to protect John. There we go. Oh. Ross is... Ro this man... Also, let's talk about... So, pink hat guy? <laughs> you know what I meant. I know what you meant. <laughs> the... The pink hat man is named Ross. I don't know how that fares. Oh no, he lost to fight. Oh no. That was a quick fight, too. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's a lot of people here. I think we're going to end our date. I think it's a, probably about to end anyway. Um, that was a pleasant way to spend some time. That was great. Let's do it again sometime. She's responding. This girl is responding to the outing. Who's taking pictures now? Wait, I got to see these pictures, these random towny pictures, because you see them develop. Who just got in here? Wait, did the... Oh, I thought it was Pink Hat. I was like, oh man, I wish Pink Hat got in here. Buzz butt, please. <laughs> wow, not a loser. <laughs> Can we see? Can we see whose pictures are developing? Oh, it's... Oh, it's Amarina. Wait, Amarina got in. Look at Amarina's pictures. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> These townies are just, are just very entertaining today. These townies are just going at it. <laughs> Actually, she's not a townie. She's a playable, but like all these sims. She's over here dancing with John. Why did you call me to go on a date if you really wanted John? Like, what's, what's, what is this? <laughs> yeah, I love her. I like her, um, her outfit. I really like, she's so, like, she just looks cool. And, of course, and again, she's married to Buzz Grunt, so like the camouflage, <laughs> being Buzz Grunt's wife. Like, of course, she's got camouflage on. <laughs> she wanted you to feel the jealousy. Yeah, that's true. The blowing kiss. Oh, she's an icon. Yeah, she's great. She's got a baby with Buzz. Her, she's the mother of Tanklin, Buzz's first child that we were going to name Tank, and then it turned out to be a girl, so we named her Tanklin. So she's Tanklin's mommy. And probably will be the mother of all of his other kids. This girly's face is really unique. I didn't notice... I, she was making expressions earlier that I didn't really tell. I couldn't really tell. Look at her face. I do like, I do like the townies' faces. Um, and, <laughs> uh, question would be uploading Calicundi as a custom hood. I don't know. I don't know if I will. I could some way along the line. I don't know. Of course, it's full, it's like jam packed full of CC. I'd have to do like, if I wanted to, I'd have to do like a, a no CC sweep 
I just go through and fix everything. Also, hi, Broadway Blonde. Grant's, Grant's whole personality is Camo and Army America. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Should have named it Machine Gun Kelly, not this. Uh, she wants everyone to know that e know that she's a grunt. <laughs> she doesn't slay any less. Even even no though she's a grunt, she doesn't slay any less. I like to imagine they were so dead set on having a son and the daughter was born. The Lynn was just quickly added, yeah. This is my way of getting you to upload the effing mod folder. <laughs> oh my god. Is she standing? Why is she? Oh, she's not. Okay. All right, we're just kind of loitering at this lot. Poor AJ. Poor AJ's at home trying to eat raw eggs. I think we should probably go home. Unless there's anybody... Actually, can I... Do we know this girlie? I'd like to just... Here, let me have him, like, scope the room and see who's hot. Let's see if we can meet anybody new for future dates. Not right now, but just in the future. Okay, do a little scope the room, buddy old pal. <laughs> you can merge it into one file. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. Thora, okay. Oh, wait, that's who we just went on a date with. Okay, you're no help. That was no help, AJ. I wish you would give us, like... Also, these girlies are kissing over here. It's, what is happening? Oh, they're touching. These girlies... <gasps> Glaive is cheating on her wife with Cammy. Cammy. Yeah, that, yeah, I know. I could do the CC merger. I just think that a lot of it would end up broken, and then you get stuck with a bunch of broken stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out. I feel like Pink Hat Ross would make some fantastic- he, he probably does. But it's like, what is he hiding under there? What is Pink Hat Ross hiding under there? Okay, she's- she's coming back at us. I think she's- isn't this a- a down- isn't she- is she the downtown diva? I don't know why- I feel like this sim exists in a lot of different downtowns. In this outfit and this hair. I don't know if that's who she's like. She's a like technically an NPC of downtown. Um, I don't remember. We don't have chemistry with her, unfortunately. Ask Thora on a date. You already you just went on a date with Thora. Okay, I think we're gonna take our, our ride home. Let's go home. Let's take a ride home. Oh, do they have the? Oh, you're right. Baby diva. Yeah, I just feel like I see. Maybe it's just that this is a, a common downtowny because of this outfit. Because I always see her. She has different names, though, because it, like, randomizes her name, I think? But I always see this girly with the same hair and outfit. So maybe it's just, like, a different one. Also, look at our look at our vampire lady. All right, let's go home. Let's go check on AJ. He's just choking on eggs. <laughs> He's choking on eggs. Got to take him to bed to find out. Oh, no. Curls up and cries. Here, you'll survive. I really, well, I was going to say, I don't have a lot, but over time, I've added some. A lot of my stuff is just, like, the most, like, Maxis match stuff I can find. Or, like, repository project stuff, or... <laughs> I really won't. I need, I need all of it. <laughs> okay, I forgot. I have, so I have, um, the, uh, what's it called? Community time mod. So now we get to play. Oh, girly. This girl. Oh. Apparently, Jasmine is babysitting AJ. What kind of trouble can AJ get into at 9 p.m. on his own? You come play with a toy out in a sandbox. <laughs> You'll get a plant baby. That's true. I could be a plant baby. Choking on eggs. <laughs> he's just. He's, he doesn't know what to do with himself. He's got pizza here. It doesn't actually. It's a mod object. I should probably delete it. This back porch is pretty empty. What now, now, what if AJ slept out on the back porch? <laughs> do you think Do you think it would be wrong if Mr. AJ just kind of slept out on the back porch? <laughs> on a dog bed? <laughs> on a couch? Just like an old cow? Maybe. Hey, okay, look at him in his little sandbox. He likes his little sandbox. <laughs> yes, it would be wrong. Are you sure? It's AJ, though. Like, he's a cool little guy. He likes the outdoors. What is his actual lifetime? Like, his happy... What am I saying? His special interest. Science. He's a science baby. See, he wants to look at the stars. He likes science. Actually, can I... Well, I don't think we have enough money. Do we have enough money for a little telescope? No. His dad's gonna go to work, which his dad's not gonna be working for, like, three days. His happiness has crushed at a young age. <laughs> that would be right. 
AJ. But we're gonna figure out what AJ's storyline is in this version of our hood. Like, I don't know where AJ will end up. I feel like he's gonna go... We gotta have him go somewhere different than his normal self, you know? He's gonna get... He's gonna be more interesting. AJ definitely would want a sandbox in a sandy desert, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna... He's gonna... It's, you know, it's special sand, though. It's nice soft sand instead of a... Like, this is, like, pretty much dirt. And then this could be actual, like, nice beach sand. This girlie is just standing around critiquing all of our things. Like, what are you doing, Jasmine? Can I help you, Jasmine? What are you doing, Jasmine? I mean, you're, I appreciate you being here. Tell a story. Let's tell, let's tell Jasmine a story about computers. <laughs> Do you think Jasmine wants, wants to hear AJ's story about computers? What is he? Oh, see a shooting star. How do we do that? Click anywhere on the ground. Oh, and stargaze. We could have AJ stargaze. I'm going to lock that in. That seems right for his little nerdy self. The dad splurges on a sandbox in the desert, but not for appropriate accommodations for his son. Exactly. Maybe the, maybe the, oh, also she did not want that. Maybe I could ask her to leave. I don't think he, he's allowed to. View? Wait, why does it say view when I click on her? Oh, he, she, she's doing... She's viewing art, and he's joining her. He's joining her view art. Okay. Oh, oh he did not like the touching. He, AJ doesn't like being touched. Okay. Uh, stargaze. Let's have AJ just spend all night stargazing. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're listening to jokes. AJ's like, are you my new mommy? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, it's a little weird. She doesn't. I don't. I, I think as a young adult, she has no idea how to take care of this child. <laughs> She's just walking around viewing things. I wish she would kind of leave. Honestly, like I'd rather AJ just be here by himself. But I don't think I saw the option to leave. He's just gonna go lay in the desert. <laughs> What if AJ gets hit? Can they? Children can't get hit by satellites, right? <laughs> I assume they can't. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm just gonna let him go at it for a while. Hope he sees a shooting star. Okay, there we go. She's finally leaving. She's like, "Hey, kid, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now, kid. Um, you're okay. You're you're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> your you, your dad left some soup in the microwave for you." <laughs> You could have that. The record player on the decking too is playing while stargazing and playing in the sand pit. Kind of. That's true. We could have his little. Oh, that's right. He does have a little record player out here. He could be playing music. Merle and Vidkrim are no longer friends. Okay. Well, he didn't get to see us stargaze. Oh, he's real tired. Holy crap. Yeah. Why don't you go to sleep, buddy? There you go. Well, we get to play a little bit of AJ too. So that's the other thing that's maybe is kind of nice about having the community time with like this household is um w when you have age uh, we have vidcrim constantly running around doing dates you get you keep losing time spending time with um you know aj actually vidcrim's coming home now anyway there he is the return his return? His arrival? He needs to sleep. How about you just go sleep in your pajamas in your little bugged out bed? Your little bugged out broken bed. How about that? You gotta sleep all day. He's been out all night. He's literally been out all night. Yeah. Can kids throw parties? That's a good question. Maybe he could just run off to a lot or something. Can, let me just see. I don't think so. Of course, he's sleeping right now. I don't know if the fact that he's sleeping is affecting it, but I, I don't think so. Let me see, because like if I click... Yeah, I can... Maybe because he's... I don't know. We'll see it when he's awake. All right, we're, we're sleeping time. Are these auto lights on? There we go. Oh, AJ's going to go to school soon. He didn't do his homework at all. Can I get him to do his homework real quick? He wants to... At Wait, no, he wants to ask for homework help. I don't know if he's ever going to get a chance to. Okay, you got to go to school, buddy. You got to go to school, friend. Who's this kitty? Rodan. Hello, Rodan, the kitty cat. 
Meanwhile, Vidprim just sleeps all day. <laughs> he would throw a party. He'd have a study session. That's true. Well, we can have groups, right? The kids can make groups. I think. They can form groups. We could form a little study group for AJ. The people running by? Oh, God. It's John. Our arch enemy is here. <laughs> arch enemy John is here. He, he, John wants to have all the kids in town. He wants to, to be birthing the children. <laughs> that came out really weird. <laughs> Eustace, Nygmos, and Vidkrim are no longer friends. Why were you friends with, with Eustace? <laughs> Hi, Indigo Candies. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to... Oh, I might go might go asleep soon, though. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Yeah, we uh, started a little early today. And we're uh, trying to get through Mr. Vidkrim's and uh, AJ's time. Let's see, he doesn't have to work again today. I think he might have to call somebody up on a date. And he, that's right, he went on a date with Gundren. He's got three bolts with Gundren. I think he already woohooed with her once. We got Tammy. Oh, we got Jessica. I don't know. I don't remember. We could call Jessica and just see if she's interested, but I don't know if she is. Um, wait, that's right. I can organize by this. Yeah, we've already done a date with Shadow. Did a date with Thora. We haven't done a date with Moonchild, but she can't come with come out. Blossom Moonbeam. I wonder, I could probably, like, teleport Blossom here. Like, I, instead of having to call her up. We went on a date with Jasmine. Mistel Nielsen. Glaive Curious. We could try Glaive. I think Glaive might be fully gay. I don't remember. I guess he's going to take care of himself a little bit. Yeah, I might be able to teleport early over. <clears throat> I gotta run an ad break, unfortunately. It's already been a gosh darn hour. I can't believe it has. We'll just do some some boring stuff. <laughs> we'll just be doing boring stuff behind the ads. Taking care of his needs. What are his needs? Actually, his needs are pretty good. Stuff face. I don't think this man knows how to... Oh, oh we got a pop-up. After AJ's class friend rushes over to him and asks if AJ would like to join a study group with a bunch of classmates for the next science exam. AJ is excited about the offer, but is unsure if he should go because he studies just as well by himself. Did AJ join the study group? Yeah, he's going to join it. Study group begins, and they find themselves chatting more about controversial science theories. Scientific theories, rather than the material, is going to be covered. Disgruntled at the lack of focus, AJ loses some enthusiasm in science. Unfair. Unfair. The study group was manifested. Glaive has her own thing with Tammy going on. That's true. Taking care of his needs, not his son's. Yeah, he can't even take care of his needs. Barely. I think if, if I spelled those names correctly, you did actually. You did a good job. There's a lot of funky little names in this, this hood. Um, Vidkrim would absolutely believe he could turn Glaive. Ew. It's true. He probably would. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teleport Moonbeam. Teleport. Enable summon. Uh, oh, actually, I'm going to use the, the this. Oh, the kid's home. The, the child is here. Um, spawn sim, because this one has, like, a special section for, like, dormies, I, I think? Or maybe not. Maybe they're just under townies. Student housing. No. Oh, yeah, right there. Mossum. Mossum? I just called her Mossum Moonbee. <laughs> There we go. Oh, oh, hello, Olive. Wait, Olive's here. Hi, Olive. Wait, maybe we should... Wait, can we greet Olive Spectre? Also, again, with the Max's hair, my I have an issue where my young adults don't get defaulted hairs, like the, the, the version that... I don't know. The child has arrived. She kind of looks a little bit... I think it's the dress. She's giving me a little Mary Sue because I had Mary Sue in this dress. Oh, my God. Olive is real excited to be here. Um, anyway. Not caress. I didn't mean to caress. How about we do smooth talk? <laughs> he's got he's got this walk going. Our little our little Casanova, our little Don Lothario of Strange Town here. He's a he's a prolific dater. I wonder if he, I think we talked last time about Olive and him. Um, 
she's Olive has a running bug. Oh, okay, that was a quick crush. Okay, quick crush. Hello. <laughs> can you do, can you, <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Leah. Leah, maybe? <laughs> can he discuss a date with her prisoner? Yes. <laughs> can he discuss a date with her nutso nut? What is a nutso nut? Why did why did you have to do it that way, butt spot? <laughs> why did you have to do it that way, butt spot? Anyway, I don't know who's calling. Oh, it's some random dude. We gotta go on a date with this random college chick. <laughs> uh, can we tell her a joke? What she she was trying to do something to us. Oh god, she's looking at me. No, I need you to ask on date. There we go. I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know who the next girly he could knock up is. I'm not sure who his next possible. Uh, I just realized that AJ. Wait. I just realized. So AJ is a never nude, and AJ's swimwear is this. This look. It's. I just barely caught him changing. But so this. <laughs> this is quite a pose. He's got the that the 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 two the duck tuby. So he he takes a bath in this. <laughs> <laughs> with with his full on flippers and everything, that's so that's so correct with AJ. That's so correct for AJ. <laughs> that's just his, that's how he he bathes. <laughs> you mean nut up? Honestly, yes, <laughs> yes. He's got the floaties and the flippers just in case, just in case. Okay, so we're on a, a date. Oh, she's a family sim. She wants to be friends with Jacqueline. She wants to talk to Vidcrim. Well, guess what? We can do. Talk, smooth talk. Tell a joke. Um, why can't I tell a joke? Oh, right there. He still sink down the drain. Yeah, he might. He might go flowing down the drain. Maybe there'll be a flood. He has to be prepared. Olive is is making me nervous. The way she just runs everywhere. She's she's got she's got the jitters or something. Slow dance with Vidkrum. I suppose. I suppose. What else does she want to do? We're just doing like the date and grind, man. I don't know. Does she like a? Sorry, there's a there's a truck backing up outside that's like beeping loud. I don't know if it's coming through. What are we doing? Where are we going? Slow dance. Oh yeah. I'm gonna X the slow dance. There we go. Cool. I didn't even have to do it. Smooch blossom. We could do that. We can do a smooch. Wait, why does it? Why does the smooch? come up as like a like a little heart thing like shouldn't it be a little kiss okay okay that's good i didn't know if it was coming through or not oh, <gasps> oh. i'm sorry what olive can i help you <laughs> was was him and olive in, in a thing did him and olive have a thing going on i forgot Olive's just Olive's just bullying. Olive's just bullying. Okay. Okay, Olive. Look at him look at. He's like, what is happening? We apologize? Let's apologize to her. I don't know. I guess maybe Olive and him had a little thing going. I maybe I kinda remember. He's gonna end up in her garden. I think we need maybe we need to focus on flirting with Olive. Drop her a little smooth talk. Oh, even though actually I forgot we're on a date with the other chick. Maybe we should just ask Olive to leave <laughs> while we're working on this date. Ask to leave Olive. Let's say goodbye. There we go. We sent her off with roses. Thank you for your time. Okay, now we're gonna continue with this. <laughs> I can't remember if she liked the dirty joke or not, but I just wanted to do something. Olive just came over to play video games and cause chaos. Apparently, <laughs> apparently. Also, yeah, I don't know. Maybe she'll end up in the garden. He'll end up in the garden. Oh, she did not like. She did not like that. <laughs> Hello, comrade. <laughs> um, we're, we're flopping. Our date's a flop. <laughs> Oh, 
The way she runs away was fun. Life's a nightmare. Okay. I think we're getting along all right. He wants to throw a sports party? Oh, also, wait, I just noticed he achieved the 10 first dates want. That's cool. Here, we'll answer the phone. So he's got 10, he's, he's got 10 first dates in his belt. That means we only need uh, 40 more to get his lifetime wish. <laughs> Work to, oh, AJ got the, okay, we're going to talk to Vidgrim. How you doing, AJ? AJ needs to ask somebody for homework help. Do you think he can ask Blossom? <laughs> Excuse me, Blossom. My dad doesn't like me. Can you help me do my homework? <laughs> <That's> terrible. <gasps> she said no. She said no, kid. I don't. I don't freaking know you, kid. <laughs> well, thank you for hanging by. Uh, hanging by, stopping by, slash hanging out. <laughs> Read Daniel. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Oh, geez, another... That's my friend Jasmine. You know what? I don't want to go downtown again right now. Oh, my God. Worked a short morning assignment, so I'm here to catch most of the stream this time. Very nice. Uh, hey, lady, you know fractions? <laughs> you know fractions, lady. Okay. Ah, oh, too bad, but hopefully we'll get together soon. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God, his phone is... Look, AJ... AJ's like our little secretary answering the phone constantly. Okay. Everybody, this house is so boring that everybody walks around critiquing our salt shakers. Oh my god, it's Jasmine. No, he's busy. AJ's just gonna start saying no. <laughs> Tiny coffee cup, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I wish I could say goodbye. Influence? I don't think we can influence anybody. He's making, is he make? are you making enough for everybody? Okay, good job. Look at that. Look at you being a dad, making things. Serving food for everybody. He's like, I, I know how to make one thing. <laughs> Vidgrim knows how to make a single thing. And that is a grilled cheese. <laughs> he can make a good grilled cheese. <laughs> Hi there, thank you. Yeah, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of work into it. <laughs> Getting it to, to run well and look well. Look well, look good. <laughs> I guess that's the word. Okay, Miss Blossom. We're gonna probably it kind of. I'm not really trying super. I, we don't have to try super hard to get good dates again. So, you want to come and eat, buddy? Like, what's up? We'll try and ask Vidkrim to do our our uh, our homework with us. Kappa Milky, thank you so much for this prime. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the Prime Kappa Milky. Welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, hello, hello. First time chat. <laughs> You've been chatting in the Discord a little bit more. I didn't know that was your first time chat here. <laughs> oh, yes. Also, yeah, The Sims 2 is great. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big enjoyer. I pr much prefer The Sims 2. <laughs> but yeah. Of course, I all of a lot of my hairs I use are the Sims 4 converted hairs. Oh no, it went bad right as she sat down. <laughs> it got, that went fast. Why did those go bad so fast? Oh my god, look at them. They all just like immediately went out. Went bad in front of them. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, but anyway, a lot of the hairs I use are like converted from the Sims 4. Um, it looks They look really good in the Sims 2, I think. Okay, can you, okay, we're okay. We're gonna we're gonna play the the fighting over the sink mess. Yeah, I don't know the bread's the bread's going through something. I don't. Can we just clean this up? <laughs> we're gonna. Oh, oh no! Now she's sneezing on us. I think we need to ask this lady to leave. I don't know why there everyone options there. AJ, you can't sleep in that bed. AJ, what are you doing, buddy? You're just making the bed. Okay. Yeah, I guess he's bad at cooking. <laughs> I guess he's bad at cooking. I don't know. You want to make... I guess you, you want to make this side of the bed? If you're going to... Why can't I make this side of the bed? That's weird. Okay. Okay, a kiss goodbye. A kiss. Kiss goodbye. Um, Let's see. Well, I wanted AJ to try to ask for homework help. He's going to be flunking out of school. Wait, get up. Ask Vidkrim for homework help. See if we can get it to happen. <laughs> Poor AJ. <laughs> Poor AJ is basically a glorified child laborer. <laughs> laborer. Labor. 
Okay, can we? He's ignoring his chest. Stop. Vidkrim. Vidkrim is a bad father. <laughs> oh, I just usually watch the YouTube re uploads of the streams. We finally made it to one. Yes, I'm glad. Oh, okay. AJ gave up and fell asleep. And okay. This is, you know what? AJ. Yeah, you can't even sleep because your dad's playing video games. I need, like, I feel like we need something fun for Vidkrim to do out here. Like, what is, what does Vidkrim want? What is, like, a party thing? We can't barely afford anything. Um, there's not really any fun. Oh, we got ju- Oh, we need a keg. He wants a keg, I think. That's probably what he wants. Here, come drink some front- Front pooch? Fruit poot. <laughs> I can't say the words. Fruit punch! <laughs> Fruit punch! Oh, we didn't- Nobody threw those away. I feel like there's not a lot of light out here. I feel like there needs to be like an outdoor light. <laughs> Hi, Gene. How are you? Oh, ew. He just burped. He just did a burped. Come, 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 <laughs> come drink some front front pooch with me, son. My brain didn't even. My brain couldn't even comprehend <laughs> what, what that sentence even said. Oh my god. <sighs> Okay, look, AJ has peace. <laughs> AJ has peace and quiet. Okay, he did the smash thing. Can you just clean this up? Maybe we could go to a community lot or something while AJ's sleeping. We'll just, like, walk to a lot or drive. See who we can meet. Because he's kind of a night owl. He kind of stays up all night and then sleeps all day. His job is like that, too, anyway. Let's let's have him drive somewhere. We'll see what what kind of trouble we can get into. We'll just stay in, in Strange Town. Let's go to the Night Owl Saloon. Ooh, we gotta go to the saloon in town. See if we can find any new ladies. We need some we need some new new uh dates. Need some more folks to he does want a woohoo with the 20 sims. So um how many wait, before we go, am I able to look quick? Oops, I might not have the time to look. I wanted to see if I could tell how many dates he's had. Here, look, we'll just put this pizza box somewhere. Does it pop up? Okay. He's had 10 woohoos. What is it? Oh, he wants 20. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, and I'm glad you're good. Did you say it was your birthday? No. <laughs> no, it's not my birthday. <laughs> and I'm, I'm all right. I'm surviving. I'm not 100% better for my, my stomach issues, but I'm better <laughs> than I was. Good father. Leaving the house unlocked while he leaves, yes. Make sure to open all the windows on his way out. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's pouring rain. I don't know about Vidkrum. Maybe there should be a point where we decide that that uh, AJ gets taken away or something, or if he could find somebody that AJ would that would take AJ. Who is this? Oh, it's Jessica. Jessica Ibadi's here. Why is this in the middle of the room? Excuse me. Okay, we have a floating dartboard. I'm gonna let it happen. We're just gonna let it happen. Let's do a little smooth talk. What is he doing? Oh, he's getting out of the car. <laughs> like, what are you doing now? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's all right. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'm at least on the mend from this flare up. I don't know. We'll see. Somebody is trying real hard to play piano. Who are you? Paige. Paige is not quite making it happen. Olive can take him. Oh god. AJ can become the first zombie in town from Olive's spells. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that happened quick. Alright. Now, this could be fun because Ms. Ms. Jessica Ibadi is a playable in our town here. But we could, we could uh, possibly have another Vidkrum baby on the way. Um... I'm gonna ask on date, so that we have another first date. Okay, who else is crushing? Wait, who else has fallen in love? Where else is their love happening? I just heard another love s- oh, down here? Oh my god! Who's down here?! Wait, who's fooling around- wait, I can't tell who this is, I'm afraid! <laughs> what is going on in the basement of the- the saloon? Okay. 
Z Wait. <laughs> Wait, this is this is Cersei's dad Xanthos. And this is Glaive Curious. Why is Glaive Curious out here fooling around with everybody? Glaive is cheating on her wife with everyone. <laughs> Glaive, look at these two redheads. What if Glaive gets pregnant? What if Glaive gets pregnant? I can't even... You, how would you explain that to, to wifey? <laughs> that, that she... Did they f did they actually woohoo or are they just making out naked? Also, we're on a date with the other girly. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for a second. I'm gonna do the macro mod, the macrotastics mod, um, or I can do. Where is it? Oh, do I not have it? Hmm. What are you doing? Whatever. We'll just we'll just do some some stuff. What does she want? She wants a dirty or he wants to tell her a dirty joke. She wants to play and dance. We'll just have them do some stuff because I kind of want to watch what's going on in the basement. <laughs> I just had a curiosity. Um, I'm going to do a slow dance. I'm going to delete this. I can do this, right? There we go. <laughs> a little bit silly. Okay, what what is going on down here? Okay, they are actually woohooing. Love the bed in the basement of the saloon. It gives it, yeah. I've been reading a book on sex work in my area in the, from the 19th century. Oh, that's that's in, that sounds interesting. Okay, they have woohooed. Imagine if the bells rang. Imagine if the baby bells rang. I would scream. Yeah, this, this so this lot was one of the lots that I downloaded from a pack of lots that were designed after the console Sims uh, Strange Town, like the PSP Strange Town. And so, like, a lot of them were designed to have like Sims living there and like running the business. Um, but I converted this one to just be a community lot with like a little there's just this little uh ladder. They oh, got them going up the ladder at the same time. Oh my. Oh my. Um so there's kind of a little downstairs area down here, which I think is it could be quite useful. I could see this being Vidkrim's favorite place to hang out because of the beds down there. I feel like that could be it. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to play the PSP games yet. I want to. I, I want to do it on, like, an emulator or something. We've played some of the console game, but um, I haven't done the PSP Sims 2 specifically. Okay. That's enough. Who wants to play cards with Vidkrim? That's not very exciting. Uh, can we tell a joke? Can you finish? Paige! <laughs> Paige, honey, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop j doing what you're doing because it's driving me nuts. <laughs> she's just jamming the keys. She thinks she's doing well. She's got her little tip jar out and everything. She thinks she's really going at it. <laughs> okay. There we go. We've got a long... Okay, there we go. This is what I want. We got a kiss. Do a makeout. Do some kissing. Yeah, I've heard it's very story-based. It has a lot of, like, alternative lore to the main, like, PC storyline, which is kind of cool. To kind of get some different perspective on some of the pre-made characters. Okay, now he wants to woohoo with the car. I kind of want to woohoo in the bed instead. I think that would be better. Uh, he wants a flirt. Can we get away with a caress? She might not like... Sometimes they don't like caress. Um, hug? We can do a... Maybe a romantic hug? And then... Give a back rub? Oh, not shoe. <laughs> do not tell the girl to leave. No back rub. We're having a good date. He wants to be BFFs with Glaive. He's seeing. He's like, I see you, Glaive. Glaive's over here going through something. Her her daughters have Glaive's daughters have just aged up to teenagers. Maybe she's like going through something with that, like trying to get get over them growing up and not needing her anymore. Okay, Miss Crumble Bottom is casually ordering a her voice, <laughs> and Mister Mister Pink Hat is here. Ross, apparently the Strange Town has a singular all of downtown in Strange Town has one singular bartender and his name is Ross and he wears a pink hat. <laughs> I don't know I don't know how I feel. Where's she going? Where's she where are you going? Don't order a drink. This come down here. Where are you going, ma'am? You gonna watch television or something? Oh, oh my game froze. Oh, I think it's a witch. There might be a witch. I know I love Gla I mean I love uh Roz. I feel like we need like we need a household of our favorite NPCs to play. <laughs> like there's cause there's now Hank the Butler. 
And now we got Ross the bartender. Yeah, it's a witch. It's a witch lady coming onto the lot. Hello, ma'am. Look at you with your green skin. Okay, buddy. What is she? She's just, is she just making the bed? I guess she's just making the bed. Oh no, she's sitting on the bed? What if she's- is she woohooing with somebody else in- around here? <laughs> like, what is she doing? I could have them, um, cat- oh my god, the lightning? Woohoo, bed. Let's just go over here. Come here, ma'am. There we go. We're gonna go with- oh, okay. He just stripped right down. He did not- he did not play. He's like, I'm- I don't have any- do you think that he just goes commando all the time? Is that what it is? <laughs> He's not that he's actually stripping down. He's just he doesn't have anything else under there. He doesn't need he doesn't need underwear. He doesn't understand. He's like, why would I need underwear? I'm just gonna take him off. <laughs> yeah, he went for the leopard leopard skin bed. Yeah, he's like, I need this one. I need this. I need this teddy bear to be staring you in the eyes while we're while we're woohooing. <laughs> what if there's a camera in the teddy bear? That might- I'm, I'm, that might be questionable. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I trust this random- Imagine- like, I feel like down here nobody cleans down here. Like, why is there- there's a- there's a vampire thing. <laughs> what do you think- what are these shelves for? What- I have so many questions. I have so many questions. <laughs> He's weird, he might be- a, oh, oh, we got a cutscene on this one. I didn't make her selectable though, I forgot. I think that helps. <laughs> Just the ground above. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Well. I could- we could- I could make her selectable and we could do it again. <laughs> Just because I forgot it this time. There we go. Y'all wanna- you wanna- you wanna woohoo in the other bed? How about that? Just cause we want a chance of you getting pregnant? Go oh, woohoo in the other. Okay, yeah, we're gonna try this other bed. <laughs> we're gonna test the firmness of the bed. <gasps> Did y'all just see this dog teleport down here? <laughs> Did you see the dog just? <laughs> okay, hi Max. <laughs> hi Max. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> this dog really wanted to be down here. I didn't know the dogs could do that. <laughs> he just. Boop. Hi bud. Oh no, Max, no. <laughs> Max, no. Max, don't- Max, not like this! <laughs> what is happening? Max. Max, we can't. Max. <laughs> oh no! What are you doing here? <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> what, is... <laughs> what are we doing? Leave. He's leaving. He knows what's better. He knows. <laughs> oh, that's- you know who that is? That's Pascal's boyfriend. Okay, are we gonna actually woohoo? Are we gonna tell the dog to go or something? Like what? <laughs> are we? I think they're just gonna do it. So I have, I do know that I have a mod. Oh, he's getting off. I was gonna say, I didn't know how it would work with him sitting there. I do have a mod that lets pets sit on the bed while Sims sleep in the bed. Like, especially with, with cats. I mean, not with, with children, like where they're smaller and the, the dog can like sit at the end of the bed. Um. But I don't know why he decided to hop up there. This is a random stray dog. I had a pet that did that IRL. Oh my. Yeah, he ran out. He realized what was happening. Also, it's 7 a.m. Okay, so we did woohoo. So we have a chance of a pos- Also, let me turn the sound back up. I turn it down because of the cutscene. Okay. I'll let you do whatever- Okay, you need to go home. I'll let you go to the bathroom. Um, that was nice. Yeah, okay. Let's go home. What is this kid's name again? Joel. This is Joel. Wait, Mrs. Crumblebottom's playing chess- playing, a uh, poker. Okay, we got Marilena Curious, which is- So this is the wife of Glabe, who was just woohooing with some random guy. Look at her, she's such a cutie. Look at- Glabe is, is cheating on this girly. This is her wife, and she was just cheating on her with some random guy down in the basement. Actually, it wasn't a random guy, it was another playable dude. We got Miss Crumble Bob, now we got Cersei Salome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jessica's waiting her turn to play. Let's go home and check on our son again. Oh, awkward. 
<laughs> also, I feel like there's so many there's so many connections in this town. This is Lila, who is currently pregnant with Vidkram's baby. <laughs> His baby is here. <laughs> She's just wandering on by. <laughs> there's so much happening. <laughs> Hi, Carmi. How are you doing? I'm here to work before I go to sleep. Yes, I'm. I hope you have a good uh, good sleep. Hope you. Hope you. Vidkram staying out till 7.30 to mess around and leaving his son by himself overnight. Father of the ear. <laughs> father of the ear. <laughs> I know you mean father of the year, but I also like the concept of father of the ear. That's that's a fun, that's a fun one. Oh my god, the lightning is a lot. Let me turn that down a little bit. Alright, you're sleeping. <laughs> father of the ear. <laughs> it makes me think of like that's you know what that sounds like is like an award for like the best corn, like at a county fair or something, like some guy that grows really good corn. He's he's awarded father of the ear of corn. <laughs> uh yeah, let's save, why not? <laughs> that's what it makes me think of. Children of the corn, father of the ear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, you're wide awake. Oh, he wants to do homework now? Okay, buddy, we can do homework. Let me do your homework. Sure. Doing your thing. I think I can get him- yeah, he can do both of them, I think, just right in a row. Okay, that's good. At least he won't be, like, super behind in school. Poor little AJ, you know. You know what? He's he's gonna have a he's gonna have a, a a very he's gonna be an interesting character. He will develop into an interesting character one day, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, I just don't know what that character is gonna be exactly. I just don't know. You know, he's into science. Is he gonna get into science stuff? Is he gonna be like a scientist? What if what if like hmm. I don't know. I just don't know where he's going to end up, what his little story is going to be. We'll have to see how it goes, because I don't really have any ideas for him. Like his father, but worse. This is only... Oops, sorry. Ugh. This is only if he doesn't starve beforehand. No! Poor little AJ. Poor little AJ. Really loud, uh, really loud jets flying by. Oh, you gotta go to school, buddy. I kind of want somebody to recycle this. Oh, his father's home now. He's coming stumbling home <laughs> at 8 a.m. All right. That's true. Maybe he can cure the zombie apocalypse that all this causes. He can create zombie... Zo Anti-zombie juice. <laughs> Hi, son. Bye, son. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think he even bothers to greet him? Oh, we got... We got a rose... I'm surprised we don't have more roses at this point. I'll just put it in our inventory. Oh, we got another rose in here. Can I put them? I got this like more slots mod, so we can we can have them everywhere. <laughs> I don't know where to put them. Oh, we can put them on top of the fridge. I can't put them in here. And or wait, can I? Oh, I can. There we go. Oh, oh, this is our. Oh wait, this is our picture with with bucket hat. Moments before she d betrayed us. Moments before she betrayed us with John. <laughs> what a wonderful image. They look, look at how uncomfortable they look. They don't have, this is, they have no chemistry. There was no chem, and yet they still technically have three bolts. <laughs> it was not meant to be. It was never meant to be. What does he basic have a basically random woman framed? You mean this one here, or oh, you mean this one over here? The painting <laughs> this is a good question. I'd like to think maybe this is some famous model or something. Like that's that's some famous lady. Oh, the photo booth, the photo booth. I see. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah, because it's like she doesn't really mean anything to him. She, wasn't she? Yeah, she, she. Well, she wasn't even. I don't think they even woohooed at all. They just had a date. <laughs> so it's like she wasn't even a hookup. It's true. I don't know. I don't know what the story is there exactly. And we also have Tammy. This was Tammy before. She has different hair in this one. 
Um, her hair somehow changed to the shortcut, but this is Tammy. That was our little love letter from Tammy. Okay, you're sleeping on the couch. That's good. That's great. She made a custom little card, yeah. We could probably check his mail because he's probably got more love letters. Oh, there you go. I think, does he have to work today? No, he does not have to work again. <laughs> he doesn't even, he, has, he hasn't been working at all this whole time. <laughs> he couldn't even make it to the bed, yeah. He's, he's just... I don't know. I think I think deep down inside Vidkrim. Well, I mean, so like Vidkrim's wife died. Like he had a wife and she died. Maybe this is why he's acting out so much because he's just like he's going through this. This is his grieving process or something. OK, yeah, we got another love letter. Just one. Can you only get one at a time? Oh, nope, maybe not. I was gonna say, watch him just pull like five. He just got five love letters in there. <laughs> Look at him, he's got another one. He's got another one, okay. Oh, okay, just two. Just a modest two love letters. Um, let me pull them out and see who they is. Oh, we got three in here. Wait, we got three sitting in here. Okay. We're gonna need a shelf. We gotta buy a shelf. One sec, I'm gonna buy a shelf. Uh, where's his love letter display? Probably over here somewhere. Oh man, we don't have enough money for a shelf. On this random kid's shelf. We have this thing. Hmm. How boring. Just another love letter, yes. I guess I could probably f squeeze him in here on this desk somehow. There's one. There's another. Okay, we got Blossom. Here, let me, we'll find another place for these here. <laughs> here we go. Hello? Where did it go? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look at our love letters. Look at all of his love letters. So we got Jessica. We got Bucket Hat Lady, who's, I think her name is Thora. Tammy and Blossom. Very good. <laughs> Very good. He's just stuffing his face. This is not a real pizza, but I was going to have him maybe order a real pizza. Because I feel like he doesn't like cooking, no matter what. Or maybe he'll order the Chinese food. I feel like the Chinese food seems like it lasts longer. Like it goes... It doesn't really go bad and it lasts for quite a while. Yeah, let's order the Chinese food. That way AJ can have dinner. <laughs> yeah, 30 bucks, sure. It doesn't go bad unless you start eating it. Oh, okay. Are you gonna? Okay, he's actually headed out here to drink from the fruit punch. I don't think I told him to do that. I think he just. I was. Oh no, he's okay. Okay. <laughs> this man's got some issues. I think. <laughs> you can put it in your inventory. In inventory, if I can pronounce word. Yeah, I think I did know that, and I never remember to. But isn't it like only the person who made it can put it in their inventory? Oh, okay, buddy. Um, I think the I think the food's here. I like how the bills are just laying on the ground, getting wet. Yeah, that's uh, yeah in the rain. Did the cup not even? I don't know. Did the cup even crush? Did he throw it on the ground? It didn't stay on the ground. Sometimes they stay on the ground. Okay, let's um, accept delivery. Hello, Avery Garcia. Thank you for delivering our Chinese food. Also, hello, AJ. Welcome home from school. This little section of the... Oh, I forgot to paint the outside of this wall. There's probably somebody who noticed that and is just screaming at the screen. Did I do the inside of this? I did. Um, hello? May I, may I have... May I have my food? <laughs> my 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 uni sims eating three rolled pizza out of their inventories. <laughs> Honestly, that that feels like a mood for a uni sim. Wait, is this? Is there no? Oh no, there is a wall. For a second, I thought this was blank wall, but it's it's not. Okay. We got a little food. Oh no, AJ's AJ's drinking fruit punch, or is he just cleaning it up? I don't know. We can't let AJ start a habit. Come eat some Chinese food. Some eat, eat eat some nutritious Chinese food, son. 
Um, okay, you can take a bath now, I guess. We could. S I wish we. Maybe we'll sell the bath and do a shower. I don't know. I guess he's gonna try the bath anyway. Why did? Why did you go around? It's very strange. <laughs> My dad's a drug. He is apparently. AJ tries to be. Maybe I can imagine a scenario. Wait, the way he eats without no. He doesn't know how to use chopsticks, so he just. Oops. He's just eating like like just shoveling them with the chopsticks. Because he doesn't know how to eat the ch with the chopsticks. <laughs> Nobody's taught AJ how to eat with choppy sticks. He doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> Poor little AJ. I think I think Vidkrim ate used the chopsticks. Yeah, I think they do. I think they use them correctly. Are you are you drinking? Oh no, AJ, no, <laughs> AJ, not the fruit pudge. Oh no, AJ, our our child is. Oh no. All right, I feel like what is this? Talk about hobby. He wants to get an A plus report card. Where did your homework go? I think I'm just gonna have him do his homework for right now. I know he wants to ask for help, but I don't know. <laughs> Poor little AJ. Poor little AJ. Doing his doing his homework. I just don't know what like to do with AJ here. I guess he could like look. Can he? Can kids look at the computer for like their hobby? To do. I could have done express delivery for that too. Order photos. Browse web for science. Yeah, he can do science stuff. He can look up science things. They use them fine, I think, but they only eat the Chinese food with unless you have a fix for ramen. I think I do have the fix. There's um, one more for the chopsticks. Uh, chirashi from um, uh, Bon Voyage. I think you can only eat it in Vacation Worlds unless you have a custom version. Oh, okay. The visual just of just him doing his homework next to his dad's desk of littered love letters. Yeah. Yeah, he's just in here looking at... He had to he had to exit out of all his dad's like porno sites to to go find to go find some science blogs. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. And then meanwhile, he's in here just sleeping. Honestly, that's fine. <laughs> oh no, butt spots. <laughs> butt spot not this. Okay, have a good have a good rest of your um night or day. Indigo, well, he said go to sleep, so I'm guessing that's a night. <laughs> Good night, Indigo. Thanks for hanging out. Those aren't paint stains on the desk, not this. Not this. I know AJ needs to be rescued. Who's gonna rescue AJ? I feel like we need AJ to be saved from this. But then also, like, what is a world where Vidkrim is living alone and there's nobody to else here? Like, what a weird... Sarah Love and AJ are no longer best friends. Honestly, that, that's fine. <laughs> he's just staying up all night. Oh no, he's gonna go to sleep soon. Uh-oh, now you're playing video games so AJ can't sleep. Uh-oh. How about you actually- can you, I'm gonna be nice to AJ for once. I'm gonna eat some, some of this and let AJ sleep. Oh god, he's gonna wake back up. AJ's AJ's got a miserable little life. Poor little AJ. What's <laughs> this up? To clean the tub. Is he a is he like a dirty sim? I thought he was kind of a slob. Is he a slob? He is. I could, I, could, I don't know if he would want to clean the tub. He wants to win a game. He wants to be friends with this Matthew dude. He's afraid of Jessica becoming a witch. Why would what why would you think that that would happen? Like what is the story there? <laughs> Why would you want that? Um, so I'm glad about the Jessica thing. He's BFFs with Percy Salome, which is one of his, his children. I don't think you even like cleaning up things. Can you clean it up? I guess... We'll have him clean. We'll have him do some cleaning. Just for... He can do the bare minimum. We haven't done... We haven't checked in on Perpetua Shippen. 
We're going to run out of people for him to date. This is going to force Vidkrim to become bisexual just so he has a wider di dating pool. <laughs> he, he, needs, he needs some help. Also, it's already Friday for this household, which is kind of wild. Oh, yeah, he didn't. He doesn't really look at how sad he's like moping. He's moping on his way to the. He's got this like hunched posture. He's moping on the way to the tub. He hates. He hates cleaning. He's like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> how many children has this rancid man father? Good question. I think it's actually four. <laughs> I think it's four. He's got three, and plus one on the way. So. This is this is Ophelia Nigmos. This is Percy's Salome. And then we've got AJ. And then Lila is gonna have a, a child soon. <laughs> Rancid is a great descript descriptive word for a person. Yeah, it's a good one. How about you at least just get a little sleep? A little extra sleep here. How about that? He does actually have to work today, so that's good. I could still have him call somebody over during the day. Joy Desperate and Vidkrim are no longer friends. Oh no. Oh no. I'll save. Let me save quick. That's right. I could have actually put some of these. Can I fit these on here? Oh, I can. I need him next to his bed on these, like the extra slots in here. There we go. Oh, no, we just saved. There we go. There, he's got his little, he's got his, all his roses next to his bed. All the, all the ladies can see all of his roses. Oh, little AJ's up and at him. <laughs> Tell your best, Bessie, that an internet stranger appreciates them. That's, <laughs> that's very wholesome. Hey, you wanna take a bath, buddy? Get into your little swimwear. <laughs> get into your get your floaties out. We gotta take a bath, AJ. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Look at him go with his flippers and everything. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, you're actually awake at a reasonable time. That's interesting. That's new for you. He gets he gets out of bed at 6 a.m. on a Friday and heads right to the little punt to the keg. Heads on over to the keg. Gotta get him some fruit juice first thing in the morning. Okay, bud. There we go. <laughs> AJ's gonna go to school. We've all been there. Also, we got a lot of newspapers around. I kind of want him to put away these controllers and stuff, but I feel like he just doesn't like doing that kind of stuff. His social's low, surprisingly. Oh, he wants to ask him on date. He's like, it's been too long. Okay, buddy. Who's he gonna ask on a date? Let's just call somebody over. He's gonna have to work at 11 p.m. So, during the day, he could hang out with someone. Um... I don't know. I don't know who... What does he know? He's gonna have to start going lower down his list. Gonna have to. <laughs> Old animals do have a rotten vibe about them. What is oh I see. I once described my friend's cat as rotten in front of her, but that's just what I call cute little crusty old animals. That's funny. <laughs> we got this girly, we got Valerie. We haven't I don't think we went on a date with Valerie. See now I'm gonna have to check. One sec, I'm gonna do this. I gotta blow my nose. I'm not sure who is gonna be uh who's gonna be best. I don't I guess we'll try Valerie. I gotta check I'll invite over. Go. Can my friend come over too? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess your friend could come over too. <clears throat> Why are you looking at me? What are you looking at me for? 
Let me see if there's a Valerie. I'm pretty sure there isn't a Valerie. Oh, no, that was... That was Tammy. Uh, Gundren. Daisy, Tammy, Jesse, Willow. Shadow, Shadow. Oh, they're already here. Grania. Um, yeah. So I don't think he's done anything with Valerie yet. <laughs> Allow. <laughs> the, the auto mod didn't like that one. <laughs> Can my friend come over too? Depends. Are they down for a threesome? Yeah, okay. Who's who's this? Oh no, wait. Jesse? I'm pretty sure we already... Is Jesse... A, I'm pretty sure we already went out with Jesse once. Yeah, we're already in a relationship with Jesse. Uh-oh. She's gonna get mad at us. I'm gonna get very mad at us. Yeah, Automod's like, no. <laughs> Automod's, uh, is very intense today. Like, some of the basic, most basic words. H Hi, Jesse. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. But, um, our, our, this is my, this is my new interest. Her name is Valerie, and you're no longer my interest. Sorry. <laughs> you know, no tough feelings, Jesse. No tough feelings. Okay, Valerie appreciated that. We're BFFs with Valerie, but not friends with her, which is kind of goofy. Um, we charm her? Will she take a charm? No, she will not take a charm. Alright. Uh, let's try a macro romantic and just see what she will do. Yeah, I like her. I like her feel. She's got a very interesting face. She's got an interesting little loop. Her eyes are like really like squished and kind of tilted to the side a little bit. Which is interesting. Are we okay? We're trying. I actually don't know her gender preference. I probably should have checked. I probably could still check. What does this want? He wants to play on the couch. I don't think they're getting along. Let me ask. Do you like what you see? Do you like do you like us? <laughs> is she into us? Oh she is but she's into us. She's into us. There was another sin that looked like her, but her eyes are more angled. What causes that face, or was it coincidental? It might have so I think I think that most of the townies are um most of the townies are made by the creator of this town, which, of course, I originally um, installed the, like, fully custom version where all of the appearances of the Sims, they made to their own preferences. Um, and then I, re I realized I had done that, and I didn't want to have that one. I wanted the, like, genetically correct one. Um, so I ended up swapping all of the appearances of the playables with the gen genetically correct faces. But all of the townies and stuff just have this the the custom looks, so that's why she's got that kind of look. Also, what did Buttspot do? Well, okay, so well now we absolutely have to reproduce with her. Yeah, that could be. She is a regular townie. She's not a she's not a uh, a dormie. So we could if we can get her on board with us, we could I could um we could try and uh have her have a baby and join the join the singles house and have his baby and stuff. Also, what did Buttspot do? Well, nut. We absolutely have to nut reduce with her. Nut Jetics too good to pass up. <laughs> nut reduce. <laughs> the romantic and fertile. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. What a. That, I don't know how to break that one down. They're not getting along real well, though. That's the thing. Like, whenever they talk, it doesn't work. Stop chatting. We're friends now, though. <laughs> Nutnetics nut sounds like a TV exercise program or something. It does. Cut nut edit. Cut nut 
Hi, hi, pollination. Mind your business, buddy. Is he our neighbor? Are they our neighbor? Where's their house? Their house is down the road, that yellow one. So he's, he's being a nosy neighbor right now, is what he's doing. Don't allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Comey, and I have a 96-inch canut. <laughs> oh, we have a crush. Okay. We're making some sort of progress. <laughs> Maybe late night program. Oh no. Oh, now here's our other lover, Grania. She's she's the mother of another one of our children. <laughs> okay, a, a successful uh, flirt. Janet Furious and Vidkram are no longer friends. Why were you friends with this baby? Okay, we have a crush happening. We'll try another joke. Try it. I don't. I don't think caress will go over well. Let's try it. I like the smooth talk. It's kind of a crutch. Smooth talk's a little bit of a crutch for me. I've been living off of these boost drinks most of the time because of my. I haven't been able. Well, all of Sunday, I wasn't able to like eat anything. And I have these. They're these special like nutritional drinks. And they're pretty good. I am able to eat something now, but not much. Okay, I'm gonna see if she'll hug. We can hu oh, a love? A love? A love? Oh yeah, thank you, Jenna. Yeah, it's alright. It's getting a little bit better. But it's just kind of an ongoing thing anyway. Um, okay, we're fully in love with the girly. We we can do a makeout. I think I should make her selectable and have us fully, like, try for baby. Oh, she wants to woohoo in bed. Look at that. And he wants to woohoo with her. I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something with my stomach lining. It's a whole thing. I haven't been able to... I gotta get into, an, like, an actual, like, primary care physician. Um... But I'm on. I've been on a waiting list for a while. I finally got a little bit of progress towards actually having a, a proper doctor, but it's an annoying process. Ask to join. <laughs> Anyone else here? Probably IBS. I, I feel like there's a lot of people who are, <laughs> in some way or another. I don't know that mine's IBS, but it's something. Although I, I guess IBS might be sometimes used as like an umbrella term for like a bunch of different things. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong in that. <laughs> there we go look, next to all of her look at her <laughs> look at, can we just look at her oh why did i zoom out she's just got a real I, i'm just curious how these two would mix you know <laughs> waves and ivs <laughs> yeah see that's what mine i have anxiety a lot really bad anxiety issues and i think that's where it like it kind of stems from in a way um so I have to, that's where I've been like this last, like it's of course, like as soon as you you get like a flare up is also when you're like, have a bunch of different things going on. If you're like, okay, I need to like forcibly tell myself to shut the hell up <laughs> and calm down. <laughs> like, uh, let's see, we're going to do, oh, why can't I, there we go. Oh, we can't, why can't we try for baby? Oh no, I guess we could casual. Woohoo. Yeah, anxiety, I'm realizing, has really messed up my life. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I feel like we're gonna be getting a lot of these cutscenes with Vidkrum over our time playing him. Oh, you have severe general anxiety. Oh, you have it under control thanks to meds. Yeah, IBS and anxiety go hand in hand. Yeah. So the two for one. Anxiety and depression. Yikes. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, we're okay, we're cuddling. I don't think Vidkrim likes cuddling. But it's happening. Okay. I gotta make her I guess here, should I check her? Let's check if she's pregnant. Then we'll we'll just just you know, just because. <laughs> just because. I was thinking about taking away taking out my silent pregnancy mod as of how often I've been checking okay I don't think that she is 
Yeah, she's not. Okay, can we get up? Oh, therapy and meds help a ton. Oh, that's good. Took me to adulthood. This realize it's not normal to have a rush to the bathroom every time you get stressed or nervous. Oh no. Look at her fancy little sleepwear. Um, we're gonna try again. See if we can just get him. We're just gonna, you know, just for the heck of it. Is she hungry? Oh, she's like a little hungry. We're just gonna do that. Yeah, that's the scary part for me about the therapy thing is like it's so hard because I feel like I hear so many people who end up with like crappy therapists and it's like hard enough to even get into one nowadays. Like having to cycle through bad ones to find a good one is hard. But, you know. Who just walked by? Who's walking by? Who's here? Osiris is here. Hi, Osiris. What are you doing with my dirty- Osiris is stealing my rotten newspaper. I'm gonna ignore this. Osiris, can I help you? You little- like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Why do you need rotten newspapers? <laughs> Why do you need rotten newspapers, buddy? Oh, yikes, parakeet. That's rough. That's- yeah, see, that's the kind of thing that you run into. Is like people who you know people who either don't have as much like current day knowledge of like different they have like an older fashioned way of handling things or they let their biases get in the way and stuff and it's like oof. I heard bowels get angry so I don't take offense when people say oh no <laughs> yeah. AJ has returned, and his father is busy in the in the bedroom. Per usual. Hi, Glabe. Glabe walking by thinking about her marriage. Yeah, I, I hope you are, buddy, because I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, AJ. Oh, no. AJ just got scarred for life. Now we gotta see. We gotta see. I don't think she got pregnant again. No, she didn't. She didn't get pregnant. <laughs> I could just force it. What if I just were? What if I? What if I? <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to do it a different time though, because like as soon as I send her back out into the townie pool, she'll it'll just like get deleted. Like right? Like I don't think townies can't just be pregnant. Okay, you're just you're just over here just eating this, huh? You're just kind of okay. Oh, you're supposed to look for someone that was LGBTQ friendly. Um, who took my health insurance and called them up asking if they were good. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, that's the thing, is I guess you'd have to really try and look for that, but <laughs> it's rough. Oh, you thought the lady said she was too. Interesting. Yeah. I guess you run into the issue of people who thinking thinking that they understand, but they actually don't. <laughs> right? That's also it. Oh, are they autonomously going at it again? Oh. Or are we just laying down? What are we doing here? <laughs> no. <laughs> are we just chilling? I guess we're just kind of chilling. Yeah, maybe something like that. Can AJ- no, I was gonna say, can AJ pay the bills? I don't think so. He wants a water balloon fight. Maybe he should invite someone over. Let me see if I can get him to invite a friend over. I'm gonna lock in water balloon fight. He has a fear of being rejected to, for a water balloon fight. This is a very serious thing for him. Very important for him to have a water balloon fight. Why is he cold? It's summertime. Why is AJ slightly cold? What would have caused him to be a little cold? That's weird. Yeah, I think AJ's a little too young to pay the bills, yeah, apparently. We got Aaron Beaker. Why don't we invite Aaron over? Oh, Aaron doesn't own a phone. Oops. Well, we'll see. Maybe when he's like 11, his heart is cold. He feels nothing. <laughs> he feels nothing. 
We got Laszlo. We could call little Laszlo over. I think he was besties with Kristen and Laszlo. Let's call Laszlo. Invite over. Little baby Laszlo. Laszlo can be down for a water balloon fight. Um, okay. I think we're... I'll probably do a BRB in a moment, but we'll wait a little bit. Um, I gotta re-roll the stupid ads, too. But I don't know if we'll wait to finish this household, maybe, because we're pretty much gonna be done with them. I'm just waiting for little, little Laszlo to come over. Ring the bell. Hello, friend Laszlo. Our future werewolf. I really think Laszlo should become a werewolf. I think that was our plan for him. I'm pretty sure. Where did he go? Where did La Is Laszlo hiding in a bush? Where the hell did Laszlo go? Did Laszlo leave? What happened? Wait, where did La- Oh, he's out here drinking punch. Laszlo. We gotta greet you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong ditch, apparently. Okay, Mallory. Can we see if we can have a. How do we ask. Play. Water balloon fight. Please, Laszlo. This is this is very important to me. Wait, <laughs> he just. The way he just slowly pulled out a water balloon. Where was he keeping the water balloon? Look, he's good. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, there they go. They're and they're off. Okay. And the phone's ringing also, which is annoying. <laughs> Oops, I almost exited out of that. Can you get up. Oh my god. You have to like go to the bathroom really bad. Oh my god, look at this. Why is the toilet like that? They're gonna get soaked. They're just in their regular clothing. Oh. Trying to get a shot. Oh <laughs> Blaslo is destroying AJ in the water balloon fight. <laughs> Laszlo is... Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I like this little Laszlo and AJ pairing, though. It's kind of a fun little buddies. I think this man is an addict. I think he's 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 got a lot of addictions going on. If you, if you, I assume you mean... I assume you mean Vidkrim, not AJ. <laughs> I assume. Who is Colin? Ew, you wanted to use that? You wanted to use that toilet, Valerie? Okay. The way they go around is strange. Can I do, like, this? And get them to not do that? I don't know. Nighttime. They're they're playing their little water balloon fight. Oh. Oh, no. AJ just got knocked the heck out. He's gotta be... If he's not... if he, He's gonna be even more cold when he's done with this. When we're through here. Hi, Sour Beans. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, oh my god. The leap? The the leap sideways is kind of kooky. A little kooky crazy. Catch fireflies. Are there any fireflies hanging around? <laughs> yeah, that's a good day. Uh, I don't really see any fireflies on the lot. I think Valerie is a woman after Vidkrim's heart. She's She's burping and drinking our... Drinking our, our fruit punch, and she now she's eating our rotten Chinese food and, and going to the bathroom on our disgusting toilet unfazed? I think this might be Vidkrim's soulmate. I think it might be her. Is this the one that changes Vidkrim? No, he wants to- wait, he wants to woo with five service sims? That's a fun one. Woohoo with five different service sims. How many has he wooed with already? Is that what she, wait, why did he roll- is she a considered a service sim? Like, is she- does she do a job or something? I don't know who she- I think she's just a townie. I didn't know if she, like, triggered that. His heart has not changed, no. I don't know that he's- I don't think he's woohooed with any yet, right? Yeah, no, it would show on her, like, picture if she's service- yes, yeah, service. <laughs> He's he's gotten he's gotten to the point. He's so addicted to woohooing. He's such a woohoo addict. That's right. Yeah, it shows the little the service sin, <laughs> the sim. Um, he's such an addict that he doesn't even want to put in the effort to like 
woo a woman to like convince her to go on a date with him he just he just wants to pay for a, a service sim <laughs> he's like i just i just need the <laughs> he's like he's so far gone okay there they seem to be oh i forgot laszlo was here <laughs> taking a bath next to that till i know like are you even truly getting clean you imagine Ooh. Ooh. I like this hair. It's like something very pleasing about the waviness of that hair. Hello, madam. I feel like maybe she could use some different makeup. I feel like maybe some different makeup could work better for her. Maybe? She's just got such a unique face. Like, it's... I don't know. Also, she's just kind of here. She's thinking about the woohoo. <laughs> and she smells, too. She smells bad. I don't really know why she's just hanging around. Oh no, the, like the missed connection ads. I need to unclog some fight. Not this. That's, uh. The next text says something about talk about help around the house. Oh no. He's like, let's go bang bang in the bed. Oh no. This is all, this is getting terrible. Look at this, look at this disgusting mess in the kitchen. <laughs> look at our kitchen, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She looks very natural. Yeah, she's a little bit... You, you, and you wouldn't think that would be, like, Vidkram's type, really. Like, you'd think he wants some little Barbie doll. <laughs> you know? Some dolled-up Barbie doll. Oh, he's gotta go to work. Okay, he's gonna abandon the children with Valerie. He has a habit of abandoning the children with random women he doesn't really know that well. Yeah, little Laszlo's a cutie. I do like his little... I can't, oh, I can't wait for little Laszlo to grow up and get to play him. I think he'll be fun. Play him as a teen and him as an adult. Him in college. We're gonna get to play Laszlo in college. Like, that's fun. Also, speaking of which, there are no Sims so far this round that have entered college. So our university is... is we, I don't think we're gonna have a university round unless this the last household of this round is the Beaker household, which we're gonna be starting next after we finish these guys, um, which we're pretty much done because it's Friday night. And, um, there's Loki Beaker, who is a teenager, but I think he just turned to teenager. So I don't know that he's going to go to college this round either. So I think we're going to have no university this, this end of this round. Because they're the last household. So oh, it's going to be kind of interesting to just start right back up at the, at the beginning. <laughs> he's an absolute dog shit father. He's... He's a, he's, he's a little imperfect, to say the least, I would say. Okay, what are you doing? Are you trying to sleep? Oh no, Laszlo's trying to hug this lady. Also, nobody seems to have come to pick up Laszlo. Is he leaving on his own? He's leaving on his own. Laszlo's like, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Where are you even walking? Where's he walking? <laughs> is Laszlo walking to the saloon? His house is in this direction. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> Jump scare. Laszlo jump scare. I think his house is down here somewhere. It's kind of cut off. <laughs> it's 12 a.m. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Well, I think we will probably... I'm going to save. That's our that's our time in the, the loner household. <laughs> I enjoyed them. They're kind of a fun little family. They're, they're very chaotic and... Uh, there's a lot going wrong. <laughs> There's a lot going wrong there, I think is the best way to put it. Um, yeah, so next, I'm going to do a quick BRB. And then well, we could probably watch some Machinima. If y'all would like to watch a little Machinima. Um, we do have one of the... We have one more iCarly Machinima to watch. We could watch that, the cursed, screwed up iCarly Machinima. Um, or we could watch a different one. Um, but next we're going to be... I'll load up the Beaker household here. Um, we'll let them load up. Let's see. Let me do... I guess I'll play some music. We'll do a little BRB. Um, and I'll be right back. You can get up and stretch and get some water if you need it and all that fun stuff. Do this. I think that worked.
spooky. Oops, I'm muted. Okay. There we go. Let me pause the music. I realize we need like a we need like a little uh one of them. <laughs> what am I what am I trying to say? I need like an emote, a go to emote. Thank you for the welcome back and welcome back to anybody else who's coming back. I'm like I think one of our one of my I don't remember which ones are my follower emotes. We need like a follower emote that's like the spam the X emote if you want to play if you want to watch machinimas <laughs> right like I need a little machinima emote <laughs> I need a machinima emote the, how about the rip this is a <laughs> the, the, the tubes don't hi another girl how you doing how's you also let me open up uh, discord uh, Um, let me bring it up here. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Boop. Boop. Um, let's see. I think I might do the iCarly one. I think I might do the iCarly one. I don't know. We watched this the doll ones. We've got one cursed iCarly. For those who maybe haven't seen it or are not in <laughs> haven't haven't been around it as much uh we were shared this i believe daydreamer is the one so unfortunately i don't think daydreamer is here yet unfortunately um i suppose she can go back and watch watch us reacting to it <laughs> uh but daydreamer i shared this iCarly series of Sims 2 Machinima. So I feel like I should explain that more often for the newer folks that are like, what are we doing? This is Sims 2, like, videos made using the Sims 2 <laughs> who, who were having a good life. <laughs> for those who uh, have managed to live unscathed by the iCarly Sims 2 Machinima series, um, yeah, so it's using the Sims 2. This person, back in the day, uh, has made a series of iCarly episodes based on uh, using The Sims 2. <laughs> for those who were nutting a good nut for not knowing not knowing about the Zycarly series. But anyway, I guess this is the last one. Just called I Know the Secret About Hobos. Um, I don't know where that's going to go. The other thing to note about the series is that um, I think we're just going to watch it in its true form. There's been times where I've put music on in the background. But uh, one thing to note about it is that the person who made it decided that using no background sounds at all, like having it be dead silent, was a good idea, except for they add a laugh track in. They'll add laugh track, which is wild. It's very trippy. <laughs> it's very trippy. This was made 14 years ago in 2009. <laughs> I re re returned from cleaning the house just in time. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a very eerie choice. So August 21st, 2009, this one's from. Um, they they do add the intro music to iCarly, but then after that, it's just silence and laugh tracks. Um, <laughs> the awkward stit. Also, everything just feels like a fever dream. They're just standing there. <laughs> Carly. <laughs> I like the panning with the tab mode is really good, too. The, the awkward silence. They're just standing there. Freddy. And Sam. <laughs> it's it's them. And you're... That got weird. That got weird really quick. I don't know what's happening now. <laughs> well, okay. That was... that. Was, I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> what is going on? I'm okay. I'm already lost. It hasn't even started, and I'm already lost. Okay. Ooh, well, look at these zany kids doing things. Look at these zany little kids. Oh my god, we got more music. Wait, there's more music. Oh, never mind. Stop. <laughs> Still Sam and Gab's lock like the other time. Uh oh. Hey, can I have all your money? Go home, you hobo. Oh, wait, never. 
This is my home. Someone ordered a 17-inch flat screen TV. I stole the box. This feels questionable. This feels this feels like it's starting off a little question. Sorry, I guess, but we aren't Okay. Yeah, you idiot. Damn. <laughs> it's got really dark really quick. Wait. <laughs> nope. I don't, I'm missing half the dialogue. Can you go away already? Why is Sam such a jerk? Sorry, Mr. Holodoo, but we are going to dinner. We'll get you a hamburger. Make it pickles, hold the mayo, and a milkshake, or I'll kill you. D Man, I'm homeless. Laugh track. I what a greedy hope. Wow. This one's like, pro none of the other ones have been like problematic. <laughs> this one's kind of problematic, though. <laughs> Hobos can't afford knives. Okay, somebody's digging a hole outside. What are we, why are we standing in the way of the man's hole? Tim literally walked up to him. Yeah. <laughs> the nut person view. I just saw that. Yeah, the first person view, though, is a choice. Okay, we're at the, at the diner. So, should I not put pickles on it? If you want to get killed by a hobo when you're sleeping. <laughs> I told you, hobos can't afford knives or GPSs to find our house. The, the laugh track in these... these uh, Okay. Let's go give that hobo his food. I'm gonna stay here for a while. I don't... Okay, this one's just like bad. <laughs> what is happening? Also, why is this man digging a hole out here? I thought we were gonna have ex more expanding on the, the baby. Okay, where's the music playing from? I'm scared. Oh, there's actually music in this one. Creator going through their edgy area. What is happening? Also, these houses, like, look at the. I one of the things about the series that we always talk about is the bat, the choice of like backdrop. Like, this is supposed to be like someone's like a building, like a house. Like, there's just just these doors. Yeah, I know. Of all the songs, okay, his his box is empty. Where did the music go? Ah, where did the hobo go? Um, her hair is so janky. <laughs> her hair is so jacked. <laughs> like, I found a door in his box. Let's go in it. How does things like this always happen to me? Okay. Okay, what is this? Why is there a maze? Oh my god, rich hobos? I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm just speech. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, what is happening? <laughs> Why are they dressed like the baby is here? The way the music is just stopping. Why are we following the RC helicopter? Okay, cinematic choices. I just know the creator was on IMBU at the time. This is a total IMBU scene girl humor. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? Why is there a big baby? What is this? I, I agree. The one time I agree with something you said. <laughs> Hobos only get out now. We, we will leave now. You don't have to kill us. I'm not going to leave. You'll have to make me. The laugh track. Get out. Not the baby cry. That's so cursed. You he oh, that's so cursed. He doesn't look like a hobo. How could you? He is a hobo. He is my son. He is a beautiful as I am. I wouldn't say you're beautiful. Wow. Wow. Sam's got some things to work on, I think. <laughs> you're a meanie. 
Get them now. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm on the side of of these folks. <laughs> Just go kill them. Shut them up. <laughs> what is what is this? What am I seeing? Okay. Coffins. Okay, they're in the they're in coffins now. Okay. Oh my gosh, why were we in coffins? And why are we in our PJs? I guess they hit us with pans. They thought we were dead. Let's go sneak out of here. Come on, follow me. Oh my god, they, they're trying to put more sound effects in this one. This one's got ten times more sound effects. Yeah, why do the PJs... I mean, the reality is, is because they couldn't get the Sims to not change into their PJs from the coffin. But like, <laughs> yeah, Sam's kind of an asshole this episode. This is loud. Why? Also, the randomest songs. Hurry up. Oops. You were dead. OK, let's talk reasonably. Why is the baby here? <laughs> Why did we do an adult baby? I don't understand the adult baby choice. Like, is it supposed to just be kind of a kooky, zany, quirky little moment? Why is that? Why is this walking machine just on the wall? Okay. Hobo is a secret code name. I'm not telling you what it stands for, though. All hobos are rich. We make a lot of money from our jobs. Um, <laughs> Hello, Princess Goldfur. Thanks for the, the crush sound. People give us all of theirs. You still want your hamburger? Oh my god. Where, I don't think that's gonna happen. Where would, where would you have been keeping the hamburger this whole time? I kind of ate it on the way here from the diner. It's, n it's not like you need it anyway. Okay. This is this one's very strange. Like this one was not as fun as the other ones. <laughs> the other ones were just ridiculous and fun. This one's like I feel like there's some things going on here. I still really want that hamburger, but they forgot the pickles anyway. What what is this shot? <laughs> That's just it. It's just over. It's just it's just over now. <laughs> yeah, kind of mean spirited humor, I guess. Where is the fourth kid? Oh, you mean I think it was supposed to be Spencer was the fourth the fourth kid. Um, I don't know. I guess he stayed at the restaurant. I thought there were four of them before. Yeah, there were fourth one the fourth one was Spencer. And I think he stayed at the restaurant or something. He didn't want to go with them for some reason. He's supposed to be an adult actually, but I think they have him as a teenager sometimes. Well, thanks for all the hard work you put into this video to entertain us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Remember, he stayed in the diner because he didn't want to see the hobo's ugly face again. Okay, I gotta see if anybody's like... These just get better and better. I'm watching this in 2017. I would think it would get worse over the years. That's true. Yeah, that's the aliens thing. The episode one with the aliens in their house. I don't... I miss butt crack, man. We're going to have to review some of our favorite machinimas eventually. We're going to have to go back and rewatch some favorites <laughs> like butt crack, man. Um, <laughs> the big baby kind of scared me. I can't believe the way Sam did the dance. Actually, I can believe that she'd do it. In the beginning, Freddy's legs look backwards. Smiley face. Oh, that's a weird fever dream from my childhood. That seems like a good explanation. Where did you get all the custom contents at? <laughs> How can you make a video like that? I really want to know. I saw your other vids and they're awesome. Okay. Don't... <laughs> we talk... Wait, plant leg has a question. <laughs> plant leg has a question. Don't hobos usually start as homeless people? Question mark. <laughs> I never, I never went looking for the chicken CC. I keep forgetting. I need to write it down. I need to, I need to write that down. Oh crap! Where's my pen? Um, let's see. 
I'm going to write it on my little sticky note. I'll probably still forget. Why don't you do one of these with voices? Oh my goodness. How do you do the big baby? Is it stretch skeleton? Oh my. Okay. Well, that was something. That was an adventure, I will say. We, we, <laughs> we watched something. <laughs> Not sure exactly what it is that we watched, but there was something there. <laughs> Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. Yeah, no, I do want to look for the CC for the chicken. I doubt I'll find it, though. I'll probably have to use, like, the Wayback Machine and go digging or something somehow. Anyway, so we're going to start the Beaker household now. Um, the Beakers are a, uh, also thank you for the daily dose of Alba Foyel. I still, I didn't change the picture from the other day, but that's a pretty cute one. <laughs> it's a cute one. So anyway, here we is in good old... Wait, let me turn on the game sounds. Turn off the browser sound. There we go. Good old, uh, good old Beaker household. <laughs> and you did an olive oil cleanse after the ba giant baby. <laughs> I still, So I started playing Random Tangent. I started playing Polya last night, whatever, however you pronounce it, that new, like, game that's in beta. I decided to, to goof around and uh, try it out. And I named my character Olive Oil, <laughs> but like I couldn't use just Olive Oil. So like I added a bunch of random letters to make it look like a fantasy name, but it's just Olive Oil, but it's just like got the most ridiculous spelling. <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> it's very, it was, it's interesting. I'm still exploring the game. I don't know how, I don't know how crazy I am about it, but it's, it's an interesting adventure. Anyway, we are here. I just realized that I accidentally didn't delete this. I did a makeover of this house. Okay, it's too close to Sim. I don't know wh why is he just out here? Can we talk about Mr. Why are you here, sir? Why are you just out here? He's just in the garden. 6 a.m. on a Monday. Okay. We go inside the house. Um let play. I'm starting up fresh here. 6 a.m. on Monday. Oh, Gundren is sick with the flu. I didn't know that. So we've got Gundren Beaker. We've got Bjorn Beaker. That's his name. I forgot his name. We've got Bjorn. And then we've got Loki Beaker as a teenager here. Mr. Loki. The, the icon, Loki Beaker. <laughs> and uh, Aaron Beaker. Oh, I like how her picture takes up the middle of the screen, so you can't ignore her, yes? <laughs> Hello, KJ McLean. Welcome in. Or McLean. McLean. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. And then we have little Aaron Beaker here. Um, yeah, so I gave them a, their house a little makeover. Um, they have a uh, scream. Her screaming as her brother. What is your... What are you... Why are you freaking out? Just go over here. You have no... There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> Just here. Come play with toys. So this is their house. Their little house makeover. Um, they have a little nice little living room. Nice little uh, kitchen zone. And little, uh, oh, there. Like, this chair is screwy. I don't know how to reset these. I'm just gonna. Yeah, turn on my quarter tile. Mm, I don't know if that's the right. Let's see if that slides in. It does. Oh, oh now that one fixed. Oh, I guess I should have just. I should just set it to the side to get it to, like, reset itself. That's alright, though. We got that going on. Um, we've got a nice little piano here. And then upstairs, uh, these two have decided to woohoo uh, uh, immediately. Now, last time, these two were kind of like little swingers. Like, they were swinging a lot. <laughs> they was, they was swanging. Like, they had all kinds of partners constantly. Like, all kinds of different people they were fooling around with and stuff. I don't know if y'all remember that. <laughs> but... It was kind of chaotic. I gave them this hideous brown room. And I kind of love how just absolutely dis like this, the carpeting, and this feels like a gross, like, swingers room to me. So I just gave them, a, they got a nice, they got a, a, a couch so that their partners can sit and wait for their turn. <laughs> it's very disturbing. We've got, we've got nice little, uh, nice little, uh, bathrooms here. Yeah, there are a lot of romance sims in this hood. This is Aaron's bedroom, which I like. I like little Aaron's bedroom. This is Loki's bedroom. And there is one thing going on in Loki's bedroom that you may or may not notice at first glance. 
um, is this little guy who I had shared a picture on the Discord last night that I accidentally found him in my uh, my my plants <laughs> that I have some kind of conversion of the Sims the Sims three uh, plant Sims. <laughs> Somebody did made this object. And I thought it was too perfect to not have like creepy Loki have this thing in his room. Like, what is he? What is he trying to grow? He's trying to grow something in his room. So he's got his creepy plant baby in the room here. Um. Anyway, these two are are doing their thing. Uh oh! Now Bjorn's got the darn flu, and I hear a mower approaching. Oh, they're going off to work. <laughs> the most cursed plant it is. Oh yeah. Oh, he wants to sneak out with Vidkin and Pascal. Look at this wholesome little hug. Did we roll Loki's gender preference last time? We must have, right? I don't remember. Sorry, there's a there's a mower rolling in. Oh, is this this bush like I guess that's what it looks like when it's overgrown? That's interesting. Hopefully it'll turn off soon. Yeah, are they not going to school? What's the question? I mean, what's the qu what's the deal? <laughs> Maybe I'll have them walk to. Let's have them walk to school. I guess the bus might. I, I did just change the time of day, and everything, so it might have goofed it up. And you? Do you not have to work? Project leader, ten a.m. Okay, I think this might be her car. Uh, I'll make it her car. Um, yeah, so last time, can I look at their memories? Her fear is to have a baby, which is interesting. Um, let's see. Go back. Had an affair with Glarn. Okay, she did a thing with Glarn. Had an affair with Vidkrim. Um, that's right, she did, she fooled around with Vidkrim, kissed Vidkrim. Um, had a great party, woohooed with Vidkrim. Okay. Made out with Bjorn. Okay, woohoo with Bjorn. So she woohooed with Vidkrim at one point. I thought she did some fooling around too, though. Granya, yeah, is this? Yeah, how, did a woohoo with Granya. Made out with Granya. Made out with Shadow, which is a. the Shadow is the downtown slob sim. Um, had an affair with Shadow. Made out with Gundren. Had three loves at once. Oh my goodness. Look at all these. Look at this. Oh my god. His memories. Had Aaron. Yeah, so they were fooling around, but they have like a weird open relationship right now. Can you put toys away? Um, look at this little dog. So yeah, so I don't know what our time with this crew is got where where we're gonna go here. <laughs> I don't know what the story's gonna be. What are her current she wants Lurk Loki to be an overachiever. Does he he doesn't have a job yet? He needs a job. Also, he wants to make out with... I'm uh, Not make out. <laughs> sneak out with Pascal and Vidkin. Which is interesting. Oh, that's right. I was going to check his, his gender preference, because I don't remember. I probably have it written down on the tracker sheet, but... What is it under? Gender preference. Okay, it doesn't show me on this. Do I have to get out the adjust, uh, casual romance, spawn adjuster? Let me see, I think I can click on it here. Oh, I gotta wait till they're on the lot. Darn it. <laughs> anyway, Gundren is by. Which is quite a, quite a thing. Quite a thing here, we're gonna stick it right in this weird empty spot that I forgot to do something with. She wants to talk to Missy, she wants to be friends with Mikey, be friends with Matthew. I have locked in Buzz. Why did we lock in Buzz? She wants to be friends with Buzz. I guess we can call... Oh, I don't have a phone. Oops. I forgot to buy him a phone. Taking advantage of their Swinger lifestyle to get nice gifts from their date and get rich. That's true. Maybe that's it. Because these guys are kind of sketchy. Like, something's going on. I don't know. Also, I want to say, I really like, I gave Gundren a makeover, and I'm really happy with her hair. I just love how this hair looks on her. I think she looks like, I tried to go like 80s business mommy. <laughs> like, that's her, because she, she's like a professional. Uh, where is Buzzaroonie? 
Buzz Barber. Uh oh, Buzz is out working. Oops, awkward. Who else does she want to befriend? This guy named Mikey and this guy named Matthew. Sure, why not? I just, I, I think it's a matter of time before she ends up accidentally having someone else's kid. You know, well, how's that going to work out? Matthew, let's, oh, no, that's Marilena. Matthew Hart, her, uh, let's just talk to make friends, I guess. Also, wait, she's not going, oh, she doesn't have to work today. Duh, I didn't see that. Do that. <clears throat> yeah, I got him this little car. They've got kind of a cool little place. I guess we gotta hire a gardener. I feel like they would have a gardener. But I'm pretty happy with how their little house turned out so far. Are we befriending? How close are we to? Oh, also, what is she? She does the science career. What is he? He's in the athletic career, which is interesting. I think we gave him that last time. I don't remember if we had a storyline for why he's in the athletic career. I don't fully remember it all the time. She's also very pretty. I think I think Aaron might end up looking a lot like her. Unfortunately, nobody's got the brown hair, though. Maybe if we have another baby, it'll end up being brown haired. Okay, we got friendship. Very good. We get some new wants. Here we go. Oh god, she wants three woohoos, three makeouts. Okay. Well, I have a feeling maybe Matthew might be the next one she invites. Although she doesn't have, like, chemistry with him. Did she woo did she woohoo with Glarn? I don't think she woohooed with Glarn, right? She woohooed only with Vidkrim. But she did go on a, like, fool around with Glarn a little bit. Maybe we should call Glarn over. Should we call Glarn up? I think we should call Glarn. <laughs> Also, we'll have to try Buzz another time. Oh, oh, the children have arrived. She hangs up just as they walk in the door. Hi, be it, be it. Um, hello, beatific. Oh no, my internet's dropping. It's not coming back. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there it goes. Oh my god, it's going nuts. My internet's going nuts. My friend come over too, sure. <laughs> we just invited Glarn over and his friend. I'm afraid of who his friend is going to be. <laughs> Hello, Owly. Sorry, I don't know. It's dipping. I'm a little worried about my internet lately. It's been acting up. It, it worries me. I don't know why. Because we had last one of the last streams was a little choppy. And now this we got this. I don't know. Anyway, I, I did invite Glarn over. He supposedly brought a friend, and I don't know... Oh, he brought Grania? Awkward. Okay. He brought Grania. Um, inv greet everyone. But anyway, sorry for the- sorry for the drop. Sorry, sorry. The, the finger guns? I think we need to do a little flirting or something. Can she- what it, does she have? I just realized she's evil too. Okay, she didn't- Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I guess she got this- the work tree instead of the romance tree. Interesting. Is it just like a back rub and stuff? We'll see. I don't know- I have a feeling he won't be hard to seduce. <laughs> Glarn is pretty easy. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, back rub, okay. Whenever I see them go walking off together in some direction, I assume it's for nefarious reasons. <laughs> it's for questionable reasons. Um, I'll tell a joke. We'll try a goose. The Sims seem to just love a goose. We gotta love a goose. <laughs> the ACR effect, yeah. <laughs> exactly. 
There we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Alright. You think he'll woohoo right out of the gate? You do a make out. Oh. Bjorn wants to bring Amarina Barber home. Is that okay? Sure. Sure. Interesting. What if one of the what if the next grunt kid is actually secretly a Bjorn Beaker kid? That could be <laughs> that's a lot a lot of drama. <laughs> that's a lot of drama. Um we we'll just do a little woohoo because that's what she wants to do. Uh oh, what are these two arguing about? Um, okay, he does have chemistry with her? We're gonna do a friendly socialization to make friends with her. Also, the children are home and I've not been paying attention to them. Why are you playing with the dollhouse? Please don't. I'm gonna do this. No, oh no. Aaron, no. Aaron, no. Aaron, Aaron, no. You gotta stop that. No, Aaron, you can't do this. Oh god, you're tired. I'm gonna bump your energy. Stop. That's not right. Also, Loki, why are you on your daughter? Your, not your daughter's bed. Your sister's bed. Okay, no, this is happening. <laughs> There's a lot happening. <laughs> There's a lot happening right now. Okay. I'm having a, a Glarn woohoo. Are they in their regular clothes? Did I just notice that? That they're in their regular clothes? No, now they're not. Interesting. <laughs> okay. You need to find a... Ooh, he does want- I'm gonna lock in go to college for him. <laughs> if only. If only. See, I need to take- the, that's the one of the reasons I need to take out, um, my silent pregnancy mod is because that way I know that that- that little, re uh, <laughs> that reward could possibly be true. That sound effect is like, uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna try to have him find a job. God, I want- I want a Glarn baby. Doesn't Glarn have super fertility? Is he the one that has super fertility, or is it somebody else? Am I misremembering? Oh, Grania! Wait, wait, Grania's here! Grania was watching the whole time! <laughs> Grania just watched... <laughs> this house This house is a swingers house, what is going on here? This. What is with the swingers in Strange Town? <laughs> what is going on? What is this? Okay, oh. Uh, he needs a part-time job. Also, who's dinging our bell now? Who's out here? Xanthos. Uh-oh. <gasps> Xanthos is here. <laughs> she said, mm, it's my turn now. Honestly, Grundren is, is by. So, like, I don't know if Gr Grania's by. Oh, okay. Adventurer career? I don't think that's gonna be his thing. I feel like he's Pizza delivery. Honestly, pizza delivery could be fun for him. That seems like a good teenage kid job. Oh my god, I'm trying to click down at him. Culinary? That's it. Okay. He's got a computer, too. Let me look at the computer. Oh, not you. Not you. No. Escape. Aye, aye, aye. Find a job. There we go. Part-time job. Oh my goodness. Okay, you. <laughs> There's a lot happening in this house. Are these two going to start fooling around? Let's see what happens if we goose Grania. Okay, sir. What am I going to do with you? There's so many... Not Tammy being here. <laughs> Tammy, Tammy's already causing trouble around town. Let's see what happens if we do a little charm. <laughs> Xanthos and Grania. Yeah, they're very... They're very good looking sims. Oh, she said no. Look at their little matching suits. Awkward. Oh no, you've done it. <laughs> you've done it now, buddy. Yeah, let's let's greet. I guess we'll greet Xanthos. <laughs> also, these are the burglar sound. The massage. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine Loki as a masseuse? <laughs> can you imagine Loki as a masseuse? <laughs> Look again. Loki's like me and my. I need. I need to support my child. I need to support my child. Pizza delivery again. Oh, 
Oh, I also gotta do the her sound thing. <laughs> Thank you for the many sounds. <laughs> uh, adventurer career? I don't know, maybe he could do adventurer career. Oceanography? Maybe oceanography he could do too. Oh. I just realized he has a weird... I don't know if that's really his thing. Loki's lifetime wish? Oops, where did it go? Loki's lifetime wish is reach peak magic alignment and cast a hundred spells as a witch. I don't know if that feels... I don't know if that feels right for him. <laughs> I don't know. We might, I might find him a different one. Look at that little mod object. Um, this will do from personality available. Also, yeah, I didn't choose one of the jobs. I don't know what job I want him to have. I might just give him one that suits him. Should I just give him, like, the science career? Like, his mom is in the science career. Maybe she'll just get him into the science career. Hand of Poseidon. Head of SCIA. That seems fun for him. Hospital Chief of SAS. Mad Scientist is, like, his usual go-to. Uh, Space Pirate. <laughs> world class. He secretly wants to be a world-class ballet dancer. Distinguished Astronomer. Now that seems like a cool one. I think this one is where he has to like find a certain amount of planets or make a certain amount of money from finding planets. So that one could be cool. Ecological Guru. S embodied Supernatural Combo. That could be interesting. I don't know if that's his vibe. Powerful Potion Brewer. Spellcaster. Raised Wonder Child. Regular UFO Passenger. Vampire clan, zombie army. These are a lot. The fact that these are his, these are from personality. Like these are the ones they suggest based on his personality. <laughs> I feel like that says a lot about Loki. <laughs> like, what are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, zombie army. So right now, right now, um, what's her name? Olive has the zombie army one. Maybe he could too. Like the both of them are like, it's like a race to have the best zombie army. <laughs> that could be fun. That could be fun to use a little bit different one. I also like distinguished astronomer, but I feel like he's maybe he's a little more chaotic. Let's just go with it. We'll go with the army, the zombie army. Okay. Um, as far as a job, I'm gonna be a dirty cheater. I just give him a job. Career, jobs, um, uh, let's see, I want to just give him science, I assume that'll just be a fake job, okay, we'll just give him a, we're just gonna give him a, he, his mom got him a job at the lab, uh, Glarn is in here talking to our, our things, <laughs> Why are you in here bothering our ants, Glarn? Also, did I set up Oh, I need her I need to give her the desk locator. Do this. Uh oh, are we having some routing issues in this? I might have to move this. Um, what are we doing here? Why are you sitting here? Why is she she's filthy? What is happening? He wants to befriend Ichabod. Why do you want to befriend Ichabod so badly? There's so many people in our house. Where did Grania go? Oh, Grania's in here playing with our child. Why are you? Oh my god. This is a lot. I feel like this is a lot. I need somebody to just maybe serve some dinner. Come serve some sketty. The phone is ringing. <laughs> Why are there people everywhere? There's people everywhere. Uh, are you going to come answer this, please? If you can. I don't know if you can because there's just people everywhere. <laughs> Come answer the phone. There you go. Too many people in our house? These poor children are like stressed out with all the people everywhere. Is Bjorn... You know what? Bjorn's busy. Bjorn is busy. 
Now you wanna clean that up for me? Got a little Aaron. What are you doing on our computer? You're gonna see some things you'd never wanted to see. You're gonna see some you're gonna scar yourself by looking at Loki's computer. That's a good way to ruin yourself for life. Don't Xanthos is like, I'm at, I'm into that. <laughs> I can get on that board. I can get on board with that. Loki is sick with the flu. Everybody's sick. Everybody's sick. Hi, Princess Goldfur, how are you? <laughs> also, I have a little I don't know if I pointed this out. I got made a little mushroom garden. Look at our little mushroom garden. It, it I don't know why I just made it. I don't know if it really makes sense for this family, but here we are. Uh oh, why can't you use that? You not sit in this chair? Okay. What is this sound? Who are you? Who's? Oh, okay. I got scared. That sound sounded like the "Hey, I'm pregnant" sound. <laughs> I was like, "What's going on? Why did you not? Why did you not feed Loki? Loki's waiting for food. Why? Okay, that was okay. What does Bjorn have against Loki? What does Bjorn have against Loki? Alright. Oh, no, and she just- Amarina just stole from Aaron. I don't know what's happening in this house. There's so much happening in this house. You better not steal the last plate, okay? It was like, imagine if Galarn swoops in and just takes the last plate. Uh-oh, he's coughing. This is another super spreader party. They're all gonna get the friggin' flu here. Branya is very into Bjorn. I don't think Amarina knows what she's walked into. Like, Amarina just came home from work with Bjorn. <laughs> and, and this is she's like, why are there people all in your house and stuff? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Amarina doesn't understand what she's signed up for. Who's, oh, he's disgusted by the food. All right, everybody's cleaning. Are you sleeping? You're sleeping. You're filthy. I'm gonna have you get up and take a shower, just because, what the heck, man. Do they have a TV? Oh, they don't have a TV. Oops. Here, let's turn on the music. Give people something to do. Blarn. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to ask everybody to leave. This is a lot. I have the three first dates locked in. I don't know if I want to do that, or I might do the just three different sims. Woohooing with three different sims, that is. Oh my god. Welcome, Toby! <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? Bjorn's having a rough time. That mullet is being put to the test. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, Owlipip. Owlipip. Are we okay, you're gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Do you wanna eat something down here? Okay, you come up here. Use the bathroom. I'm managing Sims. I'm micromanages Sims. <laughs> Do it better than Bjorn. That's good. <laughs> That's a good thing. That means you're doing pretty darn good at this point, considering Bjorn's situation. You gotta go up here and just sleep, because you're sick. You're hungry. How about you? You're tired. Why are you sleeping on there? Come up here and sleep up here. Alright, I think I'm hurting the, the, the sims correctly. We got everybody to leave. It was chaos. I'm gonna burn that. But does it look burnt? I guess it's not. I don't know how you would technically burn ramen, to be honest. You could overcook it, I guess, or undercook it. <laughs> I don't know about burning it. Yeah, see, I got the mod that makes them use the chopsticks when they eat the ramen. Which is fun. Oh, oh I was like, what is on the screen? It's a poster. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna turn on these. I guess I'll have her sleep more after that. 
All right, we survived our first our first day at this house. Also, I'm gonna move this in here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. That was a weird. That was a weird day. It was a very strange day. Imagine surviving the beakers. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I saw on the brink of, and I was like, oh god. Gundren is on the brink of recovery. Loki is on the brink of recovery. That's something. Imagine if somebody here dies from flu. Yeah, so this household is very, like, evil. Like, this girl is evil. This guy, he's, I don't think he's evil, but he, oh no, he is evil. Like, what's their big evil plan? I don't know what their big... What is his wish? Job hopper. Get promoted in 15 different careers. I feel like we had a storyline for that. I can't remember what it is. Bjorn's on the brink of recovery too. Yeah, sure, we'll save. Tell me why of all the hoods to start a legacy and I chose Belladonna Cove. Oh no. I, I've never really played in Belladonna enough. That's always a town I've thought about trying to play rotationally, but I've never gotten there. But now that I've had so many issues with the with the apartments, I don't think I'd want to. <laughs> is that what are you having apartment issues or is it just because it's like kind of a, a kooky hood for some reason? Also, we got some healthy Sims here. Oh, that's right. He wanted to sneak out. I forgot. Darn it. Hopefully he doesn't lose those. Also, um, the first that I played in was uh, Belladonna Cove. Interesting. Um, I wanted to check his gender preference. What is Loki's gender preference? He's straight. Okay. Who would Loki get paired with? Because Cersei is gay in this hood. Me either. <laughs> so things pop up for story progression saying people are married and I'm like, I have no idea who that is. Oh, okay. So it's like, I don't care. <laughs> Go for it. Sure. I'm sure eventually down the line you might start to get to like know people. And you're like, oh crap, they're doing that now? <laughs> but, oh, we have a wholesome hug happening? Okay. Alright. The children are doing their homeworks. Children's are doing their homeworks. That would happen to me when I'm playing in, like, Sims 3 hoods, where I get, like, story progression pop-ups constantly about, like, Sims doing skills and stuff, and I'm like, I don't care who you are, and you're- I don't care what your skills are. Like, leave me alone. Loki and Crystal Vu, that's interesting. I think Crystal might still be a child, because I think I was gonna have her age up with- with Laszlo. Because I see them as being kind of peers, you know. Um... That'd be an interesting pairing, though. I mean, it still could happen eventually. I don't know who else. I mean, there's both of the curious girlies who are teens. Oh, not everybody. Why is everybody gathering to here? Also, where... Wait, why do I not have a... Where's my sink? There should be a sink here. Oh. Oh. This, it eats my... Why does this eat my sink? What is my sick? Is it because of this thing? What did I? Well, okay. I... Okay. Now where did the sink that was there go? <laughs> did I lose the money on that sink? <laughs> oh, look at these crew. This crew playing. Look at them dancing. They don't have television, so they gotta dance to the salsa music. <laughs> the counter said no more. He wants to buy a cell phone. Maybe we could go on some adventures with Loki. He, oh, he got rid of, rid of his wants to, to sneak out. What if eventually Loki and uh, future Violet Curious become a pair? I don't know who else. Oh god. Not this. What is he talking to her about the cops for? He's like, do not play the violin, and don't talk about politics, and always recycle, but don't go to the eye doctor. He's teaching her valuable lesson, never watch a movie. 
Okay, thanks, bud. Bjorn is on the brink of recovery. Maybe he shouldn't go to work today, I don't know. Oh, he actually doesn't have to work today, so that's good. She does, though. What are you doing? I don't really like it when Sims do this constantly. Because they, like, don't have an entertaining thing in the house to do, but, like... Are you coughing? I thought she said- I thought she was healthy. Loki is sick with the flu- wait, she got- he got sick again, too. Wait, they keep giving each other sick again. <laughs> if you don't watch movies, you won't need glasses. Exactly. That's exactly it. He's like- he's like trying to- I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain Bjorn. Bjorn is an anomaly. Are you not going to school? You need to go to school. Where's the bus? You're gonna miss school, buddy. If the bus leaves without him, I'm gonna let him stay home from school. We'll go do stuff with him, but he's gonna go to school. Go! Go! Run! Loki, run! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Run, Loki, run! Oh my god. Maybe I need to move this, because it seems like it's... ...causing an issue. Okay. Ma'am, you wanna clean up your mess, and then maybe have like a proper break? Oh, you gotta go to work. Okay, never mind. He wants to lay on couch. I could let him do that, I guess. He wants to also go on a date with somebody and ask us him on an outing. We could find someone to go on a date with. <gasps> what? Wait. <laughs> with a little one on the way? Apparently Gundren's pregnant. But whose baby is it? <laughs> she's, had, she's had a few different partners. It must be Gla- is it Glarn's baby? <laughs> is it Glarn's baby? Oh no. That would make most sense, maybe. Or no, it might be Lo it might just be Bjorn's baby. It might just be Bjorn's, because they woo they both woohooed. Oh god, we won't know whose baby it is. <laughs> we don't- I don't know whose baby it is. What if I do- a, what if we do a prediction for- I- I think we could probably- I think we'll- I don't know if we'll see the baby born today. We probably will. I think I'll probably be able to pl play because I mean, we're only like a little over three hours in. We, we could eventually, once we get closer, once she's in her like last trimester, we could try and do. Oh god, she, and she's sick though. Wait, she's pregnant and sick. This seems this seems dangerous. Like we got to be careful. Meanwhile, this guy's just chilling. Beaker curious beef if it's the parents in this universe instead of the kids, yeah. But it's the parents, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. She still wants to befriend Buzz for some reason. Are you oh yeah. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Where are you gonna go? He wants to stay home from work. Freestyle for tips. This man's like, you know what I wanna do? I wanna go freestyle for tips. Who's he gonna take on a date? He's got chemistry with Lila Vandermorgan. Who are you talking to? Who is this lady? Who's this old lady? Roxanne Nestor. Would you like to go on an outing downtown? You know what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, my crabby pregnant wife is here. Yes, please. Relieve me of this. Relieve me. I know the couch jumping is like... <laughs> you never thought about doing that until the Sims 2. I... Like... I wouldn't- I don't know if I've- I think maybe as a kid, jumping on the bed, maybe? I don't know. We had a trampoline as a kid, so I didn't need to use the couch. <laughs> like... Where are we gonna go? Go to the grocery store? Let's go to Lucky Cards, Drink, Shack, and Drink, or whatever. Jorn is on the brink of recovery, and he's choking on his wife's pancakes. You leaving? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll come back to take care of her later. We need, we need to find somebody to have a date with. Oh, there's Miss Lila <laughs> wandering by. I can't wait till Lila has her baby. What's this kitty's name? Rose. Look at this little kitty. Look at that little kitty. 
Yeah, I know. Lila just waddling around town. <laughs> Meanwhile, her uh, new new uh, partner Glarn impregnates other people. <laughs> Strange Town's messy. Why is this Strange Town so messy though? <laughs> like, what's what's up? What's in the water? I don't. Where are they getting their water shipped in from? Because you know there ain't no locally sourced water in this town. We're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Maybe we should be questioning where their water's coming from. <laughs> I don't know. Lucky shack cards and drank. Look at this place. Look at that. Very fancy. Oh, he wants to sing karaoke. Okay, who's here? Oh, she's swooning. Are we gonna go on a date with this random old lady? Oh, who are you? Odelia? Wit- Wittium? Wit- I don't know how to say their last name. Hello. These randoms? Hello, sir. Oh, William Bradley. I remember. I've seen that guy around. Oh, this is Mr. Big or whoever it is. Isn't that- Maybe I'm wrong. Here, do some karaoke. You want to sing with or just do it? Okay. You just do it solo. Please don't steal our spot. This guy, I think this guy's trying to steal our spot. No, he's not. There we go. What are you gonna do, buddy? I think I need to turn up the sound. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta do this. Oh, I clicked off. Now it stopped. There we go. <laughs> Knut's <laughs> gonna dance to him. <laughs> What's his creativity at? He has like no creativity. Abiho. He sounds like tired and drunk. Whoa. Oh, hello, Lola. Why are you here? <laughs> the icon, the the man, the the real, the real icon. <laughs> my ears are jumping off my head in joy. My ears are bleeding in joy. Oh, see, here's the diva lady. Okay, with the fancy dress. Look at her. Look at her. Can we talk about her? We got Corey Spencer, whose eyes are very teeny. Who is this guy? Betram Dane. Oh, there's Buzz. Is Mr. Buzz is here? We got Tammy. I'm gonna have him scope the room. Oh, uh oh, Buzz is singing. Oh god. What kind of what's Buzz gonna sing? Uh oh, Buzz, you're not saying nothing. Oh god. Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> I had him scope the room. Buzz is hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Buzz's quartet quartet debut. He couldn't get Buzz's wifey, so now he wants Buzz. I didn't know that you felt that way, Lo uh, Bjorn. I keep I'm gonna keep calling him Loki almost. Let's let's greet Buzz Barber. Time is running out. Awkward. The voice. Oh, he's just the way he just stops dead. Okay. Um. Let's chat. Tell him a joke. Let's admire him. Yeah, he just stops dead. Interrupts him. Hell's joke. Hmm. Try a smooth talk? I don't know. Maybe I'll do like macro friendly? Can we do that? Oh my god, the freaking. I gotta do the ads again. How's it been an hour since we did Machinima? <laughs> How has it been an hour since Machinima? Alright. We're gonna- I'm unfortunately gonna have to roll ads again. We're just gonna... Be, make friends with Buzzy. I'll try not to do any important flirtation. 
while we're away. Just do, uh, we'll get rid of the smooth talk for now. We're just gonna work on him making friends. Gla Glabe? I don't know what to think of you, Glabe. I don't know what to think of Glabe. The, the folks doing their stuff? This girlie's got a lot of makeup on. Look at her makeup. She's got some layers on. Oh, why does her mouth look like that? Why did her mouth look like that on the inside? That's the thing. I don't know if Buzz would be into him. You could see. Was that a good interaction? I don't know if it was. Hmm. Oh, Toby! The only way I knew because I got that. <laughs> Thank you for the prime, Toby. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And cotton mouth. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if these two are gonna get along. Look, how are they not friends yet? Oh, there they go. Oh, that was a, like a want of his. I guess Buzz is a popularity sim, so it's probably not unusual that he'd want to be friends with, with someone. I'll let them let them go at it a little bit more. Let them get to know each other? I don't know. What if I try to smooth talk? Hi, Morky! I see, that's true, they have similar interests. At the very least, he could try and get him over for his wifey. <laughs> you know, maybe that's, maybe, maybe, maybe Bjorn knows his wife wants Buzz. <laughs> he's into swanging, so he's gonna get his wifey hooked up with Buzzy. <laughs> oh, oops, look at, yeah, we'll probably go for, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if we'll go, we'll go probably till the four hour mark, or a little bit beyond that, depending. Um, my stomach's a little upset right now, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm trying the, the smooth talk. He's, he's accepting the smooth talk. They usually do. <gasps> Sorry, people behind the ads. <laughs> We're gonna pause for a sec. We have, like, 15 seconds of ads. We're gonna, gonna take a sip of Sprite. Okay, I think the ads are almost over. <laughs> One second of ads left. Okay, if you were stuck behind an ad, I think it's back. If you were stuck behind an ad, I did finally have, I just barely had Bjorn and Buzz do a smooth talk. And they got a crush on each other. They got a bonafide crush. I'm going to do macro romantic. <laughs> Bisexual bisex nut. Nut sexual pride. <laughs> <laughs> nut sexual pride is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot to unpack there, butt spot. Is butt a nut sexual? <laughs> nut sexual pride. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know how to break that one down. Okay, the 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 swooning is going well. Wait, why do I have limited options? Why do I only have? Why do I have some very limited options with him? That's weird. I don't know why it's like more limited with him. It's not like any sort of relation. Like it's not like the game is recognizing. See, if I do socialize romantic, is that it kind of stopped on its own? Hmm. I might just. I don't know. Maybe eventually I can come back to it? I don't know. Can I ask him on a date? Oh, now I can... Oh, here we go. Ask on date? Oh my god, are we going on a date with fuck freaking Buzz Grunt? <laughs> is this happening right now? Bjorn Beaker and Buzz Grunt are on a date? What is happening? Poor Buzz, he's being charmed. He wants to have his picture taken with Buzz. Do you think Buzz actually wants proof of this interaction? 
<laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. Your name kind of looks like it says forgetful, but I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be pronounced as. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Ask Buzz to join. Come, come get in here. Hop on in, pretty boy. <laughs> he said, hop on in, pretty boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Are Bjorn and Gundren gonna take turns wooing Buzz? Romantic? Oh god, we're gonna take romantic pictures of Buzz Grunt. This is- this just feels bizarre. <laughs> yeah, following the gay by Buzz storyline is always so- yeah, I've seen people do that before, I never have, and it just feels weird because of just how I see him. Look at- look at the- look at the Buzz and- Buzz and Bjorn. It just feels- also, I feel like there's an age difference between the two of them a little bit too, which is weird. But like, there's- they're both adults, they're both full adults in the game, so... A lot to unpack here. What does he actually want to do? He wants to sing duet. Do why did I say that like that? Duet. Oops, I didn't mean to do a school cheer, but you know what? We can do a school cheer. What do you want to do? You want to play cards, dance? Oh, oh no, he stopped. Okay, we could probably get him to do a duet with us. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to have him do that, but you know what? It works. It works. There we go. Talk. We'll do a smooth talk. And then sing with... Sing with Buzz. <laughs> that activated neuron how in middle school I made... Made Tank date Loki's kid. Huh. Wow, okay. Okay, I see what you mean. Like, one of the Loki kids. That's funny. And here we are with Bjorn, Loki's dad, and Buzz. What is going on? Did we not duet? We don't want to duet? You don't want to duet with us, Buzz? I don't know what they were about to do there. I might have interrupted something magical. <laughs> I also did- I also do have same-sex pregnancy in the game again. Just a- just a idea. Just something to consider. Hi, Kerosene. <laughs> Don't nut the man, Kobe. I forgot that that was pinned. <laughs> Kobe's gonna nut the man. <laughs> I have no idea what that- what I'm talking about. <laughs> also, hello, how are you, Kara? They met at college. I didn't care about making sure it was it. Yeah, I'm not real big on that either. I don't remember anything. I'm like, I don't know who's what. As long as I just go by the game ages. I just, there's certain things I just put up to like the Sims universe and just say, okay, in the Sims universe, this is just, this is how the age works. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't try to calculate years for days and all that, but I mean, I get people do that and it's kind of cool to do it, but I just don't. Look at these two singing together. <laughs> Spin. What is going on? The spin- Buzzy spinning? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this feels like a fever dream. Who wants to dance with Buzz? Let's do a slow dance with Buzzy. <laughs> yes, I hope the last hour goes by quickly. Yuck, I, rem I always remember that when I used to work retail the last hour. Ugh. Ugh. Something weird and cute about this. Yeah, I know it's like there's a there's a there's a, a strangeness happening. I don't know how I, I'm like I don't know how I feel about this this happening, but it's like it happened f through the game. Like he he chose Buzz. You know what I mean? So I'm like I'm just going with it, and Buzz is okay with it. What else do they want to do? Hug? They want to dance? Um, I'm gonna tell them to stop immediately so they stop quick. Oh, <laughs> Buzz, Buzz zipped off into nowhere land. Buzzy, okay. Oh, okay, I was gonna have you hug. I guess we can't romantic- it's weird, it feels like our, our options are limited with Buzzy. Play with Buzz. Why are you- what is this chair doing here? <laughs> Why are you in between these people? Let's tickle. <laughs> yeah, I get being a bit looser within the Sims 2, yeah. I don't know. I just think of it like there are different little- this- this universe and this little species of Sims, like their aging maybe is different than humans. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? 
and our, our real world humans. What are we going to do with him? Now he doesn't want to do anything. He wants to play cards with us. Let's join this and then have Bjorn, uh, not Bjorn, Buzz join us. Come join us, Buzzy. There we go. This guy's struggling. He's trying. I love the karaoke. I think so. I think it is. <laughs> He's trying. All right, we're having we're having a nice poker date with Buzzy. <laughs> this sounds like me doing my dishes. Buzzy's having some issues, I think. Appreciate Bjorn. We want an appreciation. I just love this girly over here. Oh, I'm so proud of myself for getting caught up on streams and videos I missed out. Oh my god, Buzz is going through something right now. <laughs> I'll have to watch this at home later. Yes, of course. No problem. Hey, I appreciate you wanting to keep up with it. I gotta reset Buzzy. I think something's going I think Buzzy's going through something. He's, he's living Groundhog's Day. Oh god. Alright. There we go, buddy. Here we go. Okay, sh now, sh now Glabe is swooning. Glabe is thinking about a baby and Buzz. Does Glabe want to have Buzz's babies? Gla Glabe is also going through something. From what we've seen today, just from being on community lots, like Glaive is all over the place with different people. We caught her woohooing with one person. We caught her flirting with another, falling in love with another person. <laughs> I wave at the TV like an idiot. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Buzz is like everybody wants Buzzy. What else do we want to do? Appreciate Bjorn. He wants to. What do you want to do? Play kicky bag. Sure, let's let's play let's play kicky bag. Okay, something's broken because I just saw him get sucked into this chair. Can you get off of this? Maybe we should just go home. Time is running out on our date. Our date was okay with him. Should we try and woohoo? Because he wants to woohoo with three different sims. I don't know if should I I don't know. Can, what can we let's woohoo in the photo booth? Let's just go for it. We'll just go for it. Oh, whatever. Come on, Buzzy. We got some pictures to take. Get in here, Buzzy. Now we gotta- wait, now I gotta see what these two look like on top of each other inside of here. <laughs> I'm playing a household of this thruple and one of my sims got both her partners pregnant within 24 hours. Oh no. Oh no. That's a lot of babies. Hopefully you don't have double twins. Or do you have- <laughs> Do you have, uh, <laughs> do you have, like, the quads and triplets mod? Because that could also get bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> We're getting a fast... We're getting a preview of what their baby's gonna look like. <laughs> We're getting a preview of their baby. <laughs> what is this? Oh, gosh, you do have triplets and quads. Oof. Oof. I hate this. Look at this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I can't get out. One of them was complaining about being hungry. Okay. That was a quickie. Dang. Okay. Oh. I'm just Oh, God. The witch. Oh, my God. I'm hitting all the buttons. All right. I think we're going to go home. End date. Do I have to call a cab, I think? Yeah, call a taxi. <laughs> Sounds fun or horrible. Both really. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's call the taxi, please, and don't get zapped by a witch on your way out. Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, Buzz is right back to singing. His voice he uses is interesting. Uh, we're gonna go home.
what is going on? What are we what are we doing out here? <laughs> what are we doing out here? Why is the vampire lady spraying po poison at the witch's feet? <laughs> she must have done a the roach spell, which I know is an evil witch spell, but it just looks so goofy like she's trying to kill the witch. Yeah, they're reacting to roaches, but they don't show up correctly. Also, the cat? What is the cat doing? There's, there's a lot happening. <laughs> there's a lot happening. Buzz, yeah. Buzz is, I don't know what Buzz is. There's- I don't know what's happening in this hood. Something's going on. You can leave. What are you trying- Oh, I forgot all the people we came with got to load up too. Oof. Oh, I guess not. Just Bradley or William Bradley, whatever his name is. Okay. Okay. Oh, my back just did a weird thing. Oh. The beakers. The beakers. Oh, I didn't even see him do the, the, the jump. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Uh-oh. Just because Bjorn is only lightly sick doesn't mean Bjorn should take it lightly. Their flu has worsened again. Oof. Oof. Anyway, we gotta pay attention to pregnant lady here. Oh my god, look at all our pop-ups. Guntrin is sick. I'm gonna clean up these. I gotta have her- I'm gonna have her use the bathroom. Or not take- I wanted her to go to the bathroom first. And then take a bubble bath. Chill the hex out. Our salsa music. I wonder what she, if I should change it to something else. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the salsa is pretty safe. Okay. What, are, what would be like the name of a of a of a beaker baby? Like I don't even really know what their name scheme is. <clears throat> There's Aaron and Loki. Bjorn and Gundren. Are they supposed to be like? Are their names kind of supposed to be? sort of Scandinavian or something? Isn't that their kind of thing? But with, with Bjorn, that makes me think that, but I might be wrong. Um, so I don't know what their, like, name scheme would be. <laughs> Bunsen. Bunsen Beaker. Bunsen, like, Bunsen Burner. <laughs> that would be funny. I didn't see what that pop-up was. I wasn't paying attention. Also, apparently she's a never nude. I didn't know that. Also, she's a swiper. I forgot about that. She can steal stuff. She can steal- she can pickpocket people. Maybe that's what she needs to be doing. When she invites someone over to fool around, she pickpockets them. That's what I should have done with everybody that was visiting. <laughs> we should have had everybody get pickpocketed after they woohoo with her. <laughs> that's her thing. Maybe that's what- maybe that's why- maybe that's the real reason Bjorn was, uh, you know, seducing Buzz is to get him home and get him with her and then she can pickpocket him. That's how they that's how they make some extra cash. I'm gonna have her go to sleep. Um, because she's sick and pregnant. <laughs> I'm gonna move this gosh darn thing up here. I probably am gonna end up deleting it because it's gonna drive me nuts, but whatever. Oh, I didn't realize we had our a, a manipulator up here. I got him a different one outside. So they have two they have two sim manipulators, whatever. <laughs> that's fine. Go. Uh, who's home? Oh, Loki's home. I saw. I heard movement. I hear movement in the house. Okay, I'm gonna have you do your homework immediately because I think that's what you would do, and then we can have you take a bath. Yeah, I don't know who. Uh... I think it would be wholesome for for little Viddy and and Loki to connect more. Uh oh, Bjorn. Okay, their flu has worsened again. What if Bjorn freaking dies as soon as he steps back on the lot? 
<laughs> she looks so small in that bed, does she? That's true with like the big headboard and everything. I think we talked about before, like, this. so Loki doesn't have the evil trait. Like, what if Loki ends up being, like, kind of good in this, this world, too? I don't know. But then also, we gave him the zombie army. So maybe not. <laughs> maybe he means well, but he's... Oh, he's gonna go to work. You gotta go to work, buddy. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. What is with Tammy Jensen being everywhere? <laughs> Tammy's everywhere. Hello. Oh, Fuzzball. Wait, this dog's name is Fuzzball, and it's like it has no tail and it is not particularly fuzzy. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess Bjorn would give Kitty some company. Oh my gosh. Maybe that'll be Loki's goal is to, to uh, be able to <laughs> bring back people from the dead. His, maybe his father would become the motivation if his father was to die. He's got nine hours. Wait, we were there for <laughs> that long? Bjorn's gonna be gone for nine more hours. Working late one night, Loki catches a fright when he notices that his boss, Dr. Finkelstein, has left one of the head-in-a-jar experiments over the Bunsen burner. Wait, what is this fate that you brought up Bunsen and now we have a we have a random card? with Bunsen Burner. <laughs> Is that a sign that the baby needs to be named Bunsen? Doc doesn't normally leave floating heads in jars above flames overnight, as a general rule. I feel like Dismantle? Uh-oh, I see very angry Dr. Fink. <laughs> Dr. Fink! But heads instead... But finds instead a very angry Dr. Fink who hands him a pink slip for his destructive meddling. Loki is fired! Oh no. Maybe Bunsen is not meant to be. Loki got fired from the... From the... Oh no. Maybe this is where Loki's like, I can't be a science guy. I gotta do something else. Maybe just like a different kind of science. Maybe he gets into some other science-y line. Get him go. Okay. Also, I guess we weren't on the same page there. Okay, so you you think that we should have a playable ghost of Kitty that Bjorn can woohoo. This child is filthy. You need to take a, sh a bath. Okay, Gundren's recovering. How is, how is there still eight hours left of Loki being gone? Seven hours now. Okay, <laughs> And come down here and take a bath. Everybody's always bouncing each other out of the bathrooms in this house. I think he's low on social and fun. I'm gonna bump his hygiene a little. And we're gonna go we're gonna go out. We're gonna call a sim. He's, he needs to get his mind off of... Bunsen was not meant to be. That's his villain origin story. Yeah. The, 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 uh, doc, Mr. Dr. Finkelstein has rejected him for his brilliance. He's, he, he knows that the reason Dr. Fink fired him is because he's far too brilliant. He was, he was intimidated. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, he'll join the criminal career. Maybe the criminal career is good for him. Um, I want him to call. I want him to call little Viddy. I want him and Viddy to go out together. The unusual pairing you would not have expected. <clears throat> Even though in like the pre-made hood, they're like essentially identical twins, Viddy and, and Loki. <laughs> but our Viddy is a little different. Oh, oh, I forgot you're sick. Uh oh. Oops. That's okay. He's a kid. He's a teenager. He doesn't care about being sick. He's gonna go out anyway. Oh, Gundren's healthy. That's good. That's good for her. Um, she's hungry, though. I guess we could try some skinny. <laughs> the way this AU is forming. Yeah, it's very... it's interesting. Oh no, he's crying. Oh, Viddy. Oh, wait, did I invite Viddy over? Oops. 
I meant to invite. I meant to have them out go out together. That's okay. I'm I'm silly. I guess there was not a way for me to do that, was there? I would have had to invite him. Hmm. I guess. Yeah. I guess I. I don't know. I have to like group up. We can group up. <laughs> I love Basil outfit. Um. Sleep over. Ask to form casual goop group. <laughs> goop. <laughs> Actually said goop. <laughs> you want you want to do a casual goop, Vinny? <laughs> what a casual goop. There we go. Um, and then we'll uh. Can I not walk a lot? Can I drive my mom's car? Why can't we go somewhere? Oh, I bet we can't leave because this guy's still gone. That's right. Crap. <laughs> you want to do a ga casual Gwyneth Paltrow, not this? Oh no. This is how Loki acts when he has a crush on people. <laughs> okay. I forgot he can't leave because his dad's gone. It can't have some two people like off the lot. Well, crap. That's all right. Here. Can we like hang out? Let's do like a chat, talk, hang out. It's casual goop between friends. This guy's being guy. <laughs> Bo hmm, bone broth and IV for dinner. <laughs> Interesting. Do you want to do? Oh wait, I already read that. Do you want to do a casual? <laughs> I thought it. Had to. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got Skeddy. That's not burnt. That's a good start. That's a good good beginnings. Oh God, I really don't know who the father of this baby. I think it might just be Bjorn, but I would love for it to be Glarn. I don't know. Oh, she gained creativity skill. These two are chillin'. They're already besties. They're already besties. I think they'll... I think they might be in the age range to go to college together, though, which will be fun next next round. Maybe it's nut. <laughs> Maybe it's canut. <laughs> I work in a hospital. That's normal. I'm starving and dehydrated, so that sounds great right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, Vidkin and Loki are brothers in my head canon, so the possibility of romance between them is gag. Oh no. Yeah, in this, of course, in our, our little world here, they're not. And we do have plans for a little Vidi to um, be a trans girly. So I think that eventually, I think Vidi is going to, we've decided is going to change their name to Violet. And I think that Loki and, and Violet could be a, a possible future couple. I think that might be what happens, because because Loki is straight, but I feel like maybe Loki has a, an interest in, in Vidi in a way that, like, he doesn't quite understand yet. Maybe he doesn't understand Vidi's situation yet, and then eventually, like, figures it out or something. Like, I feel like that might be... Why are you sleeping down here on the couch? <laughs> Um, you also want to go on a date. She also wants to befriend Buzz. See, she wants to befriend Buzz, so we need to figure that. <laughs> Diabetes hair purple. It might look cute. Yeah, I guess V is a good, like, placeholder name for now. <laughs> My game, I transitioned bottom to, to Nick after realizing Bottom's actual name. In the play was Nick. I think I might have read that, that in the play, Bottom was a, a male character, I think. That's interesting. That's cool. Nick Bottom. Okay, that's interesting. It's funny that of all the names, they would choose that for her. Where's Dick Top? Not this. <laughs> Not this. You mean Richard Top? <laughs> Bottom has to be the worst name in its history. It's definitely an interesting choice. Definitely a choice that was made. 
I'm gonna put leftovers away. My god, we still have three hours of Bjorn being gone. I was hoping that maybe we could uh, still go out, but I don't know. He, v, v might be leaving. Yeah, I think I might do that. We might do a. It might be a process. Like maybe while V is in college, I can just use some of the like, um, like the the femi like the uh, clothes that have been like. Um, what, what is the word? Converted to, like, the male body type that are, like, the, the female clothes. And, and then maybe, so, like, throughout college it could be that. And then maybe after, at some point, I can do an actual sim PE gender change. I'm gonna figure out when. I think that could be interesting. Okay, are you, like... What are you doing? You're gonna go tuck in? Okay. There aren't other f um, named fairies in Midsummer Nights. Okay. Oh, like like aren't there? Yeah. I was gonna say I thought because I mean I used a few names for the Sims in my Veronaville. Like there was there was Peas Blossom. Isn't there Peas Blossom? And there's Mustard Seed. And there's um, Coat and or Moat or something. But I think Moat was male. Something like that. There's a few. <laughs> Maybe bottom after the quark. Little Mills is posting a lot of clothes on trans mesh recently. I recommend it checking their Twitter. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot of that so I remember the name. Oops. I accidentally screwed that up. Just do that. <laughs> I don't know. And I watched the horrible movie, kinda. I might have fallen asleep. <laughs> Are you talking about like the the whatever mid sub like a, a what am I trying to say Shakespeare movie? <laughs> I've never been super duper into Shakespeare. Oh no, Vinny's sick. What? Oh, God, they're having a hacking fit. <laughs> Not the hacking. They're having a hacking competition. Uh-oh. <laughs> Awkward. But also, like, what's weird is if, like, oh my god, buddy. Oh, his fun is, like, at zero. Here, let's, yeah, let's come in and dance. Um. What was I trying to say? Oh, it's also weird as if this baby is Glarn's baby? That means that, like, we're almost ending up with another screwed up, like, Smith-style, like, family tree. Where, like, if if these two were to become a couple and, like, get married, that would mean, like... Because <laughs> Glarn would be, like, a the father to this child. I don't know how to describe... Like, there, there'd be some... Some... <laughs> some some screwer... Screwery happening. <laughs> I don't know, there's some weird things happening in the family trees in Strange Town. I don't think my brain can even process the proper way to explain that. Is she under she's only on her first trimester still. Yeah. <laughs> the complicated nut Millie tree hack nut. Did George R. R. Martin make the family tree? Good question. <laughs> it's difficult to avoid, yeah. That's like it's Anyway, Bjorn finally came home after 25 years. Why did you just pay the bills? Why are you why are you bringing them to Why are you bringing them to Aaron? Is Aaron supposed to pay the bills for you? What are you doing? Okay, you need to yeah, you need to go to sleep. Okay, she's oh, she just got her bump, I think. Yeah, she's bigger now. So I think tomorrow she's going to have the baby. Um I think we'll play until she has her baby. That might be what we do. Maybe, or do I want to... I might finish these guys, because I think it'll be... Maybe it'll be a little more clean cut if I finish this household today. Because this is the last household of the round. So that means next time we play, we can just start the next round. But also, I don't know. It doesn't really matter that much, but... We'll see how, we'll see how I feel. Oh, friend, what did that pop-up say? Friends are... I didn't see what the pop-up said. Oh, the hug! They gave a hug! Okay, bye! Go away. Did you do your homework? I think you did.
you're doing good. You're doing this. Hi, Brianna. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the resub. I appreciate that, Brad. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing all right. I'm not 100%. I'm taking it one day at a time. <laughs> uh, I'm doing okay, though. So Gundren is pregnant with Glarb's baby. I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> she she woohooed with Bjorn the first night and then the second during the the next day she shortly after she woohooed with Glarn. So like I'm not sure. I think it might just be Bjorn's baby. But it'd be fun if it was Glarn's. <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> uh, so here child, look how much money adults have to throw away just to stay housed. Yeah. She needs a paternity test, yes. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, you're sleeping. Are my lights goofing again? Because these are on, yeah. They goofing. Our lamps. There we go. <laughs> Let's gamble about the maternity. Yeah, oh, that's what I was going to do a prediction. Let's do a prediction. Um, Start start a new one. Um, Whose baby is it? Should I do, if I say, or how about, who is the father? Also, I'm not, let's follow somebody while I'm typing this here. We're going to, he's going to play a piano while I'm typing this out. Actually, you're not going to be able to hear him because I clicked off. <laughs> uh, let's go Bjorn or Glarn. Um, I don't know. Should we do, I'll do like a two minute. Got it. Okay, there we go. There should be a prediction at the top of the chat that you could gamble your points away. <laughs> who you think the who you think the baby belongs to? See who see who wins. Oh god! Imagine if he stood up and, and got a pregnant belly because <laughs> from Buzz. Oh god! Can you imagine? <laughs> the way he just stood up like that made me nervous <laughs> in the middle of what he was doing. <laughs> All right, everybody's everybody's schlepping. Can you just why don't you get a leftover? I have some leftover Skeddy. This leftover Skeddy's always good. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a lot of votes for Glarney Boy. <laughs> There's a lot of votes for Glarney Boy. Oh my goodness. Somebody's real eager for it to be Glarn. <laughs> what if it ends up not being? <laughs> what do you think about cold spaghetti? I think it can be good sometimes. I would eat cold spaghetti if it was like real good spaghetti, like real good sauce and stuff. I feel like it's a little bit like cold pizza. I'd probably rather warm it up, but if I had to, I could eat cold spaghetti. What about sugar and spaghetti? I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people um, sh th sweeten the sauce, which I'm not a fan of. I guess we could save, but I think it's co more common in the U.S. that you sweeten the sauce, maybe. I don't remember. Um... Gundren sure likes guys who <laughs> who name with Aaron. That's true. I didn't realize that. Bjorn, Glarn. <laughs> this is my only the only only men with an R N name can can father my children. The popular thing in the South. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's as popular up here or not. Yeah. But I feel like most of the sauce up here that I'm used to eating is just like canned sauce. So like. I'm just at the mercy of the companies <laughs> what they're doing. Just sugar to lessen the acidi acidus ex yeah, <laughs> I that a acid okay. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. 
And I mean, it makes sense, but I guess I think I've also heard of like people push it to be more sweet, more than just lessening acid as acidity, acidity, as titty. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we must we must add sugar to lessen the ass titty. Okay, are you done? Here, come play. <laughs> wow, I can't talk. <laughs> I I make um some from scratch. And tomatoes to be acidic. Oh, Loki. Jesus Christ. Um, to be acidic. So a teaspoon of sugar usually help, but not sure if that's what you mean. Okay. Yeah, I've never tried that, but I have family members who legit sprinkle sugar in the spaghetti. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sweet spaghetti sounds a nut. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't love that. I'd just rather have just good good sauce. With like a good my favorite is like the garlic and like like sauce that has garlic added into it and like other just like spices that work well with the garlic and stuff. I like that better. Alright, we're doing our we're doing our little dance. Are we gonna be going to school soon, probably? Okay, she wants an A+, plus. we could do that. Andrew has the day off today. You, oh, the way he just immediately stopped dancing and said, time for school. He's like, ugh, time for school. I'm pretty sure she's gonna have her baby today. Ma'am, where are you headed with this talk through to Aaron? Aaron's busy- y'all are gonna traumatize Aaron. Y'all are gonna traumatize Aaron. He is. I, I would not gar- <laughs> What's what? What's what, please? <laughs> yeah, I put garlic in anything. I do like a good garlic moment. I- yeah, I'm gonna have to delete this thing. I knew I was gonna. <laughs> I would nut garlic in everything. You nut yum! <laughs> I know how I'm gonna dance at the club. <laughs> oh, gonna go to school, bye. Is it raining? What is the sound I'm hearing? Oh, that's- that's low- uh- Yorn's bus. <laughs> but wait, who's... Who's in the front seat of the bus? But what am I seeing? What is that? Wait. What is that? Wait. What is that? What is that? Who are these folks? Why have I never seen this? What is this? Have I never... What is this? Why are there... There's boxes at the <laughs> Why are these bot? What are these? How is this a? How is this like a sports bus? <laughs> Who are these guys? This one's got a ponytail. Oh no! <gasps> it's famous as a what is this? I don't understand. He's supposed to. It's supposed to be like they look like they're supposed to have baseball outfits on, like baseball players. But like, why? Since when? Since w when did this happen? That's what I saw. Sims one, Sims in the. That's what I. I saw the face a little bit. I'm like, who's sitting on the bus? And I'm like, wait, is that a Sims one? <laughs> this man. You know what's happened? These are taxidermied victims of this man. <laughs> this man has murdered these people and taxidermied them and put them on his bus. <laughs> Look at his eyes. You can tell. <laughs> this is his. This is his doing. I need a screenshot of this. My god. I've never seen this. Why have I never this is so cursed. I don't I just I didn't I didn't realize. I just didn't realize. It's weird. Why wouldn't they have that like first of all, why just two? Like why is there just two? And also why wouldn't they have that on like the regular school bus? It's a <laughs> base of the man has committed some crimes. Like why wouldn't- why don't they have that on the regular school bus, though? Like, that's so strange. <laughs> it's so strange. Okay, he's gotten in. Okay. That's definitely a real job that Loki does, and he doesn't- yeah, also, cardboard boxes in the back? I don't understand that part. What is his- his job description is that he's a starter. He's made it off the bench and into the starting lineup. Yeah. He's gonna have to quit his job, so how many- He's supposed to get promoted in 15 c different careers. I don't know if he's been promoted yet in this job. He, he, he gets promoted and then quits and does another job. 
The boxes are for the bodies and all of the taxidermy supplies, yes. That's <laughs> exactly. He looks very accomplished with this, yes. I, 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 that was, that was some cur- that was weird. I've just never noticed that. Uh, just because Loki's only lightly sick, whatever, there's a bug in my room. There's a bug in here. Alright, she should be having her baby later today. I'm gonna have her eat. Let's get some leftovers. Get yourself some leftovers. I don't know what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight. I don't have a lot of options right now. <laughs> I haven't been able to drink coffee, which sucks because I like coffee. But I'm not allowed to drink coffee right now. <laughs> so it's like, that's kind of lame. And I can't eat a lot of the food that I usually eat. So I'm like, hmm. I don't know what to have. You have to use garbage bags for body parts. Amateur. <laughs> Okay, I keep getting pop-ups about Loki. Why am I- why- he's at war he's at school. Can't do anything about it. Oh, she's gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, I had ramen for lunch. I don't have a lot of soup. I need to go out and buy some more. Um, that's pretty much what I've been living on is like soup and ramen and stuff. You gonna take a shower? Can you take a bath? Take a bath? Lady, <laughs> lady is swimming, taking a bath in your bath, uh, your bathing suit. I mean, I guess it's called a bathing suit for a reason. But I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Soup tier <to your> list. <laughs> but, oh my god, I keep getting lo Loki pop ups. Does she want to buy a guitar? I don't think we need to buy a guitar. What do you want? Creativity, skill level, sure. Practice piano. Your creativity. There you go. Let her work on her creativity skill. I mostly like chicken noodle soup. And then maybe like a chunky beef soup or something. Yeah, I wish I had sweet potatoes. I need to get some of those too. I just haven't been able to get out and get stuff. But I do need to- I need to stock up on some fangs and stuff. I had asked- I had asked somebody to- pick up some stuff for me and it was a mistake because they kind of got all the wrong stuff. <laughs> like, I appreciated the help. <laughs> but it didn't... <laughs> it didn't help that much. Yeah, don't like soup too much. I like soup. I like... I like... I like ramen better than soup. I'm just having him immediately do his homework because he, he's like... He does want to go to private school. I don't know if I feel like dealing with it, though. My favorite is there's a progressive soup. They use like the swirly noodles and I guess ramen is soup yeah I just call it that because it's like a little bit technically kind of different a little just for me because of like when I go to buy it it's in like it's they sell the for, for where I go to buy it they sell the ramen in a different section than the soup <laughs> so it's like in my head they're two different things you need to come haven't you come um play computer playing the computer what do you mean you're not happy about that what why are you not happy about playing on the computer? Why is he unhappy? Are, are you okay? <laughs> Something wrong with you? <laughs> Progressive soup sounds like something Republic is yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just the brand. And it has, it has, they, they, their chicken noodle is really, it's like chicken and vegetable. It has like carrots and like, I don't know, some green stuff. And their noodles are like more like thick and like swirly. And I like it a lot better. You tell me where I could find so yeah, so the um kind of advanced for the 80s, yeah. It's so I actually got this from a download link of um let me see, let me do this. From a, a page of stuff that people had saved that's all like 80s, vaguely 80s themed. Um, and so that's what I, I had downloaded these, it, it's this whole set. So what it is, is it's actually different parts. So like, this is this. I'm deciding whether I really like it, but yeah, there's all these different versions of the monitor. There's like a little teeny one that kind of look like a little older fashioned one and stuff. And then there's the, the keyboards, which all are like different that you place in there using like an OMSP. And then also the mouse you place separate. And then the... Oh, disappeared. But there's also a little, little, 
keep trackpad thing like it's the whole thing and then there's like a sideways monitor here we'll put it sideways he's got a dual pc setup it's like a whole thing so you like set them all in there separately with the OMSPs and you layer them all together um and so it's kind of cool anyway it's from two fingers whiskey two fw i think they i don't know if they have a a Tumblr or like a whatever one of the other websites is. Um, but yeah, the, it's uh, from Two Fingers Whiskey is their name. I can type out. I wonder if I could find their their page here. Yeah, I found their live journal. I think it must be on there. Oh, yeah, they also have a Tumblr and stuff. Yeah, on the top of this page that I just linked, there's links to their Tumblr and stuff, too. But anyway, yeah, it's a pretty cool little set. The only thing that's actually functional is the monitor. And you click on it, and, the, and they're set up to be... Um, they're set up to be like the, uh, the Monique hacked computers, so they have all the extra stuff on them if you have all the Monique hack stuff but I think you can probably also download like the regular version too I think um so yeah they're pretty cool they're a little bit of a pain in the butt they're a little fiddly because like I've had to I, I've learned to just use the regular OMSP and just like place each piece on the OMSP and then put them layer them in one at a time <laughs> it's kind of a thing but it works but like you'll notice he's actually not moving the mouse because it's actually not part of which is like a little annoying if that bothers you, but it's like because it's this is technically just like a decor item. I kind of wish they were just an all-in-one thing, but they're not, which is fine. I don't really notice it that much. Okay, she's excited. Oh, she wants a puppy or a kitten. Ooh. Yeah, they made the '80s cell phone too, and the 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 link for the '80s cell phone. We we figured out how to do the fix in the Discord. I think it's in the Sims 2 help section for those that want to download that, because I, I do have that too, and it's pretty neat. Also, sorry for Mr. Hank barking his head off in the background, if you can hear him. He's having a meltdown. He, he, if he sees a neighborhood cat, he has, to, he has to scream about it and make sure everybody knows that there's a neighborhood cat. I'm gonna go, oh, they're gonna play together? Oh, she's cheering her on. Oh my god, you're so tired. Go to sleep, lady. Why are you so tired? You just were playing piano all day. You should have gone to sleep. Okay, you're home too. I guess you're taking a bath. Taking a bath. Alright, she's got to be having this baby soon. Sometime this evening. I think I forget exactly the time. I should have paid attention to the time she had a bump. But we gotta, we're going to see. I'm afraid. <laughs> but if it comes out looking exactly like Glarn... Can you imagine? Oh god, here it is! Oh god, here it is! Okay. It's happening. It's happening. And Hank's screaming in the background. Okay. <laughs> Hank's- Oh my god, Hank's having a meltdown. Okay. Just one. A singular. We'll get- we'll get spoiled by the pop-up that asks, like, I think the- Baby, the f who's gonna stay home take care of the baby? We might get spoiled by that. Okay, what's it gonna look like? What, if it has black hair, <gasps> that's a Glarn baby. <laughs> that looks like a. I think nobody's got. Nobody here has that skin tone. <laughs> I think it's a Glarn baby. It's a little girl. What are we gonna even name it? I don't know what to name it. I don't know what even to name the baby. <laughs> What's <laughs> G name? <laughs> no, my nuts. <laughs> um. Mm, granny, Klarna. Actually, Klarna's funny. <laughs> Klarna's funny. Isn't that that? Scandinavian, uh, rent, like, pay-as-you-go site or something. Gloria's good. I like Gloria. 
So we have an Aaron, we have a we have a Loki. Like both of those names to me are very different sounding, but maybe there's a connection there. What if I search what if I do one of those things where like have you ever seen there's this thing called magic baby names dot com? <laughs> Misanthropy. Okay. <laughs> They're both four letters long. That's good. Let me go to this website. It doesn't always work. I don't always like this website. Here, I'll show you right here. And you, all you have to type is like a name that you like or that you want, and you can find the similar names or like names that it considers to be similar. It doesn't always work well. But so if I type Aaron, like I could find another girl name based on that, but all of these look pretty basic. Hmm. Aaron literally means Ireland. Interesting. I'm seeing Claire standing out to me. Olivia. We already have we already have Olive in town, so it's like but if I if I click on Claire, I can then look at other other names. <laughs> Thoret. <laughs> Thoret after Loki. We've got Loki and Thoret. I don't know if I love these. They don't always work. Fiona's kind of fun. G Glarna. <laughs> Klarna is the pay later service, but I didn't think about that when I wrote Klarna. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure. Um, oh, Aaron came up. Kelly Page. We already have a townie named Page. Elaine. <laughs> Shrekina. <laughs> These are some scary names. What if I, uh, what if I type in Loki? What comes up for girl? Okay, now we got like, now we got some interesting names. Freya. Actually, that's not a bad one. Sicily, Hella. I kind of like Hella. H E L A. Gunda. Wait, there's a Gunda. Because we've got Gundrin. There's Gunda. Boblin. <laughs> Bobisha. That sounds. I don't know about Bobisha. <laughs> Frig. Ooh, is fr where's. Oh, I see Frig. Frig's fun. <laughs> Hope. Daffodil. Freya. Kind of like a different. Gouda and Hella. Gunda. I, I think I like Hella. I think I might go with Hella. I think we're just going to do that. We're going to do that. Keep it simple. Oops, did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I thought I just exited out of something important. Gunda sounds a bit like Gouda. That's true. Let's just do Hella. I think that's cute. It's a little, it's four letters. It's simple. Okay, you're, and you're dying in the background. Okay, here's is the moment of truth. I'm pretty sure, I mean, because I mean, she's got, what's her eye color? She's got gray eyes with light skin tone. This guy, I mean, he's got blue eyes, light skin tone. <laughs> Oops, go up. We got brown eyes and, and a darker skin tone and I think black hair or brown hair. <laughs> I think, I don't know if those, those might be brown eyebrows. So I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Look at this tree! <laughs> Look at this, these are all... <laughs> no, these are not all Glarn. These, this, these, these two are not Glarn's kids. They're just shown because of her. This is Loki, but it's... If I click him, we can see that. This is all his kids. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Look at all of the look at he's he's given birth to four aliens. Hella. And then these folks. We got Janet. That was the last baby that Kitty had was Janet. <laughs> he needs to be fixed. He needs to be neutered. <laughs> this family is a forest, not a tree. Yeah. <laughs> One could make PhD on this family tree. I oh my god. All right, where's the prediction here? Um, choose outcome. It was Glarn. Complete prediction. Complete. Here we go. <laughs> Congratulations if you chose Glarn. You got some points. No problem with his swimmers. Not this. <laughs> Not this. All right. Now we, where the hell are we going to put a baby in this house? I feel like we're going to have to just squeeze it in here. Or maybe downstairs? Wait, what if I fit her downstairs somewhere? That might be easier, honestly. Um, 
Right, I can put this here. Mm, I will get rid of this. I genuinely really didn't think it was going to be Glarn's baby because of the timing. I thought it was going to be Bjorn's baby. We'll just do like this style. I'll just get him that. I don't know where to put it. Maybe I could put it here too. Here, that can go up there. We'll just get rid of this for now and we'll do that. That works. I guess I can put the high chair back now that I went and deleted it. I don't know what color I had. It was like a, a wood color. Maybe it was that one. There we go. Bjorn is floating while Glarn swims. Not this. <laughs> Not this. Okay. Here, you can... Uh, Feed bottle to Hella, and then put Hella in crib. Well, it has it has happened. We have another beaker baby, <laughs> but it is actually a a scandalous swinger baby. Okay, are you answering the phone? Okay. Is Gundren available to talk? She's busy. She just gave birth to a baby that's very obviously not a beaker baby. <laughs> okay, we're putting him in the crib. <laughs> Hell is gonna be a star. I'm curious, we'll see, we'll see what happens. The, the tangled web. Owen to sleep. She was reacting negatively to her playing. What's up with the misspelled Scandinavian names anyway? Oh, you mean in The Sims 2? Are a lot of them misspelled? I guess I have noticed that. I don't know if they did that on purpose to make them, like, technically not exactly the same name or something. But, I don't know. You, uh, dispose that. He wants to woohoo with five different sims and then buy a bunch of crap. Buddy. Buy a game, buy TV. I need him to practice his body skill, actually, because of his, his promotion. Can we- oops, I don't know what I just hit. Oh, not stargaze. Can you have you work out? Can you work out in there and try to get your body skill up, maybe? I don't know if you have good needs. Okay, he's working out in the kitchen, <laughs> apparently. How about you? Oh, she wants a kitten now. Should we, should we, we should adopt a little kitty. Maybe we'll wait for tomorrow. Have one of the adults do it. I don't want to interrupt Bjorn now that he's skilling and she, this one's sleeping. Yeah, what would we name, what would Erin name her kitten? I feel like it would have to be named like a child would name it. <laughs> Fluffball. Fluffy princess. Could name it princess. Even if it's a boy, could name it princess. Or if it's a boy, could name it prince. That'd be cute. What are you doing, Loki? Did you do your homework, buddy? I think you did. I think I'm gonna have you take a bath. Go to the bathroom. Stop this. Uh, maybe get, like, a little quick, quick dinner. Okay, Aaron's doing that. I might have Aaron just go- Oh, she didn't do her homework. I thought she did. Let's just go to sleep after. Okay, you can stop that. And eventually, maybe I can put a bunk bed in Aaron's room, or... Yeah, probably Aaron's room. I'm sure by the time the baby is big enough to be, like, sharing a bed with Aaron, like, sharing a room with Aaron, Loki might be grown out, like, in college and stuff, so... Um, because how many days? He has six days. We could, um, I think probably it might get to the point where, like, Aaron in inherits this room and then the baby gets this room or something. <clears throat> we'll see.
Okay. You're doing your little workout. I think this light is glitching a little bit. There we go. You're looking weird, buddy. You're looking weird. Oh. Did you break the toilet? Look, he's gonna have to lug those monitors. He is. He's gonna he's gonna have a suitcase just for his computer. He's gonna have to have two suitcases. Two big boxes. He's gonna borrow a couple of those boxes from the back of his dad's work bus. <laughs> you know. The way Loki chooses to clean. He's thinking about the baby. He doesn't seem to care that, like... I don't know if... Maybe, um... I, well, he has no logic at all. Oh my god, the doubled music! Wait. That's very severely doubled. <laughs> so cursed. That's so cursed. <laughs> also, hello, Daydreamer. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome. I like that the captions... When I said Daydreamer... They said danger. Oh, now it said daydreamer. I, I'm getting distracted by the, the captions in OBS. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, crap. I forgot that he's still sick. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am the danger. <laughs> I am the danger. Oh, crap. I'm supposed to roll another ad again. How has it been another hour? Holy crap, Ola. I'm just gonna roll an ad. We're just kind of chilling in the, the evening time in this household anyway. No thoughts, just dance. <laughs> but anyway, how are you doing, Daydreamer? Hope you're doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to report. I'm sorry to say that we had to what We, we uh, did a machinima break, which I think we, we could probably... We might do another one at the end of stream for the fun. But, um... We did a machinima break, and we watched The Last iCarly, and unfortunately you were not here. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But, you can always go back and watch it if you want. It was very questionable. The last one, I, I can't say I'm a big fan of the last one, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it, was a, it was a weird one. Why is this so orange in here? Dang. Um, but yeah, we're in the Beaker household here. This is our last household of the round. And we had some scandal. Um, Bjorn and Gundren woohooed right at the beginning of us playing this household. And then the next day... Look how orange you fucking look, girl! <laughs> um, the, the next day, Gundren and Glarn woohooed. And... Then Gundren was pregnant. We didn't know who the baby was, belonged to, but she just gave birth to the baby. And it's very much not Bjorn genes. Oh, I forgot. The baby can't sleep in here because of the music. It's very, uh, very Glarn. <laughs> the baby is very Glarn. <laughs> so we have another Glarn monster in the house. You, are you over here? Who's, who's downstairs just now? Oh, you. Turn this off so your baby sister can sleep. Your baby half-sister can sleep. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're feeding the baby? You're really hungry. I don't think she's supposed to, like, feed the baby when she's that hungry. But it drops her needs. Oh, you're playing a video game? Don't you sleep? Oh my god. I'm afraid you're gonna die, buddy. You need to go to sleep. Glarn is going to be the entire second gen, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a problem. Well, we were looking at the family tree a second ago. There's a lot going on. So, like, look at this happy little pleasant family tree. Look at this. This is very normal. And then we go like this. Let me go like that. <laughs> and then we go, oh, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> this is going to be an issue. Um... <laughs> womp 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 is right. Yeah, it's there's a lot happening. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's any way for me to get to. Yeah, so we have the these guys here. Yeah, it's 
and then very and quite very and quite curious are both in the um fam are in the adoption bin and i forget who we decided we who who might adopt them if it might be glabe again i think we thought maybe glabe would take them but there's some weird stuff going on with glabe oh thank you for the save game i, I forgot about that that's a good idea but like there's some weird stuff going on with glabe because when we were street earlier we were playing vidcrim and loner v vidcrim loner and aj loner and we caught we caught glabe fooling around with a, a townie and falling in love with a townie on one lot and then the next lot we went to she was woohooing in the basement of another lot with some dude i think it was xanthos xanthos salome so like she's been just glabe is just like going around fooling around behind her wife's back and i don't really know what's going on with that <laughs> it'll be interesting to see where that goes yeah she's had well that's what we were saying is like she, maybe she's having a midlife crisis based on like the fact that her daughters are now becoming teenagers and she's not they don't like need her anymore and then like maybe maybe it gets to a point where she maybe maybe it'll be good when she if she r realizes she needs to adopt these two new alien babies maybe that'll fix it or something but i don't know if maybe her marriage will break apart before that happens again what if she finds herself again divorced once again divorced with two new alien kids <laughs> like before like it's like history repeating itself <laughs> it'd be kind of interesting okay you're very hungry can you can you like have some cereal i could fix her <laughs> i know but like you like hmm you'd, you'd feel very like okay something's very wrong here okay i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to have bjorn stay stay home from work if okay no he doesn't have to work today that's good because he's wicked sick we're having a flu through the house that keeps jumping from sim to sim and it's kind of kind of nuts kind of a little nuts <laughs> let me fix these lights too Eat it up, eat it up. It's a little canuts. It's a little canuts. Just thinking about the baby. She wants to befriend Buzz. That was the other thing that happened. Lo uh, Bjorn went to the bar, and I'm gonna bump her hunger because, like, she just ate a bunch of stuff. Also, it's 3 a.m. and she's wide awake. Does she need? She needs cooking skill. Have her study cooking, I guess. But like, Bjorn went to the bar and he we had him scope the room and he ended up falling in love with Buzz Barber, which is Buzz Grunt. And his married name is Barber. <laughs> and they started woohooing and stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of things that happened. We've had a very eventful time this this stream. I don't think that Bjorn is aware. I don't know. Does he? I mean, technically, it didn't show him get upset. He has no logic skill, which you need logic skill for them to realize it. But I'm gonna guess that he just is too stupid to understand. I'm gonna change diaper. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you please? Can you please? Could you please? Please. Um, oh, how are you doing? Okay. Here, why don't you play, cuddle, and then... Can we just have you put her back in here? Clean that up. And then I can have you study again, I guess. A little Glarn monstrosity. <laughs> that goes for most of... <laughs> most of the strange Jew fathers. Strange town. <laughs> Too stupid to understand yeah pretty much probably like well obviously hella went to tra tanning salon in the womb yeah exactly <laughs> he's like well i'm pretty sure she, she's what if do you think i don't think that uh we're not gonna save for right now would gundren lie at all maybe she would lie to him i don't know they have a very open relationship like they, they're like swingers they're like full-on swingers so like i don't know that how much would he actually care how much would either of them care? Or is it just like, 
part of the <laughs> par for the course for their lifestyle. I don't know. Maybe he would care. Maybe they have an agreement that that's not supposed to happen, and she lied to him or something. <laughs> I was happy I caught myself, only to still be wrong. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> Strangeville fun. Isn't what is it? Isn't it? Oh no, The Sims Four one. What's The Sims Four? Strangerville. Isn't that this? That's The Sims Four one. Strangeville is a nice ring to it, though. I kind of like it better than Strange Town. Like Strangeville. But I'm sure they didn't want to do that because they already had, well, they, no, Pleasant View. Well, they had Veronaville. That's probably why they didn't want to do Strangeville. <laughs> they wanted a different thing. Who's doing what? Oh, you're playing. Oh, you're playing. Okay, I was like, I could hear little voices. Uh, he wants to ask someone on a date. We're gonna have to see if we can get Buzz sometime to show up. Somebody's gotta- you know what? I'm gonna have you- are you a neat guy? You're not. You're super sloppy. Well, I was gonna have you clean, but you know what? I don't think you would be cleaning. What else do you want? Meet someone new, play with someone, play kicky bag, have a good reputation. Hmm. What am I gonna have you do? Who are you gonna meet up with? I think the bus is out. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe he could go on to the computer at some point. Maybe, is he, can he meet people on the computer? I could just have him go to a lot. But he's sick. I, I kind of want him to stay home because he's sick. <laughs> Made another day of work. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You have survived. Uh, oh, Gundren has the day off today, too. We gotta get Buzzy over here. We gotta have some fun with Mr. Buzz. I'll have to have- I'll have Bjorn invite Buzz or something. She get- oh, she got her, her point, so we're gonna have her stop for now. Make sure you put that away, please. Don't set it on the floor. Are you gonna- why do they do that? Why can't you just put it away? I'm gonna have you clean up some stuff. Um, but I'm gonna have him. I have a feeling Buzz is working. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Is she? She's not neat enough either. Oh, that's true. I thought she was neat. Who's the neat one? Oh, it's Loki. Loki's the one. You're right. I was thinking she was neat. But, oh, this is broken. We're gonna call Buzzy. Can we please call? Oh, we got him. We got him. She's, he's luring Buzzy over so that she can she can seduce him and pickpocket him. That's It has begun. Hook, line, and sink. Are we gonna... Yeah, I'll lock- I'll, I'll leave these. She's still got- but Loki is an overachiever locked in, which I think is fine. We could hire a repair person, too. What are they doing? Casual sit? I'd rather you not. Did somebody already- oh my god, that was quick, buddy. <laughs> I like the- Loki's just- he, look at Loki. He's just- he's just waiting for Buzz. It's like, welcome, Buzz. I've been waiting for you. No, not this. <laughs> not this. Yeah, Loki does have- Oh no, that's right, We Loki lost his job. I forgot about that. Dang it. Oh, she's already calling the- I was like, what is this? Um, repair man, we'll call the repair person. <laughs> He's sitting politely, yes. Okay. Buzzy, is that just like, I think this is Buzzy's just like resting face. He looks angry. I guess he got a little smile. No, we must greet everyone. Come greet. Yeah, we gotta get Loki a new job. I think he's gonna get a criminal career job. Okay. They need to become friends. 
I'm gonna do the macro socialize friendly. See where that goes. <laughs> Eat something other than bone broth and it's Karen, correct? <laughs> I've eaten something other than okay. Alright, let's see if we can make this happen. The goal is to get Buzzy seduced and have his his pockets picked. <laughs> that is the goal. But they gotta she wants to be friends with him. There we go. Oh, now what's now what are her? She doesn't have any date wants now. Besides meet someone new. We do have chemistry. Poor little Buzz is getting like Used and abused by the beakers, and he has no clue. Uh-oh. Awkward. Uh-oh. He might just be pickpocketed right out of the gate if he doesn't want to get along. I can do... Um, I think she also has smooth talk. Oh, she doesn't. I forgot she doesn't. Crap. Um, we could just pickpocket him also. Socialize. Let's try romantic, maybe? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what's wrong with that again. It's like sounding weird. I don't know. It's like slightly strange sounding. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see if we can... Oh, that was loud. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. It's not working. Buzzy's not falling for us. Buzzy only wants Loki. Oh, your fave song of as of late. Nice. I think I'm just gonna pickpocket him. There we go. Oh, she's silent. She's like doing a mime performance. Uh oh. <laughs> she's being a little <laughs> not Pascal just walking by. <laughs> Pascal just watching. Like, oh yeah, that seems normal. Oh, oh, Pascal's on the brink of recovery? I didn't see what she gained. Did she get like a hundred bucks or something? I don't think it was that. Was it twenty bucks? Mm. <laughs> Hello, Owly Pip. It it is Glarn. It is a Glarn baby. It came out and we immediately knew looking at it. Oh my goodness, if I could zoom in closer here. We immediately knew this is the baby. It was 150. Okay, thank you. And the skin tone is much darker than either of um, Bjorn or, or Gundren's skin tone. <laughs> We're like, oh, that's a Glarn baby. <laughs> that's a little Glarn baby. It's a little girl. And we named her Hella. Baby Hella. Yeah. She's up here. She's in the massive, curious household now. The good old Glarn baby. Hella is hella cute. <laughs> oh, she's gonna feed the baby. I guess that's the other thing now. We're gonna have to get a nanny. Oh, you're working. Are you chatting with people? What are you doing? Yeah, he's chatting. He's chatting with someone named Brenda. Is there, everybody's just real excited about these ants. Um, do you want to go like do something? What can what can these two boys do? He brought home Pascal from school, but like. Um, can't they play or do something? Play. I don't know. Go play kicky bag somewhere? He doesn't wanna. Look at he hates playing things. I guess not. He's trying to be a human. He's trying to be a normal normal kid. Uh oh, are you playing kicky bag in here? I was hoping you'd go downstairs. I don't think this is gonna work, y'all. Okay. Pascal's <laughs> like you're bad at this. Are you joining? Are you joining Buzz? Can I help you? What is happening? Okay, how about we go downstairs? <laughs> Let's all go outside. How about we go out, out back here? What is this thing? Oh, I must have forgot to leave. What is happening in here? Oh my goodness. You are a filthy mess. Okay, can you just put the baby down and take a bath or shower? <laughs> They're all a little awkward. They are. It's very, uh, unique. 
Pascal and Buzz are not getting along. Let's call over Bu uh, Pascal. It'll be a pain to find a partner for to Hella who isn't a sibling. That's the thing. We're gonna get to a point where we're, I don't know. We're gonna have to like add new blood to town. Um, now we can try and play. Oh, I didn't mean to hit pillow fight. Play. What are we gonna play? Kiki bag? I like the kiki bag, but it never seems to work. <laughs> He's like, why do I gotta play with this loser? Okay, now the baby's screaming. What's the baby doing? Baby's dying over here. Somebody gotta take care of the baby. Is Buzz coming to take care of the baby? Oh no, he's not. Buzz is very into... Buzz is disgusted. <laughs> I feel like Buzz is a very sporty guy. So seeing these two nerd losers play a kicky ball, he's just like, look, he's mortified. He's like, these these kids, what is wrong with these kids? <laughs> he's like, why, why, how can you not know how to kick a ball around? You're not doing it right. Your form is wrong. <laughs> you must do it correctly. Oh my goodness. Okay, you took care of the beast. Put Hella in the crib. Let me just clean that up. You're a mess. Serve lunch. Let's serve some purple soup. Oh, you're home. Welcome back. Little beast. Oh, she's wearing- I, Yeah, I noticed that. I think that's her underwear. Maybe she was going in her underwear? I know she was in the little two-piece. I don't know. Um, I want you to come just sit down here and wait for your food. She's making her, she's making her famous pig soup. Wonderful. Beautiful. They're successful. Oh my god, these guys are so... These guys are so serious about this kicky ball. They're so serious about their kicky ball. Also, I like how it's like, oh yeah, we'll probably go for like four hours. And now we're at five hours. <laughs> I kind of just want to finish this household. Oh no, she started a fire. I can't put the cap on my bottle. Y'all, you were, you literally, she was just making pink soup. Why I gotta do this? All right, eye patch Ashler Bald is here. Our wonderful, our wonderful, beautiful uh, firefighter. His name is Ashler Bald, and he has uh, an eye patch. <laughs> These two just patiently waiting for their food. Pink soup destroying lives again. Actually, they call it purple soup on the when I click on it, which is strange. I guess the same difference. How, what does burnt purple soup look like? <laughs> what what would it be? It should it would be funny if it had an actual burnt state and it was like maybe what if the burnt state turned into the the blue like the blue flashing the texture flashing that'd be kind of funny. Why is uh, Buzz is just kind of chilling here? Can we say goodbye? Let's just say goodbye to Buzz. I don't mind Pascal hanging out. It's like, what are you doing here, buddy? You just got robbed. We robbed you. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm gonna eat. Yeah, that'd be funny if they did that. She's up here. She does. Aaron doesn't really have any little friends. Oh, she is friends with with AJ. We could invite AJ. Oh, Ophelia. She's friends with Ophelia. Maybe her and Ophelia could hang out sometime. Oh, that's right, the kitten. I forgot about the kitten. I'm gonna have her use the bathroom. Somebody's gotta order a cat. Maybe you after you're done eating, because you've got good needs. I call service. Only two days before Aaron's a teen. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, uh, no, not adoption. Pet adoption. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta get him a job too. I'm gonna do it through the, I'm gonna do it through the manipulator. Thanks for reminding me, because I definitely would forget. 
career, jobs. I'm going to go through all the custom ones. Um, criminal. He's gonna. He's he's gone to the dark side. What are you doing? With, oh wait, is the baby? Oh, I think the baby's aging up already. Why is he? What's he doing to the baby? I don't know. Anyway, we're picking out a cat. Okay, we got cinnamon. She wants a kitten. We got haste, and we got mushroom. Those are the two kittens. Purple is a fruit. <laughs> Quote by Homer Simpson. Oh. Remember to order a cat with the pizza while you're at it. <laughs> yeah, we've got either haste or mushroom. I like haste. Maybe we'll just let them keep their names rather than like naming it something. Maybe a little gray kitty. Let's see. This one's doofus. Nor in the middle. Cowardly pig pen. A lazy, friendly, cowardly pig pen. Hmm. Nut pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Butt spot, why? Butt spot's been quiet for quite a little while. I think I'm gonna get the little gray one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a pig pen kitten would get well along. Are they both pig pens? Oh, yeah, he's aging up the baby. Oh my gosh. I think we might have to change her hair. I don't think that's the right hair texture for her. Look at her. I think I see a lot of Glarn. Wait, let's do a little gussy up change appearance. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take the job. There's so many different things happening. I'm getting a kitten. We're getting a job. The baby's growing up. What is going on in this household? She was born like yesterday. Yeah, that, that was quick. It feels like we blinked. Can't tell. I still can't tell. I think she's got brown hair. It might be this custom hair looks dark, though. I think her hair is... Maybe it's black. I don't, I don't know if her hair... No, her hair is brown. She has brown hair. Okay, so she got Gundren's brown hair, so that's cool. Probably would have more like a, like a straight hair texture, like Gundren. I don't... Glarn's is pretty much straight. It's like a little wavy. I don't know what hair she should have. I like this hair. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Could just have a little normal, little, little plain cut. Hmm. A little buns, yeah, bald. <laughs> bald. A little hat, look at this little hat. The only thing is this one doesn't move like some of them do. Kind of like the little braids, too. I like these little buns with these, like, wavy piece. I feel like somebody in town has this. But I do like it. These are, this is kind of fun, too. I like the little half up. That. Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting little cut. Oh gosh, I don't think they'd do a half and half. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> Why does but but wait, the top looks like the same hair that's used, the same mesh that's used for uh for uh Bjorn's uh mullet. I think it's the same mesh just been Frankenstein a different way. Yeah, sometimes it's a lot of hair for oh, what? <laughs> I kinda like this one. I think I her little outfit's fine too. I'd like a goofy little cut. When I can't decide on a hair for a sim, I randomize the page for the hair. Then the amount of hair on the page. Oh my gosh. That's funny. I just end up taking 30 years. Okay, so she's she's roaming free now. She wants to learn to talk. Oh, haste. Let's get, let haste be haste. Oh, what is... Look at our cat. He has no head. What's wrong with the kitty? Does he have a real head in real life? Oh, no. <laughs> What an entrance! What an entrance! <laughs> he just hops out and it's just pink, pink. <laughs> I was like, why's he got no head? Yeah, that's why. Oh no. Oh, haste. Oh no, look at him go! <laughs> oh no, look at him go! He 
he's 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 zooming he's haste oh haste i might i could probably go out to the neighborhood and come back and reset him <laughs> what have they done to you oh no oh god it got really bad really quick <laughs> it got really bad really quick oh no buzz <laughs> let's save and go to the neighborhood and come back see if it just resets it just for the last little time we have to play this household i think we just have one day because i think it's thursday evening now what is, is that the cat's mouth yeah smiling like the cheshire cat yeah yeah i think it was just his like jaw or his tongue or something that's a little loud oh my goodness okay beaker let's try it take two <laughs> take two try again This house is a lot. Both of the households we've played tonight have been a lot. In different ways. I know, the game could not keep up. There we go. We're, we're good to go. Our kitty is here. We gotta buy kitty stuff. Buzz? Can I- Buzz? Can I help you, Buzz? Are you taking my cat, Buzz? What are you doing to my cat? I, I feel like Buzz is gonna kick my cat. Okay, you're coming to pick him up. Okay, Loki's coming. Loki's on the rescue. Alright, I'm gonna buy cat stuff. Maybe some toddler stuff, I don't know. Um... I don't know where to put things, because the cat's pretty much just gonna have to stay on this level for now. Um, here, we'll do this again. I was debating whether I needed to do that, but we're just gonna do that. And then... I can just buy, like, a little kitty bed. What if you got in a little box for now? A little box in front of the stove? That's kind of cute. I don't know if that's going to mess things up. Imagine having to explain to a non-gamer that you had to reload a house on The Sims 2 because the cat turned into pink soup. <laughs> Put a new cat over and it got pink soup. And we're going to do a little... We're going to do this for right now. We're going to put a little... Something in here. I don't know what pattern. Maybe a little pink. Did, did Aaron? I feel like Aaron gave it her blanket or something. The fact that you're saying it about the Sims makes even less sense, too. And just curly things, just Simmy things, yeah. Um, I don't remember if this cat's, like, picky about the bowl type. I forget. Um, I don't know where to put the gosh darn bowl. I guess I'll just put it here. And then, like a little mouse somewhere. A little scratcher. I guess it's kind of cram jammed in here a little bit. Am I gonna fit a scratcher? <laughs> Does this work? I don't know. This house is a little cramped. Oh, that's right. They're a pig pen, so they're not picky. That's true. That's true. Let's probably put it there because somebody really needs to walk up to that. There we go. And then I probably should get a toddler toy or something. Throw at least one out here. For the beast. Well, actually, wait. I want to get a different toddler toy. I want to get... I got a custom different one. This one. It's a little kitty. See, look, you can... She can play the little xylophone next to the piano. Okay. You're gonna bring... Go here, pick up the kitty, and bring him in. Okay, that accomplished her want. She wants to be friends with Haste. I think that's a good thing for her to do. Is Pascal still here? Did he leave? I don't know what's going on. Buzz is still here? I don't know why Buzz is still here. Are you? What, do you think you're still welcome here, sir? What's going on? Okay, you can... You can why can't I put the cat down? Throw a bowl. There we go. Now you can talk to the kitty. Uh, play with... Mew? The little Mew? Here? Oh wait, sorry. I didn't mean to stop you. You can play. You can practice that. I thought I had you selected. All these blonde sims getting me confused. Oh, Pascal's up here. Here, come observe your ants. Pascal's up here, like, 
<laughs> he's 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 hacking our system. Pascal's just hacking our system. Okay, you're sleeping. A lot going on in this household. Okay. How's the toddler? It's the toddler. The toddler needs to go to bed. Put Helen in the crib. Hacking into the mainframe. Maybe he's hacking our grades at school. So they think we're an overachiever. It feels like this is broken. Uh oh. User Aaron. Yeah, I was going to say, she feels broken right now. Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. Aaron. Uh oh. Aaron. Uh oh. <laughs> Aaron. Give love, feed, treat, give love, snuggle. Buzz, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Okay, yeah, there's something going on here. We need to ask Buzz to... Oh my god, Aaron's having a meltdown. Say goodbye to everyone. Ever ask everyone to leave. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> I'm having a meltdown. Oh no. Oh no. Not the kiss goodbye. It's it's just with the kids staring, the, the kids, the poor children. Aaron's not sure. Aaron is so. I feel Aaron. This child, this poor child, <laughs> this poor child doesn't understand why. Why daddy's kissing Buzz? Uh oh, Loki and Bjorn got the flu again. They just keep getting the flu over and over. Okay, she's playing with it, the kid. That, the cat. That's good. What are you doing? You're washing things? <laughs> ay ay ay. Okay, I'm just gonna have you do your homework and go to sleep. <laughs> A crush? I think they- I think they're beyond crush. Gatto and Gundren are no longer best friends. You know, that's fine. That's fine. You're pretty sleepy. I think you gotta go to sleep soon. You're also... Let's just get everybody to go to sleep. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. Okay, they finished up. Here's... Okay, everybody's sleeping. We're gonna save. We just got one more day to do this household. I think everybody's going to work and school. We have to hire a nanny in the morning. I gotta remember to do that. Probably forget. Oh, wow. You're pretty much up and at them here. Let me... Have you call a service? Take a shower. Just guys being dudes, yeah. Maybe they should have a maid. I'm gonna get the nanny. Or a butler. Would they have a butler? I don't think they'd have a butler. They don't feel like they're that. We need to track schedule. I'm gonna have her call another service quick. Oh, the baby has risen. Okay, yeah, so she'll show up. I'm gonna hire a maid. Um, yes. This one's about to go to the bathroom. I don't really feel like trying to fit a toddler toilet in this space somewhere, honestly. Unless I just put it out in the lawn. I don't think I want to do that. So we're just going to let her, let her go. I do like her little PJs. She's got little defaulted PJs. I mean, she probably would have had either the elf or the Christmas PJs. <laughs> Little brat. <laughs> yeah, now she's she's in this two piece. I think that's her her um underwear. <laughs> the, t the sound of the toddler screaming from the crib is ingrained in my brain. Yes, absolutely. I'm just gonna let her go to the bathroom. She's gonna fill herself up on some uh, doggy food. She's gonna go soon here. Okay, looks like we're getting close to being done with the flus in this household, hopefully. She's just eating dog food. She's just eating up her dog food. Trying to wait for her to... Smells bad. Does she go finally? There we go. Change diaper. I thought maybe I'd have her bathe her. Wash her just to clean her the rest of the way. Oh, the kitty cat's eating. Now the cat's eating his food. <laughs> the cat's food's gonna go away quick because the friggin' toddler's eating it up constantly. She wants to go somewhere on a date. I don't think we're gonna do that today. You're gonna go work. He's gonna work. The kid's gonna go to school. 
We'll probably zoom through most of the day. Fast forwarding. Fast forwarding. Yeah, it's funny. It's a fun little detail that the, the kids get to the, the pet food like that. I mean, it works. The toddlers are quite good in this in this one, you know? I mean, like, the toddlers have a pretty decent amount of detail and stuff, you know? And they were like that pretty much out of the gate. I mean, I know there was probably some adjustments made. Are you eating this? Oh. Please don't do that. Can you just have some regular cereal, please, and thank you? So, yeah. Oh, I forgot a litter box. I just realized because the kitty peed over here. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to just... I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to do a regular shower and a litter box next to it. Just because I don't have space in this house. There's just not space enough in this house for anything. It's cozy Sims 1 music playing right now. Um, do like a little green or maybe a yellow. I'll do that. There you go. Maybe I'll just I'll just go with that. Eating cold rinse and soup for breakfast, yes. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kids, don't eat the kitty litter. Yes, please don't. What are you doing? She just okay. No, we're not gonna save. There's not enough counter space, that's why she did that. Can you stop? <laughs> You please, you please. They added nursery rhymes, some toys, and pet beds. There's food later, but yeah, they're quite good for the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Of course, like any any of the, of course, like the pet stuff obviously would have come with like the pet set and everything. You know, there was little things added there. Um, yeah, the nursery rhymes. Did nursery rhymes come from? Did that come from like free time or something? I don't remember. But yeah, I know there was some stuff that was added. I think also Apartment Life added some things. I forget. I don't know if this, if Sims 2 players like them, since they seem to enjoy that Toddlers and Sims 4 will just do everything on their own. Yeah, I guess I haven't played it Toddlers extensively in The Sims 4, so I don't know a lot about it. I, I mean, I, I think I have a little bit. But I didn't do a whole lot. Kind of wild to think that The Sims 4 existed for so long with no Toddlers. It's kind of interesting to go from just a little newborn to a child. Oh, the apartment life. Yes, the spring rider. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I remember those being like outside of the like the Belladonna Cove. Even though I haven't really played Belladonna Cove much, I remember seeing them set up outside of those. Some of the things. Oh, you can ask neighbors to at watch kids. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I have a mod that's a watch kids mod, and I think it just uses that function for for anybody and not just apartments. Here, why don't you have a toaster pastry or something? Yeah. Did I tell her to fill this? Yeah. Okay, this, this maid is going to have her work cut out for her when she shows up. Oh, uh, Sims 4 toddlers were fun until they were constantly taken out of the high chair after just being put in there. The autonomous make a mess interaction made me want to line alive them. Yeah, it's just kind of silly. Wouldn't they? Do? They would just pull out the make a mess thing for no reason. And just like, just like all of a sudden they suddenly had flour or or chocolate or whatever it was out of nowhere. <laughs> like okay, not even just in the kitchen or whatever. Oh, what's in 2004-ish? Just love it. I had Seasons, The Witch Pack, um, but that's it. Yeah, I think the, the Witches came with Apartment Life, I'm pretty sure. That was one of the later, later packs. Um, yeah. The Witches are good, too. It's interesting that they chose to do that in Apartment Life. 
Like, why why were they were they like, hey, we want to make witches. Let's just shove it into this pack. Like, what? That's an interesting choice. Unless there's like a real connection being made. Okay, we're gonna. F oh no, the pig flash has returned. <laughs> wait, what is this? What is it? Oh no, wait. There's a floating. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> There's a floating, it's almost like the, the, the Pop-Tarts at the height, like it's a toaster pastry, it's like at the height of where they eat it, <laughs> and it's a pig flashing, it's just a levitating pig flashing Pop-Tart. <laughs> You've heard of pink soup, like, wait, this scene with the, with the flashing, pig flashing Pop-Tart and the passed out toddler <laughs> in the distance, <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> this whole scene. This old scene, the cat's chilling in his little cardboard bed. <laughs> okay. Halloween came early. Oh, okay, ma'am. Oh, she's doing spinning circles. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, the... they can't get upstairs because of the baby. I'm gonna drag the baby over here. Maybe I should get the baby a bed. A little toddler bed. I could probably make that work in here. I don't know how it'll sit well. It's just this. There we go. Now the baby can get up in a bed. Oh, okay. Now she's gonna put her in the well. The nanny it doesn't matter because this friggin' nanny's gonna do it for us. Now the phone's ringing. Okay, we're just gonna fast forward. Uh, T posing in a nut nut. Beautiful. <laughs> T posing in a nut nut. Beautiful. That's, that's good. That's a good one. But yes, T-posing in a pink dress. It's, it, yeah. Pink soup T-posing. Okay, the, the Loki's home. Loki's the first one home. Are you going to turn pink flashing when you walk in? Nope. Okay, good. That's not a bad thing. Everything's all clean. Okay, bye. Bye, friend. Oh, you brought a friend home. Who'd you bring home? Cooper. I think we've seen Cooper before. Oh no! Nanny, what are you doing? Oh god, that scared me! That was a jump scare! <laughs> Nanny jump scare! Oh, look at that! <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? What are you doing on our computer, Nanny? Well, I don't know what, like, he brings friends home a lot, but like, what, what does Loki do with friends? Like, what do they... They could just, like, hang out. I'll let him finish doing whatever he's doing. I can see your nut nut in that dress, not this. You can just hang out, I guess. We'll let the nanny stay to take care of stuff. Where's she going now? <laughs> so, oh, oh, she got a body back. She's sitting on our bed. She's playing with our computer. She's sitting on our bed. What is this? What? Uh, excuse me? With her shoes on at that. <laughs> no, you're fine, Kara. All right, somebody's home. Oh, you gotta go to, to work. Oh, your buddy Cooper's gonna get abandoned here. Cooper's gonna be abandoned. <laughs> she's testing everything for baby safety. I think you're right. <laughs> she's just gonna make sure it's all good. For one day when the baby can come upstairs. Alright, he's gotta go to work. Alright, goodbye. Once again, everybody's gone. <laughs> Doesn't, oh, I was going to say, it doesn't show his little work thing. Okay, Cooper's leaving. Bye, Cooper. This nanny, I don't know what to do with this nanny. Oh, she's, like, she's okay in certain lighting. Depends on the lighting of the room. Yeah, this, sitting on the bed's weird. Oh, hella, reset. Oh, okay, we got an error. Stupid bed error. Okay, nanny, your, your time to shine. Come clean her up. What are you doing? Everything I could do. Hmm. I think the reason that that reset, a lot of times it resets if it's like technically in the way of something. I think there's an intersection between this and the in the bed. I don't know if I could temporarily do this just so we don't keep getting errors. Do that. It looks kind of silly. I don't know. Oops, I didn't mean to click on you. Okay, she's playing. Who am I hearing laughing? 
Oh, there's a child here. Who's here? Oh, Anubis came home with us. Wait, we gotta play with Anubis. Um, we gotta play. Cops and robbers? Yeah. I feel like I've had it work fine before, though, and then it just it sh sends an error randomly. It's annoying. Maybe it's just with testing cheats on, but like I always have testing cheats on. Aaron's having issues. I don't know what. Look at her. I don't know. My game's having a meltdown. Uh, we play catch. Oh, you're getting the bills. You're good at Logan's pretty. I mean, Bjorn is pretty good at getting the bills on his own. I'll be honest. Uh, can you please pay the bills? He, oh no, even the ants. <laughs> even the ants are not safe. <laughs> even the ants are not safe. That's alright, I'm just powering through it because this is our last day here. I don't feel like doing a reload or anything. Okay, they're playing... Oh, this is, that's Jenny Hannah. That sh this would have been another good sim for, for Vidkrim to get with. I think she's cool. Jenny Hanna. It's her. It's her. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with you right now, Bjorn. He should be getting a promotion soon. Maybe I'll have him work out a little. Uh, Yeah, let's turn it on and work out. Not the ants. The ants are not, are not saved. Oh, Gundren got promotion. Got promoted. Uh, what was that sound? Oh, this, that was the sound of the song. Okay, Gundren got to, is now an inventor. Interesting. Interesting. She needs logic and cleaning. The baby dancing. Wait, look at the little baby dancing. I like it when the children dance, or like the little toddlers dance. They're funny. She's dancing to the little salsa music. <laughs> That's been fun. <laughs> She's like headbanging to the salsa. She's enjoying it. Okay. <laughs> this guy's working out. Oh my god, why is this so bright in here? Turn this off. Oh, what's Jesus. <laughs> it's like he's working out under the heat of this lamp. Okay, you're washing your hands. Interesting. She wants to be friends with the kitty. Where is the cat? Oh, Loki got a promotion. That's good. That's good for his little overachiever. Wants all oh, the kitties in here. Can we play with the kitty? Okay, Mr. Mr. Loki got his promotion. He still wants his cell phone. We gotta have him buy a cell phone at some point. Aaron's gonna grow up one day at 6 p.m., so next round she'll grow up. There we go. You gotta okay. You can't sleep down here, ma'am. You want to sleep? Not, not poor little Anubis saying hi to the to the flash, pink flashing ants. <laughs> he's he's trying. He's imagining. He's imagining. Do you think? Do you think he sees it? <laughs> do you think he sees it? But maybe not. Just not us. <laughs> maybe it's just. Maybe we're just not allowed to see it. Running in place looks sweet with salsa music. Oh, I thought he was dancing. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Why is the nanny still here? She's making us turkey? I mean, I guess she could- if she wants to make us turkey, she can hang out. Okay, Anubis is booing Loki. You can't sleep. You gotta- you gotta- if you want to go to sleep, you gotta go up here. These sims and they're sleeping on the couch. I'm nuts. Okay, 
Loki's, I mean, Bjorn is working. I keep calling him Loki. Bjorn's working out so hard that the, <laughs> the nanny can't bake. You gotta stop, buddy. Just the, the salsa music playing in the background, him just sweating and just working intensely. <laughs> the nanny just trying to make a, <laughs> make a meal, make a big turkey. Anubis screaming at Loki on the about his piano playing. Oh my god. She's so angry. She's like, she's thinking about punching the piano. Can you leave? Like, when do you leave? We have you dismiss. We dismiss her? Like, why are. Why? Okay, she's leaving. She should be. Can we have you resume cooking? You're probably gonna set it on fire. But we can try. We can give it a go. Uh oh. Did you walk away? You better come get it. Okay. I was like, you better not freaking <laughs> burn the place down, buddy old pal. Look at this. We got some yummy food. Dang, I'm hungry. He's sli Everybody's sleeping. You're chilling here. Come and eat. He's sleeping. The baby's just chilling. Somebody's got to put the baby... No, I mean, somebody's gotta turn this off for the baby. The baby can't sleep. Can I have you turn, um... Turn it off real quick. Wait, can you put that down and turn it off? There we go. Oh, Anubis is eating. There you go, somebody's eating it up. He's got a- Anubis has got a very interesting little face. He's got like- I was looking at his profile. Of course, this is the child of of um, Olive and it's Olive and uh, Ichabod's child. Did somebody just what what did I just hear happen? Did you just get fit? Is that what just happened? Oh, I think he, Bjorn just got fit. But anyway, I I see a lot of Ichabod in his face. I think in his nose. I'm hoping he grows into the teefies. Yeah, I like the little box. It's fun. Can somebody answer the phone, maybe? The kitty seems to like the box, too. It keeps getting up in it. But yeah, especially, like, right in front of the stove. Looks cute. Oh, oh it's this old lady. The old lady that likes us. Yeah, we gotta grow into the teefies. I need some- I need some teefy genetics. We gotta have some teefy jeans. We gotta have some teefy jeans. Ugh, we're not going downtown right now. <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. Sorry, lady. How about you come to sleep? These guys are just chilling and eating. We're probably gonna be done with this household pretty quick here. He's Mr. Loki is a clean freak, so he's gonna put away leftovers and be reasonable about it. Baby's okay. The baby's sleeping. This is good. I'm gonna bump her bladder a little because <laughs> the old lady wanted a taste of the beakers. Yeah, she was into the Loki earlier. I mean, not Loki. Bjorn. Yorn. Yorn. God, they just look so much alike. I just I see a bunch of blondes with the same face, and I'm like, you're all the same person. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the blondes are just. They look so much alike. Okay. You can go to sleep. <laughs> Keep her away from Loki, yes. <laughs> yes, please. Oh my gosh. But like, even in real life, like, I, I know this local family that I live near that are like, they're all blonde and they all have like the same face syndrome. And it's just like, you're all clones of the same person. There's something about people who, like, families that are entirely blonde that, like, they look... I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it happens so often. You just give them teeths. <laughs> yeah, they, like, literally have real safe face syndrome. You should just give him the teeths, even if he doesn't grow up and have them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's the hard part. I don't know how to make the teeths happen. They're like a very special thing. <laughs> the teefies are very unique. Okay, why are you awake and, and playing? Okay. Be admired? 
<laughs> Anubis is trying to admire. Maybe we should just say, please leave? That was weird. Okay, say goodbye. Yeah, he's very tired. Hey, bye, Anubis. <laughs> bye! Um, I'm just gonna have her come down and, like, study something. I mean, I'm probably gonna be done here in a sec. Oh, the child is going through it down here. <laughs> he needs new pants! Does he? You mean Anubis does? Or... The color is too well with her skin tone. Oh, she needs new pants? Oh, I see. The pink. That's true. The pink looks... <laughs> it does. It does. Especially the farther you zoom out. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Can we talk about how Anubis is leaving the lot right now? This is... We're gonna have to... Anubis inherited the witch gene from his mom. <laughs> He's currently getting on his little... <laughs> He's getting... Look at... Look at his... But his he's got training wheels on his br broomstick. <laughs> he's got little broomstick training wheels. <laughs> and this is little child broomstick. That's funny. Of course, the animation's a little goofy, but... Sometimes when my Sims 2 kids admire an adult, they do the adult animation, which makes them float, so it's very creepy. That's strange. <laughs> Sticking out his foot real far. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he was going to do that. That's so funny. Well, I guess that's a good way to, to leave this household for the night. Oh my goodness. I'm going to save. Oh, it's Saturday. Exactly Saturday at midnight. So we're we're, we're there. <laughs> that was fun. I like... That was that was a lot. <laughs> a lot happened. A lot has happened in, in, in these five and a half hours. Do we want to... Are we... I'm still feeling good. Do we want to do one more machinima? One little machinima moment? Um, I don't know what we... I think we had some, like, spooky stuff to watch. Loud music outside. I don't know what's going on. Some very strange music playing outside. Um, I think there's some spooky stuff. Let me, uh... Oh, I posted two new machinimas. Ew. Sims 1 machinima? Oh. Sims 1 horror movie? Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Michael Myers. Sims 1 horror. Wait. I'm drawn in I'm drawn to this one. That's really funny. That's funny. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should save those for if we're playing The Sims 1 or if I should we want to watch them now. <laughs> we also have some regular Sims 2. This one seems interesting. This one's 12 minutes. I don't know. It's got voice acting, but I don't know if... We could probably sit through 12 minutes with voice acting. The voice acting's always fun. He's doing the... Uh, not another emo love story. <laughs> okay. We got that. Okay. Oh, I see. We got some episodes. I didn't notice these are episodes. Okay. We got another series we could start. We could start not another emo love story. That sounds pretty classic. Oh, there's a lot of good choices. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This one's eight minutes. Chinese teen girl gets makeover and emo romance. The, e the nicknames the emos gave to each other are wild. This one's a series. We could, we could watch the first part of it. Why don't we do that? We'll just start at the, the beginning of our list here anyway, of like the newer ones. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Maybe we'll save the- maybe we'll watch The Sims 2 ones next when we play- I mean, The Sims 1 ones when we play Sims 1 next? I don't know. Maybe not, though, because I don't know when we're going to play Sims 1 next. Yeah, so we got another emo love story. Make sure I got my sound on. <laughs> uh, Let's see. 13 years- so 2010. The beginning of something freaking awesome. Hi all, I'm back with a brand new video on The Sims 2. I had so many problems with Sims, but I'm good now. I hope you like this story. It is based on a real life story. I don't know if I want to read the. I feel like this is going to be... Uh, I don't think... I think this might be a little spoilery. We're not going to read too much. Hank's letting us know that it's time to watch Machinima. Let's go. 
Oh, bog water again. Thank you for the lurk. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, the pan. That was a good pan. Wait, that was wait. That was a decent. That wasn't like a that wasn't like a, a junky tab pan. That was like I need to re-experience that. Or is it like, wait, how did they do that? Is it? That's interesting. Like it even had. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Hank is an emo boy. Yeah. His videos are older than middle middle schoolers. Yeah, that's creepy. That's scary. Yikes. Okay. The, the cool emo kids with their shoes on. <laughs> But they're cool sh- oh god, look at the emos. <laughs> Are they vampire emos? They look like they want to be vampire emos. She- oh. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I literally just say? <laughs> like, <laughs> they like Twilight. They probably read Twilight. Oops, she's carrying her Twilight books right now. Okay, so she's supposed to be like a nerdy girl, but she's got kind of a cool little shirt. Like, it's not like a nerdy girl shirt to me. Oh my god, the unpainted. Can we talk about the. Can we talk about this crime? Look at this unpainted wall. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know what? I appreciate that they're using... Oh, hey, look at the girl. I wonder if she's always that lonely. I was going to say that I appreciate them using, like, custom hairs on... Usually the, like, the ugly version... I can turn it just a little bit. Usually the ugly version, they use, like, a Max's hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, before they... The ugly before makeover lone loser girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? They use, like, some, some Max's hair. Oh, she put her books away. In the next day. <laughs> In the next day. <laughs> In the next day. <laughs> That's so good. That little dude. Well, Blue. Blue. Okay, this is one of the, 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 the nicknames. I've never seen that lonely girl around here, but if you're, if you're so pity, pity, go chat with her. What? I agree with Raven. There's got to be a Raven. That's. I remember when I was creepy lonely kid that nobody has would ever chat to. I mean, there's always a Raven in the goth group or the emo group. Oh, she's here again. Okay, now she's in a different outfit. I like this hair better. You're gonna have a lot of work, Blue. What kind of school is this? The the fancy vampire is, is interesting. She's gonna go talk to her. She's gonna go make her cool. I think it's blue, like the color blue, but like spelt different. I'm blue freak. Oh no. I know you just came here to mock me. Um no. I wanna be your friend. I'm Ginny. I'm gonna say oops. Oh my god, it's going too fast. I want to be your friend. Okay. I gotta say, I love your hair. So this is Ginny. If you want a creepy hair like this, something. Scared sigh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're gonna be called Raven. There's gotta be a... If, if you're a real emo, one of your, your girly friends are Raven. <laughs> this is my room. Which, honestly, you know, I love Ravens in real life. So, like, like the actual animals. So, like, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Creepy, you've got to you got to hand me a black pen now. Hand me a that pair of scissors? What? Just do it. Don't be afraid. You're in good hands. Why are you where are you putting that? <laughs> I don't have, Oh god, I can't read all of it. Shut up and hold still. I'm almost finished. Oh god. What's happening? Okay. Oh my gosh, Blue, thank you so much. No problems, but you look way more awesome now. How did they bleach her hair? 
<laughs> they like bleached her hair and everything. How did scissors solve that? Like, how did I'm just confused? Shut up, Scar. <laughs> Scar. <laughs> okay, we got blue freaking Scar and Raven somewhere in there. This this walking. What is? The, oh my god. This camera work is fascinating to me. Okay. The way she snapped her head was kind of a lot. Icy Chaos, Scar, Blue Freaking Raven. Wow. Hey, Scar, right? Yes. I'm Ginny. W would you like to hang out? Is she going to get a cool emo name too, though? How did you get the name Scar? The man noticed that I have a scar on my lip. <laughs> Made, it was made on a fight. The bully didn't like the style I have. Where? Is that the scar? <laughs> <laughs> Drama. Drama. He's got he's got a little split lip scar. <laughs> he's got a little split lip. His name's Scar. Ginny Core is her cool emo name. The scar looks so familiar, similar from Nat, Nat fires excites my life. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. I'm not good at knowing the emo stuff. I also didn't read. Oh, hello. You want to sit down? What are you doing, ma'am? Gosh, here it comes. Look, oily skies. Wait, <laughs> all these sky chaos. Look. It's Ollie Skies, and he's giving free DDG t-shirts. <laughs> I don't know if I, I'm supposed to understand that. <laughs> Sweet black and white memory, though, yeah. It's another Sims 2 vlog. Okay, another video like this. It's possible that they they downloaded this. Ooh, this pause. This pause moment's disturbing. <laughs> but it's possible that the Sim may have been, like, downloaded from, from uh, like the same place or something you know what i mean or similar cc probably it was pretty popular cc or i know that shirt with the heart in the rib cage was like a thing that was all over like imvu back then and stuff chaos i know something about chaos okay i didn't see did they give her a good name <laughs> The blue hair is icy chaos. Wild. Look, it's written on your locker. Oh, now you're going to be a bully to this. What? Okay. Was she mean to her or something? Was she like the mean girl? I didn't even see that. Oh, all the random kids are. Oh. <laughs> what is that animation? <laughs> what is this? That was so dramatic. Okay, now we're gonna kiss Scar. Okay, oh, I see the Scar now. Whoop de do. <laughs> they look like IMBU characters and some. You're right. Blood Eye. I, my. What did it say? I'm sorry. I gotta. What did it say? My Bluey. Oh, my Bluey. I thought it said like bloody. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of fast. Yeah. Ginny Core <laughs> got engaged by Scar and started an alternative style model agency. <laughs> okay. Ginny Core got engaged by Scar. She won millions with the agency. One. Millions. Now Scar and Ginny are married and have two kids. Yeah, I know. Why are we... Scar created a screamo band with Raven. Of course Scar did. The band broke down because Scar wasn't... <laughs> Scar wasn't great of a singer. Scar sucked. Scar sucked at... How do you suck at screamo? Don't you just kind of scream? Is he not good at screaming? Poor Scar. Three months before marrying Ginny, he found the bully that hit him. Oh, okay. <laughs> and gave what he deserved. He killed a man. 
Okay, he 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 got kicked out of the Screamo band, and then he killed the man. Scar is now a successful model on Ginny's agency. That seems a little biased. Okay. <laughs> Raven. He continues his... Oh, this is Raven. The vampire is Raven. Usually a Raven's a, a female. It's like, like, I usually feel like the girlies are taking the Raven name. But I, I, it's interesting that he get the Raven. He continued his career... Because usually it's like Raven Dancer. <laughs> or something. He continued his career as a drummer. Not the Marilyn Manson. He had a he, later. He had a concert with Marilyn Manson. Not this nepo husband. Exactly. That's the vibe. Raven met his wife and posted a question video. When posted a question video to Ray William jo What is this? Ray William John Blue Freak. She started a career as a cineast. Cineast after graduating. Cineast. What is a cineast? What is a cineast? <laughs> the most successful director career ever. Cine cinematographer? Is that what they're saying? Director career? Cinema? Yeah. I see Chaos asked... Oh, <laughs> wait. I see Chaos asked her to marry him. She said no. <laughs> Nut for the... <laughs> Nut. I also changed it. I forgot to mention some of the... The um, BTTV emotes, I made it to where it's all capital letters so that it doesn't always just replace the word like the word OLIVE. I made it like all capital kind of thing like that. Um, but apparently now when Buttspot does all capitals, it shows the nut face. <laughs> nut for Icy Chaos description. Okay, was that a really delayed response? Where did Wait, where did that? Wow, that was a really delayed response. <laughs> that was a d delayed dream daydreamer response. Oh, is a cineast is an enthusiast of film in the cinema for a in the cinema slash a person in the film in okay. Interesting. Anyway, so she turned down the guy. I see chaos. Tried to That got Okay. Later Blue saved him from his suicide and asked Chaos to marry her. He is now a famous actor and is still married to Blue. So, okay, we've got lots of... We have some... We have a lot of Nepo husbands here because now Blue started, like, directing and then Icy Chaos is now a, a famous actor after he married the director. <laughs> and then the other guy is now <laughs> a famous model after he married the chick that runs the modeling agency. I mean, I like that the girlies are the ones running the show, if you know what I mean, but still. I feel like I'm going to have to remember all this lore for the next episodes or something. Okay. We're not watching the next ones tonight, but, like, I'm going to forget. Okay, we've got some some wholesome moments here. But wait, that was... I'm good. Okay, well, anyway... What is what is what's going on in the comments here? Doesn't oh, the lore doesn't come up again? Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> also, yeah, they got dark fast. I adored this back in 2010. 2010 was a lawless wasteland. <laughs> I was 13, 14 when I watched these. I'm 21 and still go by Ginny Core. Thanks to you. Oh my god, this person literally has Ginny Core in their name. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I also can't believe I was 16 last time I watched video. I'm now 25, a mom of two boys. Okay. The thing that made me think emo was cool when I was 10. This is exactly what I would watch on YouTube unsupervised as a child. Okay. Can we find... How will we go from... I need some of the old old comments. Wow, there's 600 comments on this. We're going to go newest first and then um, go as far down as we can. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. I just want to see some of, like, the OG comments. Keep, keep, keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. After we do this, we'll be done for the night, too. And, yeah, I think I'm going to be doing... Uh, I decided we haven't visited The Sims 3 for a while, so I think probably on Thursday we're going to play some Sims 3. Um, God, there's so many comments. Seven years ago, eight years ago. I just want to keep going. 
Uh, but yeah, we're going to revisit. Uh, yeah, the old comments like Scar is so smixed. Yeah. Or even reminds me of Kier from Fearless Vampire Killers. Okay, now we're in the 11 years. God. Over a decade ago. Over a decade ago. These comments were left. That's so bizarre. <laughs> it's just such a weird thing. Because the internet still feels so, like, young in a way, but it's, like, not anymore. Like, it keeps getting older. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so weird. This is epic. She looked awesome after she got that haircut. Yep. Scar is epic. Okay. Emo chick 24. I like her hair. I want a boyfriend that is not a jerk. I don't care what he looks like, as long as he loves me. <laughs> you know what? Good for you. Wow. Wow. That was one of the best time, best vids I've ever seen. Blue freak. I love- Wait. <laughs> you called it. You called it. <laughs> I love Scar. He's sexy. <laughs> I love Scar. He's sexy. You called it Daydreamer. <laughs> there he is. Shadow Wolf 19 full. <laughs> yeah, the IE. I'm lost with the first song. Which one is it? Okay. I don't know. I think this person's replying to somebody probably. Who didn't even notice when she looked in the mirror, she was wearing a shirt and tank, but when she hugged Blue, she was wearing the long sleeve. I did notice that. <laughs> this video is full of self-pity. Miss Chaos bitch did not like the video. I freaking love all the episodes. Scar is cute. <laughs> Where did you get Scar's hair? Where did you get the hair for the boy with the skull and heart t-shirt? Oh my gosh. He asked a question to William to Ray William Johnson. I love this. I will watch it all day. <laughs> these, these emo kids are eating it up. These emo kids are eating it up. Oh my gosh. Ollie Skies is my dad. <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. She's replying. Is replying. Emo doesn't mean cutting. Okay. Sims 2, it's a game. Where did you get scared? Oh my gosh. The children are, are kind of going nuts in the comment section. Scar is cute slash hot in a cartoony way. <laughs> if I was a sim, I would date Scar. Everybody's like hot over Scar. Everybody wants Scar. Hee <laughs> hee, Scar is cute. <laughs> Everybody wants Scar. Oh my gosh. I just want to, can I get to the very bottom? Like, what is the first comment left? I just have to know. I just have to know. I've just, I've gone this far. I don't know if I have the patience. Oh my God. I don't know. Maybe I don't have to know. Maybe I don't have to know. Does Scar have any screen time or personality? That's a good question. I think these are a lot of replies, so it's like extra long. Oh, is this the end? Oh my God, it's the end. That's nice. Please check my vids. 13 years ago. Make more videos, please. <laughs> the end was cute. The rest was pretty cool. Okay. Okay, these are some of the originals. <laughs> these are the OG comments. Oh my god, I love these. Okay. Yeah, so we have lots of replies and everything. It was definitely interesting. Art. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we've seen it up here. I think we've seen it up here. <laughs> Scar does have loads of screen time in the next video. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to follow up. Maybe, probably over the weekend when we play Calicundia, maybe we'll watch some watch some more episodes. I think tomorrow, because uh, I'm going to do Sims 3 tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Thursday. Sorry, not tomorrow. Thursday, we're going to play um, Sims 3. Um, <clears throat> and... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll try and watch that that one Sims 3 series that we were tr we were watching for a little bit, even though I'm not going to remember what's going on in it at all. But it's the one with actual voice acting and stuff. We'll have to check that one out. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for hanging out. I'm going to I'm going to end for the night. We're almost at six hours. Uh, <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat something. And hopefully it stays down. Well, it probably will. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. We had a very chaotic, fun time tonight. We have lots of things developing in Strange Town. Lots of things developing. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see where that goes.
Um, I'll see you next time for some. We're gonna visit the the Canut Futa Legacy family next time in in Sims Three. So if you're if you're newer here and not familiar, we do have a legacy going in the Sims Three where the 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 founder was Mr. Canut Futa. So we're gonna be playing with them on Thursday. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, Miramu. I think is what it says. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna get going here. Let me find uh, some music to play. I think I had some up already. Yeah. Yeah. Move this. There we go. Dun -dun -dun. Alrighty. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Uh, I'm gonna do the ending.